Milk, Crate, Marauder. Yeah, I was all prepared to bet that he was going to pass and be straight. But given this little uh, demonstration, oh. I'm bet a hundred dollars is going to fail. A little tizzy. What, what, really? What, 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 all right, events. that's a hundred with time. That's six hundred dollars. What, 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 what changed your mind? Your girl you. bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a diva. The fact, the fact that you, yeah. you fleece this thing. Yeah. yeah. You, know, I would, you acted beneath. Hey, Ralph. To a higher state. I think you should take this test in your underwear. Ah. To sort of look hot on TV. Of <laughs> <laughs> <Get him laughs> a sexual. Yeah, go get him hooked up quickly. Okay. Put the electrodes on his nipples. This is the last time you'll be able to say you're heterosexual. <laughs> Six hundred bucks. No, I'm on the line for seven hundred dollars. No, with Tom. With Tom, that's seven hundred dollars. All right, I believe I will be sitting here with seven hundred dollars, and I want my money that's from all of you. That's your seven hundred dollars back. That's right. Figure it out. I knew I'd make my cash back in the side bets. All right, I can see now on our camera. He's really in. That we have um, <clears throat> Gary, and there is our lie detector gentleman. Uh, hold on a second, Ralph. The the Queen needs to go get some water. <laughs> Ralph, the Queen needs to... See, already his mouth is getting dry because he's going to and lie. Howard, I also can't hear you. Ralph, sitting down in a second. Here he is. He's right behind you, Gary. Yeah. Don't stand in front of him. Tell Ralph me this is a great setup. He needs to get some water. Ralph, hold on. Now, who is... Now, this is... Uh, Gary, you should at least take your shirt Let me talk to... Let me talk... To, Ralph, take your shirt off. Put it where it needs to go. Okay. Let me take the... Uh, can the lie detector guy hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What should I call you? Uh, Ed. Hey, Ed, how are you? How are you doing? Eddie's one of the top lie detector guys yeah. in the world. Ed, do you want to plug or anything? No, nothing like you that. You don't want anything Thanks like that? Thanks a lot. All right. Now, Ed, I'm going to whisper the questions to you. I'll let you do the uh, a setup, whatever you have to do. You first need to ask certain questions right, to establish. Right, he needs to establish okay. a base. All right. Okay. Hey, uh, Ed, remind, re I want to remind you, i got 700 riding on this. Make sure it's accurate. Okay. Is I he completely hooked up now? No, not yet. He's oh, not hooked okay. up yet. You have to give me a couple minutes to hook Ralph up. All right. Why don't I take a break? You can hook him up. Okay. And, Ed, listen to me. Right. What do you think? You think he's a homo? Look at him. Look at him. Come on. Tell me the truth. What do you think, Ed? I don't want you no, having... I don't want to get started yet. All right. <laughs> test thing when I hook him up. All right. Okay. And uh, will the e-camera be able to capture the needle as it goes back and forth? Right. No problem. All right. Okay. Ed, set him up. Okay. I will sit here and await the answer. If Ralph is a homo... Homo. I have to put the known pillow tombs around his, uh, you know, chest. Oh, he's going to get excited. <laughs> if he if he if he gets aroused, I guess I lose the bet. <laughs> All right, very good, Ed. Go ahead, do your do your thing. Okay. Ed is a top guy. In fact, he was the one who tested to see whether or not right. Robin was a lesbian. <laughs> a lesbian, and uh, it turned out you were not. Not although, according to the lie detector. Although it did prove that you were in love with the late Sam Kinison. Oh, no, it did not. No, it didn't? No, it proved that I'd had sexual fantasies about Tom. That's what it proved. Look at Ralph. He looks, he looks nervous. He is. He had to get water. His mouth is dry. He's nervous. He's going to lie. That pussy better pass this test. Oh, I'm ready to collect money from you. There'll be another 700 I lost on that loser. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be back right after these words. Ed is hooking Ralph up right now as we speak. You're listening to The Howard Stern Show. More after this. 97.1 The Eagle. Yep. You're, li you're listening to The Howard Stern Show. All right, I'm ready. Ed. Yes, sir. All right, now you're getting ready? Yes, sir. There is a guy on line two who says he uh, slept with Ralph, but... Maybe we'll hear from him later. I'm ready to do the lie detector test. Everybody wants the answer. We have seven hundred dollars in side bets going. Ralph leased us for three grand. Ralph is yawning, looking nervous. Ed, would you say he looks nervous? Well, he's uh, he's calmed down. He was nervous in the beginning, but uh, he's calmed down now. Yeah, Mary even said that uh, he was shaking his leg a lot, but I said he always shakes his leg. My boy's going to come through. Right. All right, Ed. I'll. Uh, why don't you start the questioning the way you have to, and then I'll whisper questions okay. to you. All right. Okay. Ralph, you have to sit still. Hello. He's trying to throw off the test. All right. All right. Look straight ahead. Close your eyes and don't move. Okay? Now, take a deep breath. That's it. Now, just relax. Okay. I hope Ralph doesn't kiss Ed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. See, okay, he's just look straight down. ahead. Don't say anything. Yes or no. Okay. Okay? Yes. We're doing good. God damn, this is good radio. Okay. Better television. Right. You're doing good, Ralph. Just hanging there. Okay. Hey, do you know you have a beautiful voice? Thanks a lot. Just wanted you to know that. Okay. All right. I have to be okay. so tight. Okay. Shut up, it's too Ralph. tight? Ralph. All right. That's, that's... Now I'm getting annoying. He is gay. Okay, Ralph. She is gay. Okay, Ralph. Just relax. You're doing good. Okay? Very good. Doing good. He hasn't done anything yet. All right. <laughs> He's doing good. Okay. What is that, Freddie? 
to calm him down. Right. Okay. He's acting so flippity All right, here we go. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. I'm suspicious Stay of that. Stay still. Try not to move. I'm trying to fidgety. Hey, you're not gay, are you? <laughs> no, it's homosexual. You're very okay. jumpy. Needles. <laughs> yeah, the needles jumping. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. Everyone no. calm Just down. Just look straight ahead. Try yeah. not to move. Yeah, He's don't doing good. He's doing good. He hasn't done anything. Else. All right. Okay. All right. Homo okay. says what? <laughs> <laughs> Is your first name Ralph? Yes. He's doing that. good. <laughs> what does it mean? He knows his name. He knows his name. Is your last name Cirilla? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Are you now 31 years of age? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you intend to answer all questions truthfully? Yes. Shut up, Jackie. What you carrying on about? I'm not. And tell me when you're ready for questions. Okay, go ahead. All right. Do you like sitting next to a man while watching a romantic movie? <laughs> Do you like sitting next to men watching romantic movies? <laughs> no. Right. Um, well, I don't, that's a tough question. No, it's just a yes, yes or no. no. We'll go over everything. Okay. Just right. yes or no. Okay. Just yes question. or no. Try not to move. Stay still, Ralph. Do you ever look? Do you ever look at a man and wonder if he's a good kisser? Do you ever look at a man and wonder if he's a good kisser? Uh, no. No. Okay. Have you ever kissed a man with your open mouth? Have you ever kissed a man with your open mouth? <laughs> no. Would you be able to touch a man's naked buttocks and not get excited? <laughs> Would you touch a man's naked buttocks? And not get excited. And not get excited. Yes. Do pictures of naked women bore you? Do pictures of naked women bore you? No. Are you a fag? <laughs> Are you a fag? Are you a fag? <laughs> no. Are you a bisexual? Are you a bisexual? No. Have you ever had anything larger than an enema tube inserted in your anal cavity? <laughs> Have you, so can you repeat that again? <laughs> oh, no. Have you ever had anything larger than an enema tube inserted in your anal cavity? Have you ever had anything larger than a, what like kind an of, enema tube? An enema tube. Inserted in your anal cavity. Inserted in your anal cavity. How big is an enema tube? All right, forget that question. All right, okay. You when, want to ask him personally? Yes. Yeah, yeah let me ask the question. Time. And just answer yes or no, okay, genius? When you move your bowels, do you wish they were going in reverse? <laughs> no. All right. Would you rather be alone on an island with... Wait a minute, you got to give him a little time. All right. Would you rather be alone on an island with Cindy Crawford than David Bowie? Cindy Crawford. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Have you ever pleasured yourself while fantasizing about a naked man? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Howard Stern? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Jackie the Jokeman? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Trent Reznor? No. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Danny Goldberg? Yes. Right. Have How you about Brad Pitt? He did like Brad Pitt. Did you ever have sexual thoughts about Brad Pitt? No. Have you ever flirted with a woman that you damn well knew was a man in drag? Yes. It's pretty disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> did you get did you ever get aroused watching kids swim in the YMCA pool? <laughs> no. Have you ever held hands with a man romantically? No. Have you ever touched another man's private parts? You're no. asking him too fast. The guy has to look for no. a reaction. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I'm getting excited. <laughs> Have you ever touched another man's private parts? No. Are you aroused by naked pictures of men? No. Do you enjoy having other men see you naked? you got to slow down. Sorry, sorry. We'll start <clears throat> again. I don't know why you can't see what he's doing. Because <laughs> I'm very, very busy. <laughs> Do you enjoy having do you enjoy having other men see you naked? No. Have you ever fantasized about giving oral sex to a man? No. Do you ever fantasize about being held down and raped by a man? No. <laughs> Have you ever had a dream about sex yes, with a man? No. Sorry? You're gonna ruin the test. See, you're trying to win your money by ruining the I know, test. I agree. Hey, you're going too fast, Alan. 
Give her five seconds between each question. That's it. Go ahead. Have you ever had a dream about sex with a man? No. Have you ever looked into another man's butt cheeks? No. <laughs> Oh, you gotta stay still. Have you ever thought of having sexual relations with your sister? No. You're sick. Have you committed sin with an animal? No. Are you gay? No. Look at how nervous he's getting. Okay. Are you a bisexual? No. Have you ever been accidentally invaded during sex by a man? No. All right, I'm done unless someone else has another question. Speak now or forever hold your peace. It's good for me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right is it good for you, uh, All right. Mr. All right. Lie Detective Have you answered all questions truthfully? Yes. You're very serious. Okay. I'm trying to be relaxed. Okay. I'm just going to repeat a couple questions, all right, Howard? Go ahead. Okay. These are the ones that I didn't pass. <laughs> ask him what... Hey, Ed, Ed, ask him, does the smell of duty get you aroused? Okay. Let me take his headsets off, okay? All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Are you now 31 years of age? Yes. What was that question again, Howard? Does the smell of duty get you aroused? Does the smell of duty arouse you? No. Does the thought of Mary McCormick nude make you yawn? <laughs> Wait a second. You gotta slow down, Howard. All right, forget <laughs> it. Forget it. <laughs> Is your sphinx... Go back, Ed, and go give the headphones to Ed. Come on. Ed, All right, let me ask you one more okay. question. Hey, Ed. Oh. This thing keeps falling off the head. Okay. Ed, ask What's him if he, if he wants to sing up. Hey, Ed. That's because you got a small chest. It keeps on coming down. Ed. All right, okay. Ed, oh, ask him. Ed, you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Ask him if he'd like to paint Howard Stern's testicles blue. Would you like to paint Howard Stern's testicles blue? If he wants me to. All right, forget that well, question. Well, that's a yes. That's a yes. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, what's the other one? I wouldn't like to, but if he wanted me to. No, Ed, you ask whatever questions okay. you Okay. All right, so I'm just going to repeat a couple questions. We'll be all through. Okay. Is today Wednesday? Yes. How do you know that? Okay. Is this the month of November? Yes. <coughs> it is. <laughs> you just knew, why you fly. I knew that answer. Do you like the smell of duty? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I had to repeat that one. Just because you like that one. We had a problem with that question. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What was the other one about dreaming about men, Howard? What was that one? Uh, it's, I, the ones I'm really interested in is whether he's a fag and a bisexual. The other ones I don't care about. Okay. Except I don't know what numbers those were. All right. Okay. All right. Do you like spelling men's private parts? No. Okay. <laughs> Let me come up with that. Yeah, Ed, what are you ad living? I think oh, he's made some notes. Oh, I see. To all right. Keep okay. Have you answered all questions truthfully? Yes. Okay. What is that? You want to ask if he's gay one more time? All right. Ask clearly and slowly if he's a gay at first and if he's bisexual. Oh, okay. I'm going to repeat a couple of questions. Okay. Are you gay? No. <laughs> Are you bisexual? No. You know, do you think the guy who invented the lie detector test envisioned it being used on some goofy TV show to find out for a fag? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Do you okay. need time to evaluate? Okay, I need time to evaluate it. All right. Um, okay. 
Okay, Let, Ralph. Thank we're we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll know if Ralph's a fade. All right. Okay. All right, right after these words. Okay, Ralph. Thank you, Ed. Thank we'll you. be back with the Howard Stern Show. Don't go away. 97.1, The Eagle. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Once again, Howard Stern. All right, now, we're about to find out. Stone Temple Pilots coming in this morning. They're going to do a couple of songs for us. Do you want to delay the uh, news until after Stone No, 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 no. They're not here yet anyway. Oh, okay. uh, Ralph, come on and take a seat. Where's Ed? I can't wait to collect my money. Mm. I'm confident you are not a homosexual, and I'm confident that you are not a bisexual. I'm confident that you did me proud. I did. Yeah. Look at him. He knows that the end is near. <laughs> I think Ralph killed Ed. I can't find him. No, come on in, Ed. Here comes Ed, the great lie detector guy. He's considered the foremost expert in uh, lie detection. Hey, Ed when, I, Ed, when I saw you out in the hall, I didn't know who you were. I would have said hello to you. I thought you were just like some creepy guy hanging around in the hall. He looks a little creepy. That's yeah, he does. Like, I went out in the hall, and I saw some guy walking around the hall, yes, and I went, I'm I avoiding this guy. He makes you a little nervous. Yeah. Ed, why don't you tell me you're the lie detector dude? Well, I wouldn't have blown you off. Okay, thanks. All right, here. All right, Ed. He's done the analysis? <clears throat> okay. Ed, now give it to me slow because i got 700 riding on this. Okay. I'm the only one in this room willing to bet that Ralph was no fag. How much did you bet? 700. All right. Everyone was a little nervous that I might be right because I think I could have got more action. Yeah, you should have. All right. Well, Ralph's well, if you hadn't come in here and fleeced the room first, maybe he could have gotten more action. Yeah. Right. I didn't fleece the room. You fleeced me. That's why I'll never forgive you for that. I fleeced Robin. All right. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead, Ed. Well, I have to I see your new thing. place. Shut you up, Ralph. Now we're about to find out if you're a fade. Go ahead. Okay. OJ had minus 22. Right. He had minus 53. <gasps> you flunked! Uh, wait. Yeah! Well, what do you say? What do you say? Yeah! Wait. When right. you ask, yeah. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. When you ask the question... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. When you ask the question... Oh, right. He are you deceptive. Are you gay? He was deceptive. I, he was. I, what are you yeah. saying? I'm deceptive in general. Look at Tom. Get out of here, Tom. I'll pay you your money. Yeah. Yes. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. I want a clarification, okay? Oh, you better pay off your money. <laughs> you well, not right now. He got all my money. I'll this pay you tomorrow. This is a great day. Isn't it? Well, well, it's well, a great wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, 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 hold wait, it. Hold wait, it. Hold wait, it. Wait, hold wait, it. Wait, hold wait, it. I'm not paying anything till I get the results. Okay. Ed. I can't believe you're a fan. I can't believe you're a fan. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> you're a fig. You've been, you've been up in my closet the whole time. Every time I've gotten undressed, you've been watching. All right, forget all the other questions. I'm saying, when you said, are you a fig? What did what what happened? Well, the needle went up, and uh, he really uh, showed real signs of deception. Yeah. Okay, now. Hold it, hold it. Because some of you bet he was a bisexual. Well, I said, bet he was gay. Oh, wait, now what happened to that one? Well, you failed that one, too. You did? <laughs> yeah. Douchebag, you're gay. I'm not. <laughs> and when, you, when I, I said, what about stuff like, are you, have you ever had sex with a man? Well, the, the worst one of all was, uh, you asked me about Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. What was the what was the what was the Brad Pitt right question? side, Ralph? You made a few bucks. But the Brad Pitt one. Oh off my the scale, God! Right? Off the what, scale. What was the question? I said, are you attracted to Brad Pitt? You're off the scale. No, I think he's attractive. I'm not attracted to him. So that's but like a borderline question. question. It's not a yes or no. You you're a fake. You are. Fake. You don't even know it. I Everyone's know. telling me yeah. you don't know it. Yeah. Me and you are the only two that don't know. <laughs> Five questions before that were, are you attracted to him? I'm to telling him? you, I would admit it. Why would I not? And in other words, uh. if Ralph had been going for a job, right. they would they would never hire him, right? I mean, not in terms of being gay, but because of his deception. Right. Yeah. He's right. trying to hold something back. He's yeah. <laughs> well, I might want to. Hey, Ralph, I got a lollipop for you. It's a penis lollipop. <laughs> for you. There you go. All right, there. Pass it over to him, Have a good time. Have a good time. Want to see Ralph get happy? Yeah. <laughs> Ralph, what ha what's going on, man? I'm telling you, I'm not gay and I'm not bi. He oh, doesn't know. I told that, you. That, that, that can, I, can I ask a question? Seriously? Sure. Yeah. Wait. All right, hook, maybe hook under... Me, hook, hold, me, okay. hook me back up to it. Ed, would Ed. you be willing to hook him back up no, one more time? No, failed the whole uh, test. No, excuse me. Excuse me. No, yeah, there were a lot of... This is a guy's you reputation. Pay. This is a guy's sure. reputation. I will pay. make if he's gay. Could you just do me a favor? Okay, off the okay. air. Okay. Off okay. the okay. air. Excuse me. I don't be. I don't believe the result. I don't believe the result. I'm challenging the result. We bet on the test. Listen to me. We bet on this test. 
That's what no, we bet. No, on. there were a lot of there were a lot of goofy I questions bet, on right, there. Wait a second. No. All I want you to do uh, is go back there again. You know what? This is not right. Listen to me. I don't care. Not nothing right. is right. I went through whatever you put me through. Well, well I didn't have any preview. No, that's true. I get it. That's and true. I didn't ask to go back you into the room. Well, that's because you didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's not clear. Ah, because I'm not deceptive. Right. I can't you believe you're a fake. <laughs> Live with it. I'm we're not. Not. I'm stupid, we're but you're queer. queer. Get used to it. <laughs> you're, we're here. We're queer. <laughs> and you're out. And you know what? Da Danny even said you would buy. <laughs> Wait, yeah. why am, if I'm queer, why am I yeah. not having sex with anybody? I mean, yeah, hello? Hello? Why? I, I have the ultimate proof that, that Ralph is gay. Okay. What is the proof? Well, what happened down, it was a year ago, and it was at the limelight. Yeah. And me, Kevin, and this guy, Eric. Erica. Ralph, do you remember? Who? Erica? Okay. Erica. And do you remember girl, what happened? Erica, what, the, uh, wait, wait, wait. A girl? If I give out the nickname that you had give to everybody down there, they're going to start calling in. They are go all going down to start where? calling in. What do you mean? It's the limelight. The limelight. I don't have a nickname. Oh, <laughs> you what don't is his nickname? What's the story? Tell me what the story. What happened that night? What night? That night <laughs> at the limelight when we went over to Erica's house. Well, I don't know what you sir. Why don't you tell I us the story? I don't, know, I don't know any. Eric. Are you saying you had gay sex with Ralph? We had a four-way. Ralph was very probably swayed by that because he's very attractive. <laughs> well, but see, that's got to be lying because I'm not very attractive. I, don't, I can't no, believe that. Ralph is very attractive. Uh, listen, listen, listen. Never mind. Get away from me. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Forget about bets and everything else. It's a man's reputation. Wait a minute. We're talking about reputation. What yeah, everybody, everybody hates him already. Yeah, everybody, everybody hates him. Everybody hates him and everybody thinks he's gay. Stop. Oh, you don't hate me, Robin. Stop it. Stop you love it. me. What are you doing? You're, what is and it, you're, Gary? You're probably, uh, no, I just, what is it, Papa Fouy? This is my opinion. Yeah, go ahead. It even about Ralph, actually. You're like, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but you really are a sore loser. And it's not about the reputation. It's about your 700 bucks. That's right. No. I'm willing to pay you the 700 bucks no, uh, um, regardless what? of the result. We don't need, Ralph doesn't need a reputation. What's he going to be, president? No. You don't understand <laughs> something. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. Running around what? Thinking what I'm gay. Telling I'm telling you I am a I judge of people. Good the man is not gay. Good for you. This time you were wrong. Ed, take that, take don't that half a peg back don't, to the room. Don't do take that. The test. Man, you you did the test. You are a professional. You got Come the on. result. You got to admit you you're a little. To... Aren't you a little curious to see if he if again he flunks the test? I'm no. a little curious. Let him pay for his own test. I want a thousand dollars back for him to go in that room. What's with this you know what? You might have to give your money back to get the second <laughs> there test. There you go. I want a thousand dollars. He won't do it. Everybody that Gary's stupid and I'm fat and Fred's crazy and everything. Who cares about reputation? This is a show. No, but I am curious to see if the result is the same. Then I'll believe he's a fake. Pay me. <laughs> I'm paying you anyway. I'm doing this on my own time. Ed, this has nothing to do with the bet. Okay. You, you'll get, you'll get your, you only bet me a hundred. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Ralph. Uh, forget Ralph. No, no, no. This is my reputation. No, no. no. Your reputation. No, you don't get your I am a judge back. of people. You are I no judge of people. Ed, Ed. Only Ed. Kenneth Keith Callenbeck was a great guy. Get Ed, out of here. Ed, please. <laughs> Take this, get this half a fag back. <laughs> How many times you undress him? He's going to be right. deceptive again. All right, listen to me. Right. Just to ask him two questions. Uh, excuse me. Are you a fag? This is wrong and because now he's been prepared. And ask. I just want to see the result. He's been prepared. What do you mean? I, I this was prepared. Here's the result. It would not be a valid result. Okay, whatever. You want me to come back to another time? No. Okay. No, it's all right. We can handle it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We're not that upset. I want my That's money. Right. <laughs> all right, listen to me. You're, I'm just for my result. You don't even have to tell them the rest of the result. I want to know. Just take him back there, cook him up real quick, <coughs> and ask him if, not right. if he's gay it's and if he's bisexual. Right. You won't know the answer. It's not right. I want to know it for myself. Right. No. I, no, I don't care what's right. It is not right. Well, I don't think he could pass it again, no. but it's not right. Ed, Ed, Ed. how much Ed. you want to? <laughs> oh, God, this <laughs> Ed, Ed, wait, wait, wait. What? That, that, what is it, 53? Minus fifty. OJ, OJ murdered Ron and Nicole and got a minus twenty two. OJ got a, is more truthful than Ralph. Score? Yeah, just say he's saying OJ yeah. told more truth. What's the worst score you could get? <laughs> what's the worst score you've ever seen? The bright side, Ralph. But wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What's the worst? What's the worst score? You, what Ed? Minus sixty. You're right there, Ralph. Ed, get close to the mic, will you? And have people give like you're telling me that the worst result was minus sixty? Right. Wow. 53, minus 53. He's almost there. The worst liar almost this guy's there. ever seen. 
<laughs> like axe murderers do better, right? But, but, Mass but, murderers. Hey, what is but, the worst case that you've ever done a lie detector for? Um, in Santo Domingo, in yeah. the Dominican Republic, I did a polygraph, and uh, he was one of the worst. What was he? A murderer or something? Yeah, he was a murderer. A murderer. And what did but, he get? Oh, he was uh, close to him. Really? <laughs> he got a minus forty. <laughs> wait, Ed, 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 wait, wait. I got a question. Can you can you look at the question? Is this just saying overall I'm a liar, or are you taking the questions no, and saying so, on the gay question you lied? Right, definitely. On some questions. What is it, Tom? Well, I I, I I knew I was going to win the hundred bucks, but I don't believe he's gay. I just knew he was going to fail the test. Right. So I bet the hundred bucks. Me too. That's why I'm saying uh, I bet you he could pass I, the I test. No, he can't pass the test. I just didn't think he was going to pass the test. Right. You think it's why? Because he's too nervous. I, I, I don't Was know. he nervous about yeah, that? Now he's really getting nervous. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe you're gay and you don't know it. I, that's what I figure. But uh, if I was that's gay, if I was that. gay and I didn't know it, would it show up? Yes. It, well, it, but I'm not lying. If I let the guy answer, Ed, would it show up if he was gay and he didn't know well, it? Well, if he had thoughts about being gay, it'll show up. Really? Yeah. Definitely. But that, but that, but that, that would be. But, 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 but look at my movie wife, all proud of herself. Don't, don't even be proud of yourself. You, you failed too. What did Howard. you fail on? I failed on a lot of stuff. Where'd you fail? Don't that. bring it up. I had enough we trouble with that. We didn't get to ask him movie questions. All right. So I had a little sex on the side. <laughs> no, I, I and I, I was it wasn't gay sex. I was. <laughs> yeah. If it had been gay sex, it would have been better when I went home. Yeah. All right, look, Mary, you look. shut up. Yeah. You want to say something, Mary? Walk over the microphone and just say it already. All right? You want to rub it in? Don't rub it into me afterwards. Now is when you say it. Come on, Mary. What? Pay up. I can't believe you tried to weasel out. <laughs> you goddamn secret fag. No, he you said he's he saying I'm gay. He didn't want to take the test. He didn't want he to take. He didn't it. want to take the test. Why do you think he wouldn't want to take how, the test? How, are you a secret fag or no? No. Did you ask me any straight questions? Like, like were there? I don't oh, remember. Oh, you lied because they were no. Goofy? You there like were. sports, Ralph? There were. There were pictures about women and looking at. Yeah. How did I do on those? You lied. <laughs> you lied, you lied, you lied. <laughs> Go throw it yourself. All right. Just do me a favor. Take him in the back and ask him again. I don't believe it. Howard. I got to know for me. Howard. I got to know for me. It doesn't matter. This is beyond the it show. It doesn't matter. To you, it doesn't matter. To me, it does. You're not in a closet naked with Ralph. If you want to go into a closet with him, go ahead. Ed, take him back in there and measure him again. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it, Ed. It's unprofessional. You'll get your money. It's unprofessional. You'll get your friggin' money. And I still don't think Hey, Mary. Hey, wait a second. Hey, Mary, can I have my money? Hey, wait a second. Dominic's on the phone. Dominic's a happy man. Now. Hey, Dominic. Happy days are here again. <laughs> you always said he was gay. Number one. Dominic fantasizes Number that. one, I lost my best friend to a fag, which I knew. Right. But I want to know what friend. this means about you two. He's, oh, shut Howard's up. Howard's probably gay, too. So maybe I'm gay. <laughs> Happy days are here again. I get this out of here. This is the best news that I've had in years. But I just lost a bundle. Dominic, why is this the best news you've had? Because I've been predicting it. I predicted it to Robin at that funeral yes, five years he ago. Did. <laughs> right, Robin? Absolutely. And and I said I guarantee you it's true. Hmm. Yep, you did. Dom and I didn't Dominic, it at that time. Dominic, how accurate are lie detector tests? Um, be I honest. Say, be honest. Why are they not admissible in court? I'll be very they're honest. Not one hundred percent accurate. All right, I've used lie detectors for years, like twenty-five years. Yeah, be honest now, Dominic. Don't I'm be being goofy. very straight, and I'm being straight. Get it? I guess. You okay, ready? Ah. Minus 53 is the worst score I've seen in about 500 lie detector tests. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm including, I'm including a person who robbed a bank, got caught with a gun, and we gave him the test. He got a minus 30. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, OJ had a minus 22. Yeah. I mean, minus OJ, 50. we know he did it. Well, it was, uh, I don't know. Jesus Christ, you really, man. You, I'm, you know what? I'm going out for a big lunch. <laughs> Thank that, you. That, that's, not, that's no, yeah, that's, a, that's not because he's a fake. All right, thanks. He's going out for a third big lunch. Dominic today. Barber, bloated attorney. Well, i got to oh, tell well, you something. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Hey, take him in the back. Just do one extra test for me. i got to no. know. I'm in the closet. No. Take, take oh, me no. to, yeah, do the extra no. test. Take your clothes off. and you. get new, excited. New, Go ahead. Bastards. <laughs> Go ahead, swish out of here for that. <laughs> Sashay. Sashay. Touche. Let Howard? your freak flag fly. <laughs> Go get oh, Ralph a hot dog for breakfast. <laughs> Boom. What? You John believe this thinking, guy? John was thinking that this is a perfect opportunity now to ask Ralph about another incident we've never been sure about. Mm -hmm. the how far the, how far he went with the priest. I know. 
Oh, yeah. Is your lawyer going to get hooking him up again? He's not getting hooked up again. Oh, he is. No, he isn't. But you say he's not. I'm telling you he's no, doing it. Get away. <laughs> you're not. Ed's <laughs> hooking him up. Ed's hooking him back no, up. No, he's not. It's over, Johnny. That's it. He got one test. Minus 53. <laughs> it's over, Johnny. Didn't you didn't tell the it. truth about your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that just means I'm a complete liar and I That's lied right. about everything. That's no, right. it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I think, you, were I think you were terribly receptive on all the gay questions. And he was okay on his name, right? He passed that. I know. <laughs> he passed that. That's the only thing he told me. The only thing he passed. Is there, are there any gay questions that I passed, Ed? How about the sister question? Come back here, Ed. Did he do anything with his sister? <laughs> <laughs> Even Ed's sweating. He's upset. He doesn't want to be near Ralph. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> was he... Was, one of the worst questions, believe it or not, was, was Brad, the buttocks. Yeah. The buttocks? What was the buttocks question? Let me ask you about the buttocks. Can you touch a man's buttocks? Without getting aroused? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. What about... Touching men's buttocks. What was the question? That was the uh, question. What? Do you get aroused when you touch men's buttocks? Right. You get the question? Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Let me see that. Look at that. Oh my God! Yeah, this he doesn't need to go back into a and room. I've never touched a man's butt. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, right I've touched, now. I've touched, it, but I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, and you spike just like that. Look at that, know. Robin. I see what you're saying there. Look at that. That's, a, that's, a, that's higher than Mount Everest. That's a mountain. <laughs> what are you on the next page? And it went off the page. Oh what, are, what are the other ones that, that were bad? I like want to see the that. You like the smell of man's duty? I do. What about is he in love with Howard Stern? What was that one? That was that was. Get close to that one. What was that? Of course, I love you, Paul. What? That was a problem, too. What do you mean? He does He's love He's in me. love with him, isn't he? He is in love with well, me, isn't well, he? Right, definitely. From what I see. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> See that? Guy's in love with me. Yep. Uh, Not in a sexual way. Right. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to have sex. What other way is there? <laughs> You're always coming on to me. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. You excite me. Believe it. It's not funny now when I do that gay voice, is it? No. no. It's not. Come on, I don't even like to watch the gay guys in Melrose Place. I mean... No, because you want them. You know, <laughs> it's hard. All right, look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. So what do you I do. This friend? is the real problem. So you have a gay friend. What's the big deal? Yeah, hey, do me a favor. During Stone Temple Pilots, hook him back up again no. and ask him again. Okay. No. I don't believe Whatever it. You no. want to do. He can't be hooked up again. It's a one-shot deal. True. That's She's the right. way we do it here. She's right. It's I did shot. it once. I didn't right. ask why, for a why, retake. Why? I didn't ask for anything. I didn't ask for any special why consideration. Can I? I didn't even fight you to take the test. I don't care. She's right. She's right. What do you mean she's uh, right? Yes, I am right. Well, you never give a second test? That's right. Well, right. get him out of here. What's he that, Mary? Need another test. Mary, what's that? What, Mary, I can't Mary, hear you. Get over there. She's a lawyer. Now she thinks she's one. Yeah, now she thinks she's a lawyer. She's always confused <laughs> actresses. I think now that we've had this whole discussion, if you went to take a second lie detector test, which, by the way, is welching, I'm not welching. Your, I said I'd still pay. Your would be affected, won't they? Right. Absolutely, Absolutely they would. You can't go in now. This would not be a problem. Yeah, but if I was lying yeah, before, right why, why, why... Is that right? Ed? Why, you'd be more relaxed? Why don't we listen to Ed? He's an expert. Then why, won't OJ, then why won't OJ take a second lie detector test? Well, he's lying. Yeah, no. But why not? If the second time you go in, it's going to make a different result. He should go in, it's according yeah, to your logic. It may not make it better, but it will be different because now he's had all this. First of all, he's taken the test once. He's had a rehearsal. Is that true? Uh, and, dude, Ed, I was, Ed, is that true? Ask Ed. Are you right? All right. Thank you I wasn't going to take your money, but now I am. Because, <laughs> yes, you better. I better have some money for this. Your reputation is at stake. Your reputation's gone. <laughs> all I know is Mary just had more lines in here than she has on her show. Yeah. All right. She good. did good. She did good. I had to hell with all of you. Right. He is no he fag. Hates to lose. All right. You. Even this you hate to lose. I do. This I really hate to lose. I got to say, man. Stay I'm with my children. Gay. I know. He's a good actor, though. He really pretends like he's having fun at school or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, like why would I do all that if I was gay? I mean, I, I've had sex with girls. She says you're bi. You but I haven't you had sex what? with any I men. know lots of gay guys who've had sex with girls. Sure. I, you do? Yes. I don't. I mean, well, I know because gay all guys, your gay they friends have... are really into yeah. gays. Yeah. <laughs> you got weird friends. <laughs> hey, Ralph, you ought to take that money and move to Canada. <laughs> Start over. Yeah. yeah. Change Damn. the name. Damn, Damn it. it's just a, it's a I'm shock. Just, I'm, ru I'm running to the I'm back. shocked. So what is it? Toronto? Yes, hello? Yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't even need a lie detector test. If someone, <laughs> if someone smells another man's thoughts, 
In, in the Fox Hen area. What are Fox? He's oh, from Fox? Boston. Are I'm you from Boston? I'm trying to be nice on the air. And also, Timmy the Cat says you're a fag. Oh, no. You're a fag. What did he say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Be prepared for a lot of yeah, uh, abuse. <laughs> abuse. <laughs> hey, oh, man. Really you might as well come out of the closet. Well, what, what, I, I don't know. Unbelievable. Nobody thought I was straight anyway before, so what's the difference? Yes, Faye, you're on the air. Hey, um... Uh, I told is you this vague? I told you that. <laughs> then when I was on, I told you. Told you, told you, told you. He tried to wear a pair of Victoria's Secret panties right now. Can't even take it. What? Well, Honey, you did it. What are you lying about? I'm not Come lying. Come on, get clean. I'm not lying. Give us the scoop. <laughs> okay. All right, maybe with you. All right, thank you. Hey, okay, uh -huh. All right, I I've had enough. Well, no you have a gay friend. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're it. hip, man. It's hip nah, you ain't gay. <laughs> Fine. He flunked the you test, but he is not gay. Denial. Stay in denial. I am in denial. You're, you're there with I'm Rome. right there with you. You <laughs> flunked your test, too. Right. Rome. And I know I was telling the truth. Me, too. You're in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Fred. Hey, would you come over to my house and teach my daughters how to knit? <laughs> I don't know how to knit. Oh, you'll learn. Teach you how to sew. Hey, I don't sew. Stay away from my kids, all right? <laughs> no, they're safe. <laughs> they're girls. They're girls. Oh, that's right. Maybe he has some young boys over there. All right. Okay. Uh, Ed, listen, thank you so much for helping us out with this. Uh, I don't think you were accurate today. You're usually very accurate. I think uh, someone wrong. I think Ed tell. stands <laughs> by his results. I'm so my right. Dude, can, I, can I ask you one thank favor? Thank you. What? Can I just, can I just stay in here, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why, you want to meet Stone Temple Pilots? Uh, well, I just want to go outside. You... All right. Ralph, if you want to kiss that goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed. All right, we're going to take a break. Bye, Ed. Something scary the side of his face has a hideous scary. His teeth are even worse than Gary's powers, girlfriend Ralph. Everyone knows that Ralph is best at shaving the hairs off of Howard's chest. But other than that, he's a worthless pet. Howard's girlfriend Ralph. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Stay right there. 971 The Eagle. You're listening to our newest, bestest buddy and big toe. Howard Stern. the deal, Gary? Does she look like a woman? Well, no. You, I mean, you know it's trans. You know she's a transsexual, but she is transvestite. Let's get this. Straight. Well, no, no. She says she's pre-op, right? But I think, um, I think she's been castrated. Oh, she's really? Castrated. Hey, if she died tomorrow, she could go to that comet. That's right. In a spaceship with the Star Trek people. We just gotta get her some Nikes. Yeah. Hey. Well, the Hale Bob people thought that all sex was a distraction. You see? Yeah. I just think, in all fairness, with this Eddie Murphy thing, I think we ought to just put this to the test. I have gotten now, Robin. I am telling the truth. I have spoken with or gotten faxes. From no no less than a hundred people, mm. all claiming to have had interaction with Eddie Murphy. Let's give let's give a well, break to Eddie. Let's put say? the people under the test. Yeah. What do you say to all of the rumors that we heard prior to this? Well, I say uh, I say don't look good for Eddie. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but if Eddie's had this much sex, he must be tired. Well, then you start to make mistakes when you're tired. I just can't believe it's the same Eddie who used to be picketed by homosexual groups because he made fun of gay people. So let's find out already. Why don't you bring in, first, before we bring in our lie detector man, who is the world's greatest lie detector expert, he will get to the bottom of it. You've seen his work, Robin, oh, first I, I believe in him. He figured out Rob was a homo. <laughs> yeah. I will say that uh, Diamond has the best rack I've ever seen on a man. Really? Is yeah. it re like, is it breast implants oh, or is yeah. it just oh, like yeah. a it's stuffing? It's implants. All right. Let's, let's... And, and she's very melodramatic. Okay, great. Here's Diamond. That's what we love. Let's find out her story first, and then yeah, we'll I hook know. her to the lie detector machine. I can hardly wait. My heart is pounding. I love controversy. I love salacious stories. I love it when celebrities are involved in unbelievable situations. I love to hear their excuses. I love, love to see damage control. I love damage control. <laughs> I love it. I love damage control. <laughs> I know if I ever get in trouble, I will have about 20 spin doctors out there. <laughs> Here she comes. All right. Hey, look at that rag wow. diamond. Wow. You are dull. I don't know if I'd know that was a man right away. 
Wow, wee baby. You are definitely all dolled up today. <laughs> you are all woman. Ah, <laughs> look at you. Oh, baby, a woman. Wow, you you call yourself Lisa or Diamond? I'm Diamond. Yeah, Diamond. Wow. You know what? <laughs> See now, you tell me that's not biological. <laughs> no. <laughs> Diamond, you were born. You were born a man. Is that correct? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, you were born a man, and you look every bit... i got to be honest with you. You look like a woman to me. And you oh would never God. look that much like a woman, Howard. I, no, I tell you something. I know broads who don't look as good as you. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. I'm trying to hang in there. <laughs> yeah, well, what happened? Uh, when did you know you wanted to be a girl? When you was a little boy? Um, I can say when I'm 14. 14, you knew. What happened? Oh, did you put happened? on your mama's panties? My uncle started fondling me, and I left it. You did? That was the beginning. Yeah, so you knew you were gay, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then uh, <laughs> and then you said, wait a second, not only am I gay, but I am a woman entrapped inside a man's yeah, body. I'm not gay. I'm a female. Right. There's nothing gay what uh, I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. Yes. That was around, I guess, 17. Honey, stand up. Let me look at your body. Let me see, let me see what's going on. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a woman, don't it? Now you got any penis in that in those in that panties? Well, well, what is that? Uh, I, 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 I don't recall penis. asking you, Gary. No, no, no. Well, Ganji might have seen it already. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, because Ganji was interviewing Papa her. Boo. Yeah. And I, I think that or you're not wearing any underwear, are you, Diamond? No. Ah. Oh. Is that true? You guys are crazy. Oh. <laughs> so, so you do have uh, penis and testicles, right? Um, no testicles, because I took that out so I can remain, like, very feminine. Yeah, that's the most feminine thing to yeah. do, is to remove your testicles. Yeah. yeah. What's a woman with, uh... <laughs> What's a woman with testicles? That's a man. If it's a... So you removed your testicles. Now, I... And, and, but you still have penis, right? Um, it's a third leg, actually. Yeah, no, but you, you still have that part of your anatomy, right? Um, yes. But it's you. totally uh, non-functional. Right. Without the testicles, it's not I that much fun. I don't know about that. No. Oh. Really? Robin, you were a nurse. <laughs> I mean, you would know if... Uh... Well, if they tell you that it's going to be non-functional, but, but it's all a mind thing. It's uh -huh. definitely, you know, it works when it wants to. Really? It can rise to the occasion. So when you have uh, sex with a guy, uh, y now it's uh, not really all that pleasurable because uh, you've lost that ability to have an orgasm, right? Oh, how did you know? Man, well, I would just guess. If uh, if I lost my testicles, <laughs> I would probably be in bad shape. So, so in other words, you are going to go have the full operation to become a woman, right? Exactly. Uh, I see. Well, I, I'd say you're almost there. I mean, she really is, how right? How old is Diamond, if you don't mind? Right. I mean, I know a lady never tells her age, but you still got a penis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, 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 uh... I'm in my 20s. You yeah. are in your 20s. Yeah. You young thing, you. Don't you be a flirt with me now, honey. Ah! I don't want to end up on some radio show and being... you like guys. <laughs> you, I love men, You honey. love real men. You love me, don't you, I baby? I like giving massages. You do? Yeah. Well, keep your hands away from me. No. I don't know if I can handle that. I'm a little weird that way. Now, where are your testicles now? Do you know? Do you have them in a jar? Um, I used to, but then they started looking kind of bad. So right. And I you, gave them back to the doctor. Did you really? What did you do? You, after you had the operation, they put them in a jar for you? And they, Well, they ask you if you want to take them or not, and then you say, if you want them. Mm, why not? What are you going to do with them? Man, why not have them? <laughs> I mean, just because you want to put them back. <laughs> no, I don't want to put them back. You don't miss them at all. You know, no. I talked to some of the women who uh, had their, you know. And they go it, all the way. Yeah, know? they had they had everything, you know, uh, they had a fake vagina put in and everything. And they tell me they're upset that they did it because they could never have, uh, they never experienced any pleasure down there. Because they went to a cheap doctor. Is that what and it plus is? Plus, you gotta be a hooker after you get it done, so you can really, you know, loosen it up. You use it. You get a little too loose. You get a little too loose. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. She's a guy who's trying to get yeah. a woman's parts yeah. because every guy says, "I just be a whore." Right. <laughs> That's what I love. When guys become women, they become whores. I love that. So you, so you're a prostitute, right? Um, I'm a showgirl. Right. Um, I'm serious. I can see. No, I, okay. Take it easy. Well, where are you? <laughs> yeah, you're a showgirl. You show us your girlness. That's what you are. What do you mean you're a showgirl? You go to a lot of the clubs and dance uh, and stuff? I worked, I, I worked last year in Frankfurt, Germany in a cabaret for transsexuals. Mm. And um, I just do, like, characters. 
mm-hmm. comedy, and I also do a strip tease. Too. I see why Eddie might be attracted to you. Uh, I, I love find you, Eddie. Uh, yeah, I, I find you very feminine. Now let me get your story straight because you're, everyone you're now much taller than Eddie. Yes. Yeah, but we were sitting down, so you know, well, honey, anything can happen when you're sitting down. <laughs> Hello. Everyone's and the same height. All things are equal. That's right. Hello. Now, 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 stick with me here, Diamond. Sure. You uh, now, when where did you? <laughs> now you're claiming. Let me let me just straighten this out here. I have gotten calls and faxes from every transsexual, every transvestite, every police officer telling me all kind of things about Eddie Murphy now that this has happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to finally put this to the test. I'm finally going to hook somebody up to a lie detector test, and I'm excited about doing that to you, Diamond. And I'm glad you're willing to go the distance and take the test from Ed Torian. Ed Torian is the number one guy. I mean, what's the deal? He's been playing with transsexuals for probably 15 years. Is that right? That's what you claim now. Well, what is Diamond's story? Okay, let me me, me start that part of the interrogation before we hook him up to the, I mean, her, excuse me. To the, uh, how big are your breasts, by the way? What is that, a C? C cup. Very, very nice boy. I tell you, <laughs> I think I'd let you play with me a little bit. Really? Yeah. Are you large, well down? No. Oh, you're small. Like, don't worry. I disappoint a lot of my customers, too. Really? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> that voice just slipped into a man's voice. He starts talking about that. Yeah, okay. I bet you could get your voice real deep if you wanted to, right? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I think when you're with another guy, it's not cheating. If uh, Eddie's listening, if this turns out to be true, don't worry about it. Hi, Eddie. I still need that money for the gown you promised two years ago. Really? Well, all right, let's get to the story. Close as two years ago you were in touch with Eddie. Um, Yeah, absolutely. All right, let me get this straight. What, what, What are you claiming? What year did you claim to be Eddie Murphy? Well, I'm not actually sure of the year itself, but um, it was like t- between the time period of two years and now. Okay. So about two years ago, how mm-hmm. do you meet Eddie Murphy? He's a huge star. Well, what happened was the girls had been telling me, like some of the working girls had been telling me that he sees the oh, okay. That's okay, Diamond. All right. We got and it And I was control. like, I didn't believe you. Right. And then so... And so when someone said to you, hey, Eddie Murphy sees transvestites, you said, get out of here. Exactly. Right. That, that can't be real. Yeah. Right. Hey, He's a married man. Had you just gotten into town, so you didn't yes, know? Yes, okay. exactly. I had just gotten into town, and I didn't believe it. Okay, go ahead. And I was here for like two years. And I then love this. All of a sudden, I love all this. I love it. Go he ahead, He starts Jack. calling on my ad, because I had made an advertisement for guys that want to meet hot feminine transsexual. So he called you from the ad? And he called from the ad. And when he called from the ad, we talked probably like five times. Did you believe it was Eddie Murphy at first? Um, yeah, because you can tell his voice. This is like Christmas for me! He tried to... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Did you have to have him say Ote or, you know, one of his... Be Gumby or lines. something? Ote. No, actually, he, he goes, he's like... He's he a hey, baby. his voice, he goes, this is Dennis. Oh, this is Dennis. Dennis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Code God. name. This is Dennis. This is be Dennis. Go ahead, Dennis. And I could kind of tell, I kept saying, this is Eddie Murphy. Yes, but I Dennis. didn't want to panic because I thought it would scare him away. Right, right. So I, like, played it off a little. Now, how did he, did he see your picture ahead of time? You didn't even, yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he saw my picture ahead of time. you a beautiful woman, right? Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, right, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> are some guys, are some guys <laughs> gay but only into, like, feminine gay men who, who have breasts and stuff? Oh, yeah, I have, like, most of my, my personal friends, they're like, they're like women. Yeah, let me get this straight. I mean, let me get this straight. You mean, you're telling me that a guy... Mm-hmm. Who's into women. He might not be into guys, but he might only be into women who have penises. Exactly. Okay, interesting. Interesting, we're learning. So what is that? Uh, that's, that's, that's a sicker than I ever thought. That's a heterosexual guy with some bisexual tendencies floating around up in the air. I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I'm looking you over. I think I'd like to... He's cute, isn't he? Yeah, he's goddamn cute. <laughs> Diamond's real cute. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just that when you take the pants off and you see the wiener, oh, I don't know that I can you, handle you it. You think that would scare you away? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I... I know how to make it disappear when necessary. I'm looking at those big hands. I'm thinking, hmm... Well, why not just let her rub me down a little? That big girl. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having a big girl like that massage me. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Like that ain't gay. I love to give massage. Nothing gay about that, honey. Right? Yeah. Jackie, would you let her give you a massage? Hi, baby. Oh, man. Right. Look at her working that microphone. Yeah. What do you think, Jackie? <laughs> yeah, why not, man? Right after you. Yeah. The illusion, the illusion you know, is they there. they always say they know best. Yeah, well, she's a we guy. Do. She knows how to handle it. <laughs> All right, so let me get this straight. Yeah. Really let her. So you're saying two years... Would I let her? I think I might. <laughs> hey, you know, she'll probably give you the, the kind of massage you want. Yeah, I don't want any nonsense. I don't want you to sit and give me a back rub, baby. You know, I give tongue massages. Oh, do you do? Yes, also with my feet. I know how to massage. And he likes feet, right? Yeah. All right, let's get to the story. Let's get to it. Let me say no, and she's, 
But you mean yes. <laughs> You're going to be hooked up to the lie detector very soon, Diamond. Now, just, just calm down. i got to get your story first. Well, you should see her feet after she does. I want to look at your feet in a minute. Oh, yeah, it's your baby. Oh, I hope so. Well groomed. <laughs> All right, let me get this straight. So you're saying, baby, you're saying, sweetie, you're saying that you, uh, now is that a wig or is that your real hair? Um, it's extensions, but I do have hair, doll. They didn't just specially make uh, hair nice. for transactions. Very nice. No. You're much better looking than RuPaul. I'll Everyone give you that. I know that. I don't know what's going on with him. You are much better looking than RuPaul. The world should scared of the feminine type. RuPaul, I wouldn't let him rub me down. That no. looks like a man. I don't care whatever. That's scary. That's a scary looking scary, man. Scary, scary, scary. A real she scary. She looks kind of funny in person, but she's yeah. a cool girl. And I'll tell you one other thing. She's I, my I, sister. RuPaul. Sometimes RuPaul goes around as a man <laughs> in a dress, and man's an ugly man. Yeah. Even uh, if I'm gonna, uh, you, honey, you go around 24-7, right, as a uh, as a woman. Absolutely. No one's ever going to see you as a man, are they? Never, ever, ever, right. ever. This is about being a woman. A woman. W-O-M-A-N. How do you look naked? You got a nice ass or you got an ass like a guy, a big flat ass or you got a round ass? No, it's round, baby. I have to get some more work, though. <laughs> is that why I'm here? Surgery? Well, I'm going to get it done. I'm flying to um, Texas in two weeks to get a little work done on my ass. You mean in New York they can't do that? They can, but it's not the best doctor. Really? Only in Texas? Well, no. Oh, this person, she travels. She like, comes to your house with a suitcase full of silicone. Really? Did they put silicone <laughs> in your ass? Let me get that straight. In other, words, very in other words, they can round out your ass with silicone? Yeah, we get our asses rounded. No kidding. We want more hips. But you women don't like hips, but we love hips. We honey. love those hips. Ooh. Yeah, right. Yeah, baby. Mm. We so love right. hips. So you're telling me that hey, maybe they can do something for my ass? They put some silicone in your butt. I, I know, they I need, can. I need some help with that. I tell you, you saw a <laughs> fart, man. You, you saw me in the movie. Yeah. I, that's a scary looking ass. <laughs> That's, that's <laughs> Honey, I got a, I got an ass like a, like a, like a, like a sumo wrestler. It's sort of elephant ass. <laughs> I got an elephant ass. It is elephant ass. It's not sort of like elephant ass. It's got I hair. Your ass was pretty hot when you farted on the television. Uh, <laughs> you like that, baby? Well, then you'll have no problem. I love that, honey. All right, you love look. men. All right, Diamond. Let me get this straight. So what you're saying is, let's get your story straight. So yeah. you put an ad in the newspaper. Yeah. Eddie Murphy calls you. You could tell his voice right away. So you set up a date. Where is the date? The date is outside of my door in his Jeep. That's where the date is at. All right. He says to you on the phone, I want to meet you, baby. And uh, he said, come Are you sniffing a lot? Are you on coke or anything? Do you like coke? Uh, well, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I'm no. drug free. Sure. <laughs> right now you are. <laughs> She's free if you've got drugs. You like, to, <laughs> what you, mean? you like to do a little coke now and then. I don't, that eases the pain on having your testicles, no, right? No, I'm, you know, I'm not, I don't do it. Don't any you drugs. think you have to be high to be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nympho, actually. You have to be high to get your penis removed, I'll tell you that. I tell you, that's a scary thing because you never know if you're going to be feeling good down there again. Oh. I'm a nympho. I'd rather, you know, get, you know, have some nice sex besides. Yeah, because I know, and a lot of people I know who are on coke always go, every minute. No, actually, it's just in my, it's kind of cold in here. So oh, I see. Because you're a mess, <laughs> Yeah. You know, you're a, a, a pretty looking young thing, though. Can't coke age you and that'll upset you? It will because I work so hard at this, you know, so mm. that's why I like to. Um, but you don't care. You'd rather die young than not have uh, fun, right? Well, you I didn't have fun old. without the drugs, honey. You can, but it wouldn't be the same for you. But a lot of uh, transsexuals, like, you don't want to get old and yeah. wrinkled. And no, yeah, but a lot of transsexuals, they do, you know, like dip in that cocaine or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Would you kill yourself when you're like 40 so you won't get old? Oh, absolutely not, because I'm going to college too, baby. Oh, really? Yes, I'm a 90s transsexual. <laughs> so what are you going to be? I like that. I'm, I'm going to own my own business. So yeah. I'm majoring in business. Administration. Majoring in monkey business. She's going to be the head of IBM. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Think big, baby. you got to think big. you got to. Oh, All right. Funny. So, Okay, so Eddie says he on the phone, listen, when I come to you, I want to check you out outside, and I want to check you out in my car. Is that what you're claiming? No, he doesn't say I want to. He tells you to come downstairs. He said, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Come downstairs. He call you on the cell phone? And yeah, he talks, but mm -hmm. this was like two years ago, and I didn't even know cell phones existed. No, I hear you. And uh, I went down. <laughs> she was busy getting a penis cut off and getting some silicone in that ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it paid off. Let me see that ass. Turn around for a second. Let me oh, take a look. Baby. Let me see what what to do right there. Why let me see that you caboose. Put it in your face, honey. No, let me just turn around. Let me see your caboose. Let Can me I see take it. my panties down? Yeah, take your panties down and let me see your caboose. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let me see that. Oh my goodness. Come on, let me check it out. I'll tell you if it's good. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm for real, baby. Really? I'm a, yeah, let me see it. Come on. Oh, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Make it hot, baby. Yeah, I bet you I am. Let's see it. Turn around. Let me see that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that is very shapely. That is shapely, and I see no hint of the male genitalia. Oh, Look at that. That is very nice. 
I can see why Eddie was interested. <laughs> oh, man. I must say he does like the feminine one, so I'm sure some of my other masculine girlfriends out there, I don't think they are. Did he say that you were his favorite? Um, to be honest, no. Really? He, ha he dates a good friend of mine, and she looks like his wife, and I really? would always tell him that his wife looks like one of us. Yeah, his wife very... Didn't I say that the other day, Howard? <laughs> I said, I started looking at his wife, I said, you know, she got some of that look to her. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now, don't, now, don't disparage the woman. I'm not, she's beautiful. She's right. gorgeous. Right. She's right. dropped dead gorgeous, yeah. but, I mean, she kind of resembles a three-legged lady. All right, let me, let, me ask you, <laughs> let me ask you something. At this point, everyone resembles a three-legged lady. I'm all confused. <laughs> so you go down to the Jeep. All right, Eddie's got the Jeep. Uh -huh. and you get in there, and what are you wearing? A little micro mini skirt, looking all dolled up? No, I have. I was giving my little girl look. I had, like, curly hair, mm -hmm. blue jeans, short blue jean skirt. Nice. And some heels on and a bikini top. Now, at that point, did you have your testicles? Uh, at that point, yes, I did. Yeah, okay, okay. So you get in the car, and Eddie says, uh, hey, baby, uh, I would like a little action. You're looking fine. Do you kiss him? Yeah. Or where, do you, where do you go? <laughs> Where, where, tell me everything that happened. What happened? Go ahead, Diamond. Get in the car. This is, okay, this we, is Diamond's claim. We don't know if this is yeah. true or not. We're going to hook her up to the light detector in a minute. We know it's true, baby. All right, let me hear. So, He's out there listening. I got in the Jeep, mm -hmm. and I said, oh, my. When I first stepped in the Jeep, I said, oh, it is you. Mm -hmm. So I get in the Jeep. I get in the Jeep, mm -hmm. and then he goes, um, oh, you look nice. He mm. said, what other part of your body besides your face is nice? Mm. And I started mentioning some unmentionables. Right, because you know this is radio. we got to keep it clean. Yes, right. and I told him, you know, what parts were nice. Did you tell your breasts were nice? I said my breasts, right, you're, uh, my ass, I said my feet, my skin. Did you know he was into feet? Um, I kind of figured it out. How did you, how'd you figure that out? Because I had heard and I seen it and I was like, and I'm like, I like taking care of my feet. Mm -hmm. And this was like two years ago, so I was two years younger. And Do you have nice feet? more gorgeous. Do you have nice feet? They're hanging in there now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let me see your feet. Let me see what a nice looking foot looks like. Mind see. you, they're big. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what size is your shoe? 13? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. All right, go ahead. Let me see those feet. Let me see that. Very nice, shapely legs. Look at those beautiful toes. They keep, you keep very nice, and they're nicely pedicured, aren't they? Yes, baby. <laughs> yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Well, see, when you get down here, that's when you know she's a man. <laughs> yeah. I had a slave come lick them and clean them all up for me. Before uh, I is that right? Love slave? A slave. I love mm -hmm. slave. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Meow. Now, you, you, so you get in the car. And you say, my feet are nice. And, and, but you never mentioned that your, your uh, male genitalia is nice. That you don't bring up, right? No. Because you're being a woman. No. Uh, you don't even like to think about that. You know no. her foot is bigger than Marty the Midget? No. <laughs> okay, wait a second. So then you, so he says, everything is nice, huh? And then do you show him? Do you take off your top and everything? Um, actually, no, because he, I mean, I was, I wanted to just attack him, but sometimes I'm very aggressive with mm -hmm. men. And he was like, mm -hmm. Whoa. slow down a little. Yeah, maybe well, I, you had your hands all over him? Yeah, I needed a little well, man. Of course, girl. Yeah, he's hot. He's, he's just short, but he's a nice looking guy. Yeah, he keeps in uh -huh. good shape, right? Yeah, yeah, and I wanted to play with him, but yeah. he was like, can you come down a little, baby? Yeah, baby. Yeah, and we like a little, we like a little conversation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's true. He does like a little conversation, mm -hmm. but he's actually, I mean, in person, he's not as sexy as I thought he was going to be. Right, because yeah. he's tiny. Yeah, because he's tiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it didn't matter because he ain't a big man like me. I mean, it all went to the bank. The cash right. Was the, same. the cash was Hello. just sexy. Yeah, the cash was very sexy. <laughs> it was very sexy, honey. Now, Eddie wasn't interested in uh, in jumping right into things, but when you were, where did you go to eventually kiss and get into it? Right there in the gym? No, the first time we didn't really do much. He just drove, he, we uh, made a U-turn on my because I live on a dead end street. Right, so you just looked and at And we me. made a U-turn, mm -hmm. and he said, um, well, okay, um, I'll call you a little bit later. And after that, I put back on my shoes, mm -hmm. and I got it, and I ran out the car, and I was like, just amazed. I couldn't believe Did that. Did he pay you some money? Three years. Did he give you some money for that? Um, yeah, just uh, a little. What'd you get? A couple hundred? I only got 500. Only? That's only. pretty good for just a ride. I mean, you don't know how I read him. I said, he is the cheapest man I've ever <laughs> met. Mm -hmm. Cheap, 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 cheap. Really? Only $500. It blew me away. And all you had to do was drive around the block and talk a little bit? But honey, you got millions. I dare you throw pennies at me. <laughs> Yeah. That's the southern coming out of me now, honey. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't throw pennies when you got millions. Hello. Right. 500 is just, he should have looked at me and said, here's a thousand right off the bat. Baby, you can't buy a specially made dress for 500 bucks. You can't get a silicone 
Hello, shot. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there you go. And I want some more. I'm addicted to silicone girl. Baby, I can't wait to I hook you up to it. the lie detector. You're not afraid of the health risks with silicone going right into your ass like that? Um. Well, listen. Girls have been doing it for like 30, 40 years, and I only know two girls that have died of silicone porn. Baby, with only those kind of odds, I would go for only two. With that big fat so, ass of yours. I think I can handle it, baby. Mm -hmm. And plus, my friend tells me he wants it to get bigger around us so I can swat it, bury him with it. Yeah, you know? bet. That's some special place. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sing it, girl. <laughs> there you go. All right, now listen so anyway, to me. Anyway, what else happened? So you're in the Jeep, and you circle around the block. You go around the block. Okay, you go home. 500 bucks. And then he calls you again, and you say, hey, baby, oh, he, 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 let's get, get he 500. He has nerves. He calls me like six or seven times mm -hmm. and never shows up. Really? Oh, really? He keeps making dates and then mm -hmm. breaking and never. He had the nerve to tell me uh, to come to 54th and stand out on the corner and my stupid self mm -hmm. went and stood out on the corner. <laughs> There's no Eddie Murphy. I'm walking up and down the street in a sexy outfit. People are looking at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's going on? You ever seen a hooker before? Mm -hmm. You know, it was he's crazy. Yeah. And then finally one day he showed up again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At your doorstep. And at that point... Begging for totally, forgiveness. At that point, I was totally just... Turned off. At him. Yes, just yeah. turned off. Yeah. At him because I can't be played Six like times that. you were played like that? You waited yeah. out on a corner somewhere? Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh. Man, let me cradle you. Oh. <laughs> All right, so wait a second. Don't tempt me half. <laughs> I'll be over there in two seconds. Really? Yeah. Oh, baby. You better come up with more than 500. I'll give you $10 and that's what you're going to have. I didn't think you were going to look this sexy Let me person. tell you something, baby. I ain't no Eddie Murphy. I take care of myself, girl. Oh. Oh, I hello. take care of myself. I got some big feet myself. Do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Now, let me let me say something. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, yeah, baby. We can rub feet together. Mine is size 13 boats. I love them. Yeah, baby. I got some big hands. That's right. You put your foot up again. You wouldn't know what hit you if I started doing stuff to you. What kind of underwear do you wear? I'm wearing these little Calvin Kleins that barely cover anything because oh I barely God. have anything. <laughs> now, listen you to me. Have hair on your ass? Oh, I got some hair on my ass. I got That's cellulite okay. and pimples back there, oh too, for it. That male voice. <laughs> You're going to throw up. All right, listen to me. So there you are. I got a diaper rash that never quits. <laughs> I know how to turn women on. Right, now listen to me. You believe me, you'll love it. <laughs> You're making diamonds. Would you give me a tip? Oh, I'll give you a tip. Here's your five dollars right now. Man. Oh my goodness. You're gonna be keeping an Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? All right, listen to me. Don't worry, baby, I'll take care of you. Listen to me. Yeah, I'm sugar daddy. Yeah. So you get Eddie, so Eddie comes over and you're mad at him and he comes into your apartment? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, uh... No, he never came in my apartment. Right, so what did he do? He picked you up and you went out to the Jeep? Yeah, came? always in the Jeep. He never... I heard 15 years ago in, in, in L.A. he used to go into the girl's apartment and then one of the girls got crafty and tried to set him up. Oh. So he learned from that. Never mm -hmm. go inside the apartment. Even... You never really do anything too, too, too much with him. That's why when he was found with the girl in L.A., they weren't really doing it because he is very interested and fascinated by just talking with transsexuals. Right. So, and also he don't want he doesn't want intercourse or anything like that because he no, can get some kind of disease. Exactly. And I, you right. know that's totally cool with me. Yeah, definitely. But you you figure what he's not gay. Um, the truth of the matter, I think he's just fascinated by the girls. He likes our company, mm -hmm. and um, I think he likes to see how we feel sometimes. But uh -huh. as far as Actual intercourse. Well, did you ever use your hand with him? I used my hand on myself. What about on him? No, he used his hand on his hand. Oh, well, now, really? now, let me get this straight. So what you're claiming is sex, the only sex that occurred between you and Eddie Murphy was you were in the Jeep. Uh-huh. And he... Hi, Eddie. I he, love you. And he, he was diddling himself and you were diddling yourself and that was it? That's the only thing? Um, well, we talked, you know, graphically. Yeah, right. you had, like, so you had like, verbal. Like, you had, like, a yeah. phone sex thing no. in person. No. Yeah. And were you naked during this? No, I told you I was wearing a blue jean skirt bikini top. Even, even the time that, you, that he, uh, you're saying now, this time that you went to the Jeep, uh -huh. he just he just fondled himself and you fondled yourself? Well, we talked first, how? We, like, got into the mood. Mm -hmm. You didn't kiss each other? Oh, no. No, no he kissing. He wasn't kiss me. No. And, no. and so the only thing you're claiming he did was uh, fondle himself. Exactly. And you didn't fondle him. Even my girlfriends that have egos haven't had him yet. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that he never touched you? Um, did he touch me? He touched my feet. Okay, now what's that all about? Now what, what, what goes on with the feet? 
He just like rubs the bottom of them and mm -hmm. you know, makes me feel sexy. Right. He said. He said, "Let now, me rub your feet." What did he say while he's rubbing your feet? Nice, nice, nice feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you think that was weird? Shake his head. Nice. Really? Nice. And he just keeps rubbing the feet. Yeah. And does he kiss the feet? Um, no, he doesn't. Does he smell those feet? He smells them. He does. He yeah. smells your pretty feet? Yeah. And he looks at them and says they're pretty? Nice. And then he touches himself? Um, while he's touching the feet? I can't remember if he touches himself or not. <laughs> I wouldn't forget that. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> tell you that, honey. So you're I, know, I kept trying to attack and see what he had. I don't think he had a big penis. I think Eddie Murphy is small in the pants. Yes, I do. You never saw his genitalia? No. Well, how's that? Because how is that? Was, uh, I thought he was fondling himself. He fondled himself through his pants? No, but what I'm saying is that he... He follows himself. Through. He doesn't. He doesn't take anything not, out. He, he's not graphic. He he always and even I remember one time I said something. He's always a like gentleman. Really out of the way. He goes, "Oh, that sounds nasty to me." He said, "I'm very clean." Mm. He's a very clean man. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So you're so Diamond. Let me get this straight today because we're going to lie detect you. Okay, dog. You're saying for the most part, the mm -hmm. only thing that you ever did with Eddie Murphy mm -hmm. is let him rub your feet. Phone sex. Phone sex. Fondling. Fondling. Now, yes. oh, oh, fondling each other? Um, no, feet. Just fondling feet? He never fondled my penis because, you know, I think he likes to see me as a woman. Right. So he never, he never, uh, and you, and he fondled himself, you're saying? Um, yes, he definitely mm. touched him. Although on the phone once, I'm sure he had an orgasm. You, did, you think he yeah. might have, but you don't know for sure. Uh, yeah, me and my girlfriend were in the house, and she answered the phone, and that turned mm -hmm. him completely on. Really? When she answered the phone, and he knew that both of us were there, mm -hmm. and we usually just hang around walking around naked, and we were telling him we were walking around naked. Mm-hmm. And so I think he probably got off that particular time. So how many times did you see Eddie Murphy over the course of two years? Um, between three and four times. Three and four times, yeah. and each time it was the same routine? Touching the feet, saying nice, and no, the uh, first time was not like the right, first time. I know. Was we just, know the first okay. time. What about the second and third time? Both pretty much the same deal. Pretty much the same deal. Mm -hmm. And then you never saw him again. No, he well actually he started calling me, and I went off on him so bad because I thought it was like stupid of him keep calling me, having me mean. And then he had the nerve one time to call me from L. A. Mm -hmm. telling me that I should take a plane and meet him there, and he had paid me back. Really. Honey, do I look crazy? No, not at all. I'm not going to catch your plane to and L.A. And each time you <laughs> met with Eddie, mm -hmm. how much money did he give you? 500 to 1000 each time. No, and that's considered sort of cheap? It's extremely cheap. Really? How much I know do you girls usually get? Giving, I have a friend that he paid for her breast. She was homeless afterwards, mm -hmm. but she wouldn't get her breast. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you're saying there was She more... was homeless afterwards, but he wouldn't pay for her breast. He really? didn't love me. <laughs> all right. All right, so he paid you 500 to 1000 You consider that cheap. But for what you did, it doesn't sound like, uh, you, you, you know, you had to put out that much. I know, but I've been with European men and they're just millionaires that have just giving you threw thousand. money at me. Really? You know? okay. so, I hear you, baby. I'm right. trying to figure out what's going on. All right, so Diamond, we're going to yeah. hook you up to the lie detector. Yeah. We're going to ask you just a couple of questions. We'll see if you pass that test. Uh-huh. All right, and then we'll know. Okay, That's going to be it. i got to take a little break. We're going to put you in the lie detector room with a man named Ed Torian. Are people what looking at me or are they just listening to me? Uh, looking and listening. We always like oh to Oh, my God. Yeah, what is it, Gary? What happens is Ed needs to go. We can do this off the air, but yeah. Ed needs to go over the questions with her. Yeah, do it during the commercials. Get everything prepped. Yeah. Okay. Set her up during the commercials, mm. and then we'll go. And, and if Ed's lucky, maybe Diamond will show him the, the feet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, baby? All right. Ed Torian, he is the top guy. We bring him in all the time. Robin, you've been... Uh, you've seen, I've been... Uh, you've been lied to. Robin lied was hooked up. by him. Turns out uh, she was with Eddie Murphy. No, it's uh, not. No, that's not true. <laughs> he, got, he got Ralph a minus 50 for being a homo. Right. And uh, that was right. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Is Baba Booey cool to you? Do you like Baba Booey? This one right Baba over here? Booey. This guy right here was... Yeah, I told him he looks much better in person. Really? Would you mm. like a massage? Yeah, <laughs> sure he would. Are you kidding? He loves that. All right, which guy in here do you think would actually go for you? Yeah, out of this one, this um, one, that's Jackie, that's Fred. Hi, baby. And, hi, baby. And that's me, and there's uh, Baba Booey. Now, who's who do you think? Who do you think would go for it? To be honest, I know this sounds strange, but I like Howard. Yeah, you like me, right, baby? Uh, yeah. That does sound strange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's not used to hearing I'm that. I'm not used to hearing that, baby. I like that. I like oh, you. Look, oh. I mean, because it looks, you can, you can, like, lay in bed and, you mm -hmm. know, talk. Yeah, I like, I like your feet. 
Thank you, baby. I, I worked hard I for that. I bet you she could get you, too, if you were desperate. Uh, I bet you she could, too. If we were desperate stranded on an island. Jane, look it up. I'm thinking of making a movie for me and Diamond. Yeah, we're on an island. you never know naked. If I would say naked, I'd probably say this one to the left. You ever see yeah. that movie? Yeah. Oh, oh, Baba Booey? Yeah. yeah you like ever see? Yeah. 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 I mean, all the gay people love Baba Booey. They love Baba Booey. Booey. They do. Booey. I know. They do. I, I tell you, though, I think she likes my wallet better, though. Uh, I can definitely come up with more than a thousand. Well, I think you might know how to treat me. You yeah. Know? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very important. We are very generous when men are generous with their pockets. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Yes, I bet. <laughs> I bet you can be friendly. Hey, uh, Robin, you ever yeah. see the movie Swept Away? Oh, yeah. Where the One two of my man and a woman are stranded on an island? That's right. What if I come up with a movie? My second picture. Me and Diamond are on an island. We are on a boat. She's like working there as an entertainer or whatever, you know. And we end up everywhere. The whole crew, everyone's killed. Everyone's wiped out. And me and Diamond end up on the island. That's and, right. And it turns out that for years we have not been discovered. And Diamond, you know, Diamond's after me. <laughs> She's the only one. <laughs> the whole man. We can call, you know, it, it would be an unbelievable movie, would it Finally, not? Finally, you're going to give in. You think so? <laughs> How long would it take you to give in? You can't on have it. You're all by yourself. No sign Nobody of help. Nobody else is going to know. And it doesn't look like anybody's ever going <laughs> to save you. Uh, two days. <laughs> 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 Some movies over in an hour. Nah, baby, I don't know if I can go that way. I don't know. I right? know. I'm not going to try you know to corrupt you today. <laughs> no. Swept behind. Swept behind. Oh, Swept my up. goodness. Swept up by behind full <laughs> on that, that, that <laughs> silicon. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't know doctors still inject silicon into the tuchus. Well, actually, like transsexual, we have our own silicone doctors. Right. And seriously, they travel and they will I thought it's illegal, though, house. to put silicon it right into illegal, the body. It is illegal, but we're, we just live an insane yeah. life. You don't care. You know, and we don't care, you know, because we want to be beautiful. There you Going. Want to that's, be feminine. That's the thing you want to have go a for. nice round ass in somebody's face. Yeah, well, we'll go to Jack Lynn, work out a little bit. All right, <laughs> oh here, my listen God. to me. <laughs> okay, listen, Ed Torian's coming up next with the lie detector test. Let's find out once and for all what's going on here. All right. All right, right after these words. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. More after this. The Eagle. Hey, it's the Cousin Brucey story. To Howard Stern. I hope Your brain so. will be electronically simplified. 50,000 watts of fifth grade. Light! Okay, let's work this out now. Uh, Ed Torian Associates Investigations is his company, 1-800-934-3241. He is the guy we always bring in who uh, gives the lie detector test. He's sitting there with Diamond. We were just having a discussion before we go over to the room where Ed will conduct the lie detector. It'll be yeah. very quick. Uh, I said to Fred and, and Gary at first during the commercials, I said, do you believe this guy's story? Do you believe Diamond's story? And Fred said, no. He did not. He believes that uh, Diamond, the transvestite, believes he's with Eddie Murphy, but probably was oh, never with him. Oh, somebody posing as either Gary and I in, his, in that person's mind. They really thought that was Eddie. Murphy. Gary and I said no because you know Eddie Murphy when you see Eddie Murphy. If in fact Diamond was with Eddie Murphy, you would recognize him. I, I believe that yeah. if you know if that part, either it's all well, made up if, or not. If, but if Fred's contention is true, she could actually pass, pass a lie detector. That's test true, and it still not be Eddie Murphy. Uh, I don't go along with that. I asked Jackie if he believes that story. Jackie said, no, I don't believe no Fred's way. story, but I don't believe Diamond's story either. Jackie says he was on the road with Eddie Murphy for years, and of course... He claims. No, so, in fact, hook Jackie up for the lie detector <laughs> test. I don't think he was on any road. I said the... I think you were on the road outside his house. Just a flag went up during her story that just it just. What did What did you think was wrong about it? It just it wasn't ringing true, you know. It just it, uh, you know you're no judge of human. And Jackie is the word. Robin, what about you? Do you think it's true? I tend to believe that if somebody was going to make up a lie. Why wouldn't they say we went all the way, we had sex, you know, to make it really good? I agree I mean, with you. you. Stop short and say we just did, you know, certain things that seem weird to me. You know, they don't seem like what you do. Let's go right over to Ed Torian in our oh, secret booth. It. Okay, Robin. Okay. Ed, can you hear me? How you doing? Howard? All right, Ed, I know you've been in the room with uh, Diamond. I see Diamond sitting right next to you. Diamond it has a beautiful breast, almost fully right. really exposed. Mm. Uh, I, uh, Ed, uh, now is the time. You are the world's foremost lie detector expert. You've proven it on this show. Right. Everybody knows it. That certainly is. Uh, any bets whether or not Diamond will pass the lie detector test? Anybody want action on this? I bet she doesn't pass the lie detector test. Why do you say that, Robin? I don't know. 
know. I, it's, a, it's tough to pass a lie detector test. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. Diamond could be very nervous and not well, get the right result. Anybody want to take that? Oh, she's not nervous. You're not nervous, are you? Just a little. Just a little. I say yeah. Diamond will pass the test. All right, I'll bet you... 50, 50 gentlemen's bet. Uh, first of all, let's bet if Ed Torian was to stand up right now, whether he have a, a Woody in his pants uh -huh. from, from the beautiful sure Diamond. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Ed, are you excited and aroused by uh, Diamond? Oh, she's a very nice looking lady. Mm, right. Thank you, you too. You're Ed, you are a nice looking lady too. Man, <laughs> <there he is. laughs> yes. Uh, diamonds, uh, legs. Uh, I love older men. You do. Right. Ed's about as old as you can get before you pass on, so <laughs> that would make sense. He's got one foot in the other world. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> all right, Ed, I am going to turn it over to you. You've already briefed uh, okay. Diamond on the questions that you're going to be okay. asking. We're going to silence ourselves okay. and leave the uh, leave the radio now to you and Diamond. Go okay. ahead. It's very exciting. Do okay. that voodoo. That That's you do do. Any other bets? Any other bets before we start? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Any bets? Wait, 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 Ed, hold on one second. Okay. Uh, Jackie, Fred, any no, bets? But how, I think she'll pass, but, you know. You think she'll pass? Yeah. Jackie, do you say she won't pass? You're she's a friend of Eddie Murphy? Stop it. You're a friend of Eddie Murphy? She's not going to pass, but... Meaning just in general? I mean, I say that her story, Ed will ask her the questions, and it will be true that she was with Eddie Murphy and that he played with her feet and, and all that. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's going to be like that for a minute. You want to bet? Anybody? Uh, no, I'll bet okay. you mm -hmm. You want to bet who 50? I'll bet you 50. You say he won't? No, bet Fred. Fred says she will pass. I oh. say I say that, uh, that he'll pass. It will pass. Right. Whatever. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't be all homophobic on me now. <laughs> all right. All right. You know, don't get him with the yeah, it. Diamond's he, sitting right here. Diamond's sitting right here. I, I don't know what Fred said, but I'll take the bet. All right. The okay. bet is on. Fred okay. says she'll pass. You say you want. Okay. Here we go. This is okay. good. All right. All right. Okay. Diamond. Yeah. What I want to do is take a deep breath. Yeah. There you go, baby. Oh. That a girl. That's it. Every breath okay. is sensual. Uh -oh. She can't hear us, can she, Ed? No, can you hear? You can hear, right? You can hear Howard? I can hear Howard, but I can hear you. Oh, oh, oh okay. he's not wearing headphones. All right. Okay. Now, try not to move for a minute or so, and just relax. So she can't okay. hear me? No. Okay. You can't hear Howard, right? Mm? Can you? No, I can't. Okay, good. Good. She misses you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of her head. Howard, what are you saying over there, cutie? Okay. <laughs> See, I told you. Okay. You're on her butt. <laughs> Look at the size of that chest. Jackie okay, thinks uh, I might be gay. Just gotta, they make a nice couple, but <laughs> just relax a second. Time. We gotta oh, look at him oh. having to adjust. Oh. 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 Ed Torian is adjusting uh, getting, Diamond's oh. breasts. Oh. Oh. I'm going to get excited in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Honey, you've been excited since you came in here. Okay, very good. All right, there we go. Don't that shoulder's good. like a fullback. Go All ahead. Right. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, now just relax, Simon. Just look straight ahead. Try not to move. Don't forget, Ed. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Diamond's vocal cords were damaged early on. That's <clears throat> right. Okay. There we go. Diamond playing with her hair, just getting relaxed. Which hair, Robert? <laughs> okay. There goes Ed Torian. Okay, very good. Stay still. Mm -hmm. You're doing good. You're going to run all day, Ed. Well, to ask a question already. Ed, <laughs> on, Ed. Let me just get this uh, situated, okay? We're doing fine. No, okay. no. I'm not doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, Eddie, good luck. Good Remember, luck. Eddie Murphy's probably listening. Okay. Oh, that was to Ed. That was to Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Okay. I think you're going to be okay, pal. Is your first name Diamond? Yes. <clears throat> first lie. <laughs> <laughs> first lie. <laughs> it's Jack. Zero for one. Cheryl. You have to stay still, Diamond. Stay still. You can't even sit still. Okay. <coughs> She's a girl with ants in her pants. <laughs> and, a, and a penis. <laughs> and possibly pants, testicles. Pants are full. All right. Don't pay any attention to us, Ed. You just do your thing. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> it starts so laughing. It's exciting. Yeah, right. Is today Wednesday? Yes. Second uh -huh. lie. You have no idea. You can go ahead. <laughs> you say so. Yeah. She might know more than you think. Uh, we should have given her an IQ test first. <laughs> Stay still. Who, me or Diamond? <laughs> Did you ever lie about something very important? No. That's another lie. Jeez, that girl doesn't have the truth in her. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Look at Diamond's laughing. I know. And I'm putting some nipple. You know, I thought that when she first walked in. Yeah, I don't think she's very demure. Did you ever sex change in 1993? Mm. No. Yeah, she, she yes. Never, 
No yet. No yet. You want to think it's a long story. Okay, but she still so has her penis, so right. she really, yeah. She's oh, right. okay. <laughs> Disallow that question. Okay, so we'll cancel that one. All right, go ahead. Okay. Did Eddie Murphy contact you through a transsexual Ed? Yes. Mm, that seems very true. That's very, very true. Mm. Mm. Oh, even Ed knows. Well, Ed just do his thing. <clears throat> Who dresses Ed? <laughs> <What? Even more. laughs> Did you ever have Eddie Murphy as a sex partner? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we're going to get the answer. That would be sex, worshipping the feet and rubbing one another. Yeah, right. and mutual, whatever. Yes, that's Diamond's view of sex, because God knows where she's got in her pants. Go ahead. Is this the month of May? Yes. Okay. And, and Ed, ask Diamond if she thinks you're attractive. I just got to know. And, <laughs> and then ask if I'm attractive. I want to know if she's okay. lying to me. All right. <clears throat> Did Eddie Murphy gain sexual gratification by having sex with you over the phone? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Eddie asked a question. He's got away with women. <laughs> Did Eddie Murphy hang down? <laughs> Did Eddie Murphy? My voice is so feminine. He just fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. Is that it? <laughs> no, that wasn't Ed. That was Donna. Okay. Uh, are you sexually attracted to Howard Stern? Yes. And ask her if she's sexually attracted to you. He's a cutie in person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Come on, Ed. Ask her if she's attracted to you. Don't okay. be afraid. Are you sexually attracted to me? Um, a dinner or two. No. Okay, good. No. <laughs> <laughs> would feel obligated to ask her out. <laughs> <laughs> That can be another no, yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to repeat a couple questions just to Good. verify what we've seen. Because this is all, in all fairness. That's right, got to okay. ask again. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. We did this with Rob in the same thing. Go okay. ahead. Okay. And you two are so much alive. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. Is your first name Diamond? Yes. Mm. Stay still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ever lie about something very important? No. I don't believe that. I'm yeah. rocking your chair. Shh. Did you have a sex change in 1993? Yes. No. <laughs> forget that question. She's oh, confused. Forget that? Okay. Yeah, forget All that right. question. Okay. Yeah. Yes, no ain't going to help. Okay. Mm. You don't, she don't, we, we, no, I think she's, the machine is going to blow up. Ed, I think she's got halfway through. She, got, she don't have any testicles, but uh, right, okay. some sort of penis down there. Did Eddie Murphy gain sexual gratification by having sex with you over the phone? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Phone sex, right? She's sure of that. She's sure right. of that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for these results. Yeah, me neither. Did Eddie Murphy ever play with your feet? Yeah. I love that. I bet you Eddie's hanging there waiting. I bet you Eddie's listening right now, <laughs> listening to every word. He's in a makeup trail or something. <laughs> with, with Betty. I wonder if he's that. <laughs> Did you ever have Eddie Murphy as a sexual partner? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'll try that. Ask if you ever had anal intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind that. Okay. I don't even want to know. All right. I think we know the answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. On that three-quarter shot, she almost looks like a woman. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, uh, that's about You got enough, Ed? Ed All yeah, righty. So. Ed, we're going to take a little break, and then you'll come in with the results. Yeah. So bring yeah, back no time in here. Okay. okay. We come back. The results. Ooh. Okay. Uh, this I, is it. This is going to be okay, beautiful. Time. Ed, don't tell sure. anyone. Ed, don't tell anyone. Ed Torian, Associates, Investigations. That's his company. Diamond will be back in here. He is the Ed top guy. 1-800-934-3241 if you want to investigate somebody and hook him up to Ed's machines. And we will get the results. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thanks yes. a lot, Howard. Yes, thank you. We'll be back with the Howard Stern Show. Okay. Don't go away. Broadcasting from the top of the Howard Stern Building. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show on the Stolen Vehicle Police Recovery Network. Get out of town. All right, coming into our studio now for the results. This Eddie Murphy story has been uh, really sensationalized by the press, particularly us. 
But we love we love controversy. We love scandal. We like to plumb the depth. We love it because uh, as long as it's not about us, we will follow it. And here comes Ed Torian, probably the world's foremost expert on lie detection. Also, the very beautiful Diamond. Where's Ed Torian with the results? Don't tell me he ran out of town. Diamond, you are here. Your your breasts are huge. Your your body has been rebuilt by medical science to become a woman. You claim to have been with Eddie Murphy, and uh, he worshipped your feet. Uh, you claim that the, that uh, he fondled himself through his pants while he was with you. And now we're going to find out if Ed Torian thinks you're telling the truth. You were very definite during your lie detector test. I noticed you you took it like a man, even though you are on your way to being a woman. <laughs> That's the only way to do it, Howard. Right. You answered the questions. That's true. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of this is true about Eddie Murphy or not, but I certainly felt the man was owed a lie detector test finally. Right. He was owed one of his accusers to be uh, hooked up to a lie detector test and find out whether they're telling the truth or not. Finally. And finally, Ed Torian can give us the results. some clarity on this situation. Right. Definitely. Now, well, you will get more clarity in, in 90 days when the girl gets out of jail. Right. Is she still in jail? Yes, she does. Uh, Diamond is exactly right. She has to do 90 days. Right. Uh, Diamond seems to have had a brush with the law herself. <laughs> or two. Or, or three. two. You ever had a brush with the law? Long time ago. Mm -hmm. I've got to obey my laws now. You do? What happened? No, never done time. Mm -hmm. Really? No. Mm -hmm. That's right like for the sweet girls. wonder what jail they put you in, men's or women's? Well, this one, Eddie's... Uh, a uh, passenger yeah. is in a men's prison <laughs> in a special cell mm -hmm. just for transsexuals. So you can imagine what's going on out there. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Must be a lot of hooting and Lots of out. transsexuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Ed Torian, you're the man. you got the lie detector machine. <laughs> now, did Diamond charm you when <laughs> <and> he <laughs> your results? This is, the first time, this is the first time I've ever seen Ed Torian just laughing. Yeah. While, uh, Ed, get close to that microphone. Okay. I know that you, uh, you right. sometimes, you, you, what happened to your vocal cords? You strain them or you got punched in the vocal cords? Oh, I, oh, I I, fell on a, I was on an aircraft carrier, and I fell on a flight deck, and I fell against the railing, and I uh, damaged my vocal cord. That's years ago. Have you ever thought of becoming a woman? Uh, oh, baby. <laughs> With that voice? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. Hello. How are you, Sam? Hello. Right. You are 100% heterosexual, are you not, Ed? Uh, yes. Right. So far, we know that. Right. right okay. 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 Ed? <laughs> Tell us what you learned from the lie detector test. There are bets on this. Remember, try to be accurate. Okay. I have fifty dollars saying that, uh, and that, she will. that she will win. And I say she right. won't. And uh, Fred Norris says she will pass. Jackie said she won't. We each took fifty dollars bets. Right. Gentlemen's bets. Right. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. The first thing I have to tell get close you to that microphone, please. Okay. I beg of you. I beg of okay. you. I beg of you. Go ahead. We don't want to miss a word. We don't want to miss okay. a word of, of your of your strained voice. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. On the first test, she was deceptive on her name. Go ahead. I told you. Well, because okay. it's probably not her real name. Right. So I asked her twice, and she was what they call deceptive. She yeah. failed that right. test. She failed her name. Yeah, yeah because oh. I forgot. Come on. Yeah, you weren't born Diamond. <laughs> right. right. Okay, go ahead. No, that was her first name. Diamond. Yeah. Do you think her first name is really Diamond? Yeah, like her parents looked right. at her and she came out and said, "Oh, this is Diamond." She had a Diamond. penis. Yeah, Diamond. Probably well, name that's is... exactly what happened, girl. <laughs> her name is probably Billy Bob. Go ahead. Oh. All right, go ahead, Ed. She's deceptive about her name. Right, and she was deceptive about today. It's today Wednesday. I told you. Really? Because she, I knew she didn't know if it was Wednesday or not. Right. These working girls never know. <laughs> Tell the truth. You didn't even know if it was. Wednesday. I've been up all night. I had no idea. No, I thought it was still Tuesday. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You told me that. You right. thought it was Tuesday. All right, go ahead. Then I asked her the question is... Uh, <laughs> Get close on that microphone, please. Right. I beg okay. of you. I beg of you. Then I asked her the question is, did you have a sex change in 1993? Mm -hmm. She was, um... We did, she couldn't she figure it out. She what to say. Because yeah. you still have a penis, right, well, Diamond? Well, she's not deceptive on that question. Yeah, she had her testicles removed, though. But, see, that, that would not be a full sex change. So she, oh, okay. she said yes, no. Right. So that, that's why I said throw and out the question. And that's why we said throw out the question, yeah. because she okay. can't answer that. I mean, look at her. I mean, who knows what <laughs> she's confused. has. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're all confused. <laughs> Then, right. on the next question... Get close to that microphone, please. Okay. I, beg <laughs> I beg of you. I beg of you. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, sorry yes, yes. That. Go ahead. Now. Yes. Yes. Next one was... Ah, please get close to that microphone. Okay, I beg of you. Okay, yeah, because right. we're getting to the meat. Yeah, 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 the meat. All right, the meat. <laughs> Did Eddie Murphy contact you through a transsexual ad? 
And yes. what was the answer? And she said yes, and she was truthful on that question. I was going to say, don't oh, even no. try it. Right. Don't even go there, girl. Rule, honey. Uh-oh, looking bad for my friend Eddie. Go ahead. Right. Okay, okay. But wait a second, that's not uh, that's indicative not of anything. anything. That's not everything. Okay. Go ahead. Twice I asked her. She was uh, honest. Honest, honest on both right. times? Okay. Honest Johnny. Go ahead. She wasn't deceptive. Okay, close that microphone. Please. Okay. All right, go ahead. Now, on the, other, the next question was... <clears throat> Did you have Eddie Murphy as a sex partner? Yeah. Go ahead. And she said yes, and she was truthful. Twice. Wow. Twice. Right? Oh, well, let me Eddie give up. you 50 bucks. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Let's hear the rest. Okay. Yeah. Robin, I need my money. Enough <laughs> said. Go ahead. Okay. The next yeah. one was... Show me the money, Diamond. Okay. Just yeah, for the record, he's a nice person, but he does like transsexual. All right, go ahead. All right. Understood. Understood. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, please. All right. Did Eddie Murphy ever play with your feet? Go ahead. And yes. she answered yes, and she was truthful on that question. Oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> See, that's sick. See? That's something wrong with that. <laughs> All right, keep going, yeah, Keep going, baby. His wife probably can vouch for that. Oh, right. feet is his thing, man. She yep. couldn't get okay. the day of the week right, but she's telling the truth about it. Uh, uh, the day, day of the week good. don't matter you know, to her. Some things just aren't important. <laughs> <laughs> this looking good. I was up all night. He ain't working in the afraid. bank, baby. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll get a name right, but he knows yeah. this. Go ahead. All right. And the next question was, is this the month of May? Yes. And she was, she... <laughs> she was deceptive on that. Honey, you were, you were, you were uh, clear on the things you had to be clear on. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I did. And was there any other questions, Ed? Right. And the next one was... Get close to that microphone. Okay. I beg of you. Did Eddie Murphy gain sexual gratification by having sex with you over the phone? Go ahead. And she was truthful on that twice. Wow. Twice. Whoa. Wow. Not once. Twice. Twice, twice. 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 baby. Press Not up. once. Twice. Right. Oh, my God. What is going on, Eddie? Then I asked her the question was, are you sexually attracted to Howard? Go ahead. And she told me yes. <laughs> she was true. Uh -huh. She was true. Uh -huh. Howard, you could get a date. I could have a girl right now. Sort of. <laughs> Go Not ahead. once, but twice. Now, what about and you? What about you? Oh she my said God. no. So she and was, she was truthful? Yeah, she was truthful. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. not true. That was <laughs> lies. <laughs> <laughs> Every woman finds Ed Torrey and beautiful. But now that she's seen your work, she finds you very attractive. Oh, she's a very nice lady. He's yeah. a well-dressed man. I love that. Yes, he is well-dressed. <laughs> I'm a southern woman, too. Mm -hmm. I like all that. That's a lie. <laughs> all right, there we go. <laughs> Ed Torian. Wow, what did we learn, Howard? Let's re ask, that's review. What I was, was going to ask Ed Torian to make a summation. <laughs> Ed Torian, the, probably the world's greatest lie detection expert in the country, uh, world, uh, universe. This is the guy they all turn to. Even on Mars. 1-800-934-3241. I use him. I have my wife hooked up to a lie detector machine. 24 hours. 24 hours a day. And I know whether she's telling me the truth or not. So believe me, this is the guy to use. Right. In fact, I was called for the Ricky Lane show last week. Ricky Lake, that is. <laughs> right, right. Go ahead. <laughs> and what planet are we on? <laughs> All right, go ahead. You got a little confused. Go All ahead. Right, so I didn't go on the show because they wouldn't pay for parking. So they wouldn't? Those <laughs> bastards. Cheap <laughs> bastards. <laughs> yeah, you know how much money they make with that show? Only $900 million a year. Right, right. right. Ricky Ed Lake. Just parking. Yeah. Right, you, pay for <laughs> you want Ed, you pay for his parking. <laughs> Let me say something. What we've learned... Now, I'm not sure what we learned. We learned that Diamond doesn't know anything about herself. Ed, would you say... We've learned yet. We've learned that Diamond has no idea what planet she's living on or what day of the week it is or isn't even sure she's had a sex change operation. But we have learned that she is telling the truth. Is she telling the truth? Honey, I'm point? not the only transsexual. I'm not special. He's been dating transsexuals for years, and, I mean... He's on the street, for God's sakes, picking up street prostitutes. Well, I was hoping you would fail, Diamond. I yes, am a big I Eddie Murphy you, fan. I hope that Eddie... But you can still be a great... He's, he's a great I bet on him. He is, yes. You bet on Eddie, didn't yes. you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was, you know... But, but Ed, let's, let's make one thing clear. This is right. not uh, evidence in a court. No. It doesn't even mean that this is 100% accurate. Well, well, it's cool. Cool. How it's turning this thing. Yeah. I find him to be very charming. He's a really cool guy. Right. But uh, I'm I think thrilled to hear you say that. You're saying he doesn't necessarily have sex with the transsexual. No, he does not. He just is, he enjoys the company of a transsexual. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily <laughs> that he engages in sexual activity. Look at Ed looking at Diamond. He's like, I don't care what you say. I don't want to yeah. be in anybody's company. <laughs> I'm going home, baby. I ain't looking at nobody's feet. <laughs> very wrong. Yes, uh, 
Well, <laughs> let me see those feet one more I time. I couldn't believe it myself for three years. Let me see those feet, the feet that Eddie Murphy worshipped. Let me get a good shot of those. Oh. There they are. Oh, wow. Ed Torian, you can see them as close. <laughs> Look at that. Did you want you to take your shoes off? Did oh you have to take goodness. your shoes off in front of um, Yes, I did. I was wearing, like, sandals, no stockings, and I just, like, whipped them off and mm -hmm. started rubbing them. Did you do that them. for our cameras? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I have stockings on now, so I can't, it's kind of hard. Yeah, that lady take off the shoe. Yeah, take off the shoe. 20 bucks for the stockings. Oh, for God's sake. I'm working it. I'm working it. He's got 20 bucks. Diamond, uh, I, I, I have 50 now. <laughs> I'll, I'll shell out out of that. Let me, that let me just see hard. that, Diamond. Can I get a tip for my feet? Get out of here. <laughs> Give you a tip. Go back into the street. There they are. Look the at them. That Eddie and you got to admit, they are pretty oh. feet. <laughs> are they beautiful or what? I know some women are reading how they love my feet. Yes. You, you do keep them in good shape. What do you do? Yes. Pedicure? And, I go uh, to a special European salon get a pedicure once a week. All right. They must love you there. <laughs> Do they charge extra for the size of your feet? Yes. Do they so close big. down the shop the place when you out? <laughs> You're like the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> the whole place goes running out of the shop. It's my feet. <laughs> no. My feet are so big. So you have big, beautiful feet, honey. Don't you be ashamed. A diamond, you came in here like a man, even though you're halfway a woman. Yeah, you came in like here like a man. You came in here like a man. You took your lie detector test, and you did, according to Ed Torian, tell the truth. There you go. And Great the lady. truth, honey, will set you free. Hallelujah. Yes, it will. Ed Torian. <laughs> what? I, I thought we brought her in here to, like, dispel it. So did we I. did. Eddie, but I know you'll never believe this. I was trying to help you out. But, <laughs> but uh, look, it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean anything in a court of law. This would not be evidence. Let's point that out. That's right, Eddie. And remember, you still have not been charged with anything. That's right. You have Although you're getting dangerously close. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, those shoes are so beautiful. Let me give a plug to the Herman Munster collection. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, Diamond, good luck with you and your Thank penis you, and whatever's down there. And Thank Ed Torian, you. once again, you have dazzled us with your lie detector work. Thank you. 1-800-934-3241. And, uh, and Diamond, do you have a phone number in case guys want to get in touch with you and have the kind of... I sure do. What is yours? Do you want to give oh it out over the air? Goodness. Over the air? Uh, maybe you don't. Do you have a phone line that people call for, yeah. you know, whatever you do? Yeah. I <laughs> just give massages, Robin, remember? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe you better keep that phone number yeah. off the air. Yeah. Uh, but listen, Diamond, unless you want to give it, go ahead. Think now, quickly. 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 I can, can I talk to my agent? He can <laughs> Forget it. I don't be that confident. Action. i got to take action a break. Magazine. Pat Cooper's here. Action Magazine. Is that yeah. what you want to promote? Right. Okay. okay, that's where they can find you. And there's yeah. Diamond, and there it is. Pat Cooper's here. He's going to sit in on the news next. i got to take wow. a break. Thanks, Diamond. Thanks, Ed Torian. You're welcome, Howard. Pat Cooper's head's ready to explode. <laughs> Oh. You're listening to the Howard Stern Show. Stay right there. Howard Stern. This is a journey into the mind of Howard Stern. All right, now's the time to learn if Casey is gay. Uh, uh, uh. Do you know who Ed Torian is? Is he our uh, favorite lie detector man? This guy is great. He is considered the greatest lie detector person ever. <laughs> is that right, Ed? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm so right. <laughs> yeah. He's got a funny voice, too. I know. Uh, okay. Ed, right? Because you, um, you, you, what was it? Your vocal cords are paralyzed or something? No, I broke my vocal cord on a ship when I was in the Navy. Yeah, I, I love that. the ship. Yeah. I love that. I didn't know you could break a vocal cord. You could break yeah, anything. Did. He broke it. Can't they fix it? It's No, the VA says it's uh, it's not broken, so they're not going to do anything with it. Right. Who cares anyway? You, yeah. you know, you, 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 you're making a living. I'm yeah. along on one or you can still <laughs> You still get laid, right? Oh. <laughs> right. That's the most important thing, right? He sounds a little bit like our uh, chief engineer, Richie Herbie. <laughs> I think he broke his vocal cord, too. <laughs> All right, anyway, listen, uh, Ed Torian is uh, one of the greatest polygraph testers around who actually can get in touch with him. He's 1-800-934-3241, uh, but he's a good guy. He always comes down here whenever we have to uh, do polygraph. Is Casey in there with you, Ed? He's right here next to me. He is next to you. Casey, how are you feeling? Can you hear him? Can you hear him? No, he can't. Oh, he cannot hear. Good. Okay, that's good. Okay, good. All right. Now, Casey is hooked up to uh, various machines, I see. You've got that blood pressure gauge on his arm. Is that correct? And there's something around his chest. All right. Now, Ed, I'll tell you what to ask Casey. Okay. And then you will repeat it, right? You have to ask him a series of questions first. Right. I'm just going to ask him control questions. All right. Get the microphone on Ed's uh, mouth there. Okay. Here we go. Here's control questions, Robin. So you see this is all legit. All right. Okay. All right. 
I'm so with the control force. Casey is our new guy. He a uh, football player, very attractive man. Uh, walks out. Ed, the reason I'm doing this, listen to this, Ed. Right. This guy, we're in New Orleans. Right. Is a hot, when I say hot, I mean a hot woman. He's a single guy, comes up to him and says, He's hey. a woman? No, this hot woman comes oh. up. He might be a woman. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not A hot woman comes up to him and says, let's go back to my place. They go back to the hotel. She says, I want to go hot tubbing with you. They, she strips down, gets in a robe. KC uh, starts to take his clothes off, and she says, the hot tub is across the hall. He goes, oh, I'm afraid she's going to take my wallet, and he leaves. <laughs> Would you leave? No, definitely. <laughs> of course not. Because you know why? You're not gay. <laughs> All right, this yeah, will be a... KC murdered someone? I've never seen someone <laughs> like that on a person. He's really he's nervous. He's really serious. <laughs> ask, ask KC he's good. Ask KC if he's nervous. Are you nervous? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, look at this. All right, all right. All right. He looks like he's... I got some hooked up to me. This thing's, you know... Right. He's scared, though. I've never I seen anything like I don't think I'm scared. <laughs> you look scared, man. He doesn't know he's scared. He doesn't know he's gay. Right. <laughs> and one of the questions we can ask him is, is he scared? <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ed, go ahead. Begin okay. your... Are you known as KC? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Do you intend to answer all questions truthfully? Yes. Did you ever lie about something very important? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, what's, what's important? Oh, All right, we'll, we'll wait until after the test. Forget about it. What's important to me may be not important to you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. Now he's a lawyer. <laughs> what may be gay to you may not be gay to me. All right, okay. All right. It's today Thursday. Yes. I didn't know he knew that. <laughs> yes. All right. It's tomorrow Friday. Yes. Yeah. He's doing good. I didn't know he was this intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Bro. All right. You ready? Go ahead. Are you a homosexual? Are you a homosexual? No. Mm hmm Did you ever look at a man's genitals in the shower? Did you ever look at a man's Channels in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you I guess you can't help it. Yes, yeah. Oh, you have? Oh, okay, what do you mean? No, no, no. Okay. You know, I'd be lying if I didn't. Yeah. Oh, you have? Okay. Well, of course mm -hmm. you have. All right, okay. Don't, don't get all excited. Did you ever get aroused looking at a man in the shower? Did you ever get aroused looking at a man in the shower? No. <clears throat> Did you ever look at a man and wonder if he was a good kisser? <laughs> Did you ever look at a man and wonder if he was a good kisser? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, uh, touch his thigh so he can get the side. Ask him a fantasy question. Then. Okay. What is that one? Uh... Have you ever fantasized okay. about a man? Have you ever fantasized about a man? Have you ever fantasized about a man? No. No? Hmm? No. Have you ever had a dream about a man? <laughs> sexually. Have you ever had a dream about a man sexually? Have you ever dreamed about a man having sex with him? Yeah. Uh, you have? No. Oh. No. <laughs> Did he say no? Somebody said yes. Well, that was Fred. Oh, okay. I'll Fred, please. Again. I was at yeah, ask him again. All right. Did you ever look at a man and, and want to have sex with him? No. No. Okay. Um, are you a fag? Do you like women? Do you like women? Do you like women? Yes. Would you rather be on an island alone with Cindy Crawford or David Bowie? Does it have to be yes or no? Yes or no. Oh, okay. Okay, can you repeat it again? All right, let me give you an yes or no one. All right. All right. Um, would you choose Cindy Crawford over David Bowie to be naked and alone with on an island? Would you... Take Cindy Crawford. Who's the other guy? Over David Bowie. Over David Bowie. Naked on an island. Who would you take? Cindy Crawford or uh, David uh, Bowie? You, yeah. Cindy Crawford. Cindy Crawford. Right. You want me to repeat it again? All right, let me go to a new one. You're getting confused. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm getting your permit. All right. All Have right. you ever pleasured yourself while fantasizing about a naked man? Have you ever pleasured yourself while thinking about a man? A man? No. <laughs> Have you ever had sexual thoughts about oh, Howard? Get, hold on, we're going all right, to sorry. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Howard Stern? 
Go ahead, ask the question. <laughs> Don't ask the question. Oh, okay. Blubbering in here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Howard Stern? No. Hmm? Ask about Jackie. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Jackie Martling? <laughs> And this is important stuff. It would help if you didn't yeah, laugh. Right, okay, here we I go. can see it. All right. Okay, who's the next guy? Uh, Jackie Martling. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Jackie Martling? Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Jackie Martling? No. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? <laughs> All right. Um, what was that again? Has, I'm the, sorry. has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? Have you ever thought about being with a man crossing your mind? No. Something like that. Has the thought of being with a man... You ask him. You All right. ask him. You ask him. All right. All right. Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? No, not consciously, no. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> not consciously. All right. Ask him this. Uh, has the thought okay. of ever been with, with a man... Has the thought of ever being with a man crossed your mind subconsciously? Yes. Ooh. Well, you, you have a dream. You can't. Okay. All right. So ask him again. Have you ever had a dream about being with a man? Where are you going? He's leaving. <laughs> Take those headphones off. Okay. No, I got them. Have you ever had a thought? Have you ever had a dream about being with a man? Have you ever? Yeah. Yes. Oh, now yeah, the answer is yes. That. Before you said no. No, I didn't. Uh, mm -hmm. Your dreams, Casey. That needle must be doing backwards. <laughs> okay. Have you ever touched another man's genitals? Have you ever touched another man's genitals? No. <laughs> Have you ever feared that you may be gay? Okay, hold on for a second. All right. <clears throat> okay. Have you ever feared that you may be gay? Have you ever feared that you were gay? No. Has another man ever touched your genitals? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay. Has another man ever touched your channels? No. <laughs> Has he ever felt feelings of love for a close friend? Has he ever felt feelings of love for a close male friend? Have you ever felt close love for, a, <laughs> for another male? Did you ever Sexual, no. Sexual? What would he want to know? Sexual? Sexual, yes. Yeah, sexually. He wants to know if he ever uh, was in love with another man sexually. No, I was not. Has he ever fantasized about kissing Baba Booey's gargantuan lips? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever fantasize about kissing Baba Booey's lips? No. Gargantuan lips? <laughs> no, no. <Okay. laughs> all right. And, um, all right, finally, have you ever had a gay thought? Have you ever had a gay thought? No. Does Ed's voice get you rock hard? <laughs> Ask him that. Does my voice get you rock hard? <laughs> when he's pleasuring himself, have you ever thought of a man? Have you ever pleasured yourself thinking about a man? No. <laughs> All right. I think we've asked enough questions right. to know. Right. You have to admit. I mean, those are a lot of questions. Let Ed right. uh, tabulate the results. Okay. We're all finished, uh... Hey, ask him if he's ever been attracted to Henry Rollins. Have you ever been attracted to Henry Rollins? No. No. <laughs> Are you a good speller? No, I don't want to. <laughs> ask him if he enjoys clothes shopping. <laughs> Have you, do you want uh, to pleasure yourself clothes shopping? <laughs> <laughs> and I ask him... No, I don't. You know, um, were you... Uh, clothes shopping? Clothes shopping. Have you slept with more than one woman? Have you ever slept more, with more than one woman? Was okay. that one time or? Oh, at one time? Yeah. No. No. He has. He said. Regrettably. No. Okay. Has he, in his entire life, has he slept with more than one woman? In your entire life, have you ever slept with more than one woman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have? Yeah. Okay. Has he slept with more than five women? Have you ever slept with more than five women? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Has he ever been? A, has he ever not been able to get it up with? All right. Has he ever been able not to perform during sex with a woman? Have you ever not been able to perform with a female or a woman? 
Yes. <laughs> wow. That was a revelation. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey. What the hell? Ask him what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> What's the story there? <laughs> How come? How many times has that happened? Has that happened more than once? Has that happened more than once? Yes. Oh, uh, wow. It happened more than five times. Has it happened more than five times? Has it happened more than five times? Yeet. Maybe. Oh. Oh, oh you got to say yes or no. Uh, yeah, chances are probably yes. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ask him yes. if he's ever finished. <laughs> Has he ever finished with a woman? Have you ever finished with a woman? What do you mean finished? Uh, uh, orgasm. Had, 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 had an orgasm. Yes. Had an orgasm. Have I ever had one? Yes. With a woman? Yes. With a woman? With a woman? Yes. Sure. You sure? Sure. <laughs> I asked him, is the reason he didn't sleep with the girl in the hot tub because he feared his wallet would be stolen? Fear you had was sleeping with that woman in the wall and so you thought she was going to steal your wallet. Yes. All right. I'm done. Oh, Rob, are you done? I think I'm done. All right. I think we learned too much. <laughs> ask him if a woman has ever called him gay. Has a woman ever called you gay? As a joke, yeah. Oh, yes. Ah, All right. All right. It. That's it. He's done. Okay. Now, how soon are you going to have the results? Uh, give me a couple minutes. All right, good. Okay. Thanks. All right, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll find out if Casey's gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Let me speak to Casey. Put those headphones on. Casey, it's all, it's all in a laugh. It's all in a laugh, Casey. What's up, man? So what do you mean? You, could, you mean a couple of times you couldn't get aroused? Yes. Wow. What's that about, man? Uh, it's, I'm sure it's mental. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you're angry. Wow, what were you boozing or? Uh... No, that had nothing to do with it. Really? Yeah. What do you think that's about? Hey, <laughs> that could be gay, bro. Oh. Uh, it, I, no, it had nothing to do with being gay. Well, you're a young guy. Did that happen? Well, I mean, what'd you do? That what? never happened to me. That, that, oh, come on! It's, I'm where sure did he? I swear on my life, it's never happened to me. But what oh, you, right. I mean, what did he do? I mean, what do you do? Was she a pig? No, not at all. What do, you, what, what do you do? Did you just say to her, hey, you know, uh, I'm having a problem? Yeah, I, I think uh, just a lot of times that uh, when you think about too much stuff, you, you kind of can't perform. And that, that, happens to, that happens to me. You're, <laughs> you're 23 years old. That should not be happening. Yeah, well, a lot of things shouldn't happen to me, so. Wow. Were the girls all right with it or what? Well, I, you know, I probably started laughing. Did you have understanding women, or is that when you killed the woman? <laughs> <laughs> when she started laughing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Man, yeah. dude. You I, wanted to. Did somebody laugh at you? Huh? Did, somebody... Did anyone ever laugh at me? Yeah, during as that. far as a woman. I'm laughing at you right yeah. now. Yeah. Not, to, not to my face. No. No. Oh, okay. So what are they? Are they real understanding? They're like, oh, Casey, I understand. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. No, you know, I, I think um, either I left or. Fell asleep, but I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, you know what I probably did? I probably would take care of, so they couldn't complain. Wow. What do you think that's from? Like not like uh, being able to perform? Well, Was they he... say it happens to everybody, but never. I, I swear it never happened. Does it ever happen to you? I don't. Th you know, the only time is like uh, you. Uh, you've it. done it once already, and maybe you really can't go and get going the second time because yeah, but, yeah, okay, something. that's some. Uh -huh. I don't wait for him. But even if you do yourself in the afternoon a bunch of times, you're still ready to go there. Has that ever happened to you? Howard, when it comes to sex, you and I are cut from the same cloth. We're right. like horny around the car. Right. And yeah. I've never even, it's never even crossed my mind. I'm sorry that happened to Casey. Right. But, I mean, drinking. What, I don't back think in the me when I did cocaine and all that stuff, it's never been a problem. Me neither. I, I never can recall a time in my life where I could not get aroused over a woman. Right. And has everybody had that same experience in this room? I'll tell you what. Uh-oh. I have even... I, I have to pleasure myself before a woman comes over. To calm down. To calm down. Yeah. Right. And then, like, 45 minutes later, I'm okay. Right. You remember what happened? You better come to Casey's aid and tell him he's not straight. <laughs> what, you nervous? Are you Casey, Casey, bro, you might be gay, dude. It's okay, you th though. Th you, think, you think I'm gay just because that, that happens to me. Right. Even, no, Ed, even Ed can't keep his hands off you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with, with being gay, Howard. Huh? Really? What does it have to do with? Might, maybe you were beaten as a kid for getting aroused or something? <laughs> I'm being serious. You know, it's funny, Howard. I talk to Casey a lot, and, you know, I know him pretty well. Probably right. better than anyone on the show, but I don't really know him well. And I know that Casey feels that he's got sort of a deep, dark side that I'm not even sure he feels he understands. Really? Is that right? No, I, th I, don't, I don't really talk a lot about my personal life. You know, I, I, don't, uh, I don't feel it's necessary. <laughs> well, on here, you're supposed to be honest, so uh, you, when you ask me stuff, I'm going to be honest. Right. But I don't like to reveal too much. 
<laughs> Are you going to go ballistic one day and go postal on it? No, I, you know, I've become a lot less angry than I used to be. I, I, you know, think back, and I was somewhat scary, but now I'm fine. I think you were angry because you, you, when you, you know, when you can't get it, uh, get, get it going for a woman. Did you think it was the steroids? <laughs> Did you take steroids? No, no. never. No. no, no, no. When's the last time you went limp with a woman? Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's a kid. Yeah, you're telling you, man. Just think of, uh, you know, he's a candidate for Viagra, right? Howard, dude, by the time you're my age, you're going to be in big trouble. No, I see, that's not it's not going to happen to me when I find that certain oh. person. Oh, oh Howard, you know what the best part about this is? Yeah. Like, I love KC and stuff, but right. he's so damn good looking, it just makes me feel better. Me too. I think I'd rather be I me. I tell you, this is God's cosmic joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's not like it happens every time, Robin. Wow. Oh, but most of us. Wow. Everybody yeah. else, you spend your 20s. Trying to figure yeah, out what you're going to do with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got another one. Yeah, maybe you're lucky, man. You're not cursed like me. Every minute I'm thinking about it. Plus, I suffer from, I, I, when I was his age, I suffered from the opposite. Right. right. I know. I'm trying to figure out how to not make it happen. I know. I, five times a day yeah, it would be happening. Keep it, at, at work, he couldn't keep yeah. it. Yeah. Five times a day? Five times a oh. day at your age. Dude. You, you've done that. Five yeah. times. Yeah. I, what, my, you call my girlfriend. Uh, when I, before I got married, I was with this girlfriend in uh, Princeton. She was an actress. Mm-hmm. We used to do it five times a day, dude. Gary was he sitting here on camera. Yeah, on camera, Gary yeah. gets aroused. What? No, no, no just, just, just walking around. You're talking I'm about finishing everything. Hey, five times. Five times. Days, throughout the whole day, one yeah. after another? No, throughout the day. Yeah. You take a nap. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's still a lot of sex. Like you have sex in the morning, sex in the afternoon, sex in the evening, maybe two times late at night. How many oh, times you... he's ever... Yeah, how many times have you been with a woman the most? In a day. Uh, in a day. I would say... Once, right? No, no, no. One after another? Yeah. Three. Really? All right, that's not bad. No, but, you know, that was with somebody that... I like to hook it back up to that machine and see if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, John? Do you think maybe that's why he doesn't want to be with his girls, Howard? He's afraid he can't perform? Uh, no. Maybe. No, no, I, I know. You're right. You know what I mean? Because he was in the hot tub, he was drinking. Yeah, yeah, you know, right, maybe, right. He, maybe he just couldn't. Yeah. No. Well, I, I think there is a fear. Like, maybe he got to the hot tub with that girl and maybe... She would, you know, like uh, most of us would have just done it. Right. Maybe Casey's saying to himself, you know what? She doesn't really do everything for me, yeah. so why risk that whole problem? Mm -hmm. What if that happens and she calls the show? Well, what if that happens and I don't even happens. like her that much? Right. You, know what? you said something a while back, Gary. You said Casey thinks way too much. Maybe that's what he's thinking about. What are you thinking about well, when you're with these chicks? According to you guys, I don't think at all. Like, when's the last time you went limp? <laughs> when's, uh, I would say, you know, Oh, man, I, I don't even remember. I was Howard, like, a year ago? Limping. No, I, Howard Limping. <laughs> <laughs> when did last say you were in limp? Uh, let's see, I would say maybe, uh, I think I, I can remember it happening maybe seven, eight months ago. Seven, eight months ago? Howard? So, like, like, have you seen the chick since? No. All right. You never see those women again. <laughs> no. Okay. I have a question. No. Yeah. Does Casey wake up with wood? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, but every guy has to. That's because you have to urinate. Wait a second. I have a what really, a really whack question for you. Have you ever tried to pleasure yourself and not been able to do that? Oh, no. No. It's, it's, well, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's happened to me. That's happened to me. But you've been really? doing it for some Right, do it so many days no, 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 in a row. I mean, after a while, there's nothing left. He's not in your league. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm in, I'm, I'm in the Olympics for that. You I think are. somebody else just yeah. inherited the nickname <laughs> Jelly. Yeah, right. <laughs> what is it, Doug? I, ha I have, actually, one of my interns has a theory on Casey. Go ahead. That he probably has a very small penis and he's very self-conscious to be with a woman, to be naked with a woman. Is that right? See, that's, that's BS, because I know that's true. I know that's, that's on the case. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I know that's true. So you're, you're a nice size. I think so. Right. You know you're not self-conscious about but it. Are you no, worried, definitely not. Are you so right. are you, worried about pleasing a woman, or you think you're... No, I mean, go, you know, just check out, all right, we go to the locker room, right? I would have to walk around all day naked, so, you know, you know why would I okay. care? Right, yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I got a question. Yeah, but how it, I, bet you're Robin, Robin, I bet you Robin could teach you a few things. Oh, yeah. You'd never go limp from that. There, there you go. go. I got a question, Howard. Right. Those beautiful nails and fingers. Casey, have you ever gone limp for a while? Oh, no. He's a lie detector. No way. He's not gay. I mean, I'm gay. I have some kind of some kind of uh, no, that's gay, bro. Pants. Bro, I'm telling you, that's gay. Maybe you would have got aroused if you smacked him. <laughs> so I've, never, I've never hit a woman. How long does it take you to be comfortable <laughs> being naked around a woman? You need to be with her a few months or so, or like right away you can get naked. I don't, I don't care. Mm. You've had one night stands, right? Yes. And you've been able to have Maybe happiness perform. there, perform fine on those. Yeah, but then after it was over, I would feel like even more like weird and strange, like a woman. <laughs> you had these problems with people you had relationships with. Now, what do you mean you felt weird and strange after? You know, it's 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 kind of like you know this is something that you should you should feel for somebody and 
Right. Well, afterwards, you're like, hey, you know what? I just probably used them because I had sex and I don't feel anything. I feel that way, too. Yeah, everybody feels that way. I think there's like an endorphin or something that goes out of your brain, but you always feel sort of bubbling Afterwards. Afterwards, you want them out of there. You don't know how it happened until and after the fact. You're like, oh, my God, what did I do? Afterward, it's like the chick is a little chatty and stuff, and you're like, what am I doing here? No, that's not it. There were times that I was with somebody that I really cared about. Yeah. It's, it's night and day, and it's it's totally different. And, and I, it's every I, guy. I, dude. I feel aware oh. that there's actually someone. There could be someone out there that I could feel that way What's about. His name? But when did you have the problem? When you felt something for somebody, or when you didn't? No, when I was when I felt this way with somebody, I never had that problem. Let me get this straight. You're with a chick. You really like her. Yeah. Then after you finish, you go, Hey, yeah. I don't sort of like her that much anymore. No, if, if, that's every guy. Yeah. Dude. No, 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 no. No, that's not what it's about. It's it's. It's not about that. See, he once said that he feels, it makes him feel shallow and empty. <laughs> Have sex? So maybe you should wait somebody he doesn't like. Someone oh. called the other day. And well, that's okay. Yeah. That's no, it's, he it's, thinks it's, it's unusual. Someone called the other day and said that, you know, maybe Casey was, 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 was jilted you know, by somebody. And, he, and this is, this he is was. the problem. Yeah, big deal. The guys that's don't care about was. that. You go out and get more sex. He's a good-looking yeah, guy. No, what do you care about that? Richie, what's up? Richie, what's up? Hey, how you doing, Howard? Yeah, what do you want to say? Yeah, I can sympathize with KC. I got that same problem. It's, uh, we're kind of screwed. Uh, I can't be with a woman unless I like her either. I mean, I had some good-looking... All right, but, he, but he's saying he likes them, and then he doesn't like them after he's finished. I understand that. That's the no, absolute no, no, no. truth. He's I, I don't... single-time sex with somebody you really don't care about is empty and meaningless. Really? No. 23, you think no, that? It, it is. I it think is. it's better. It's like I would, I would think... There would be someone that I could feel something for. And you haven't and found that yet. Over, it's very, it's confirmed that I won't. Right. Okay. Rick, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard, how are you doing? Uh, what guy? Only chicks think like this. <laughs> He's, a girl. He's a girl. Howdy, 23. In a while. I know. Wait, wait, sorry, Rick, we didn't hear you. What? Yeah. I work out in the gold gym in Port Jeff where Casey used to work out a lot. Yeah. And the, the initials that he has there is GG, not KC. GG? Yeah, gay glow. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll be wor I'll be uh, looking for you. But, you know what? You have to put this in terms. When, when are we going to know the results of the test? I, I'm, I'm sure they're ready now. Let me go check. All right, go find out. Head, head is bad. What do you think, Howard? Okay, I say. On the fence. On the fence. I think he's, he's mm -hmm. confused about. All right. You know what? Why don't I take a break and we'll get the results? All right. Casey, you you need the results. Are, what I, do you, you know, think? I, I know what the results are. Um, um I don't do think I, don't, I think the question is he gay? Will will he'll, he won't be gay? But the other other question. I think he will be gay. Really? Yeah. No. He's ready? It's ready. I think we should bring them both in here. All right, we'll take a break, let them all come in here, and we'll find out. Okay. This is very, very disturbing, what I'm hearing. <laughs> KC. <laughs> no, he's KC if he does this stuff. You can all kiss my ass because I'm not gay. Well, well, that jelly laugh. And you can, beat, and you can beat their ass. <laughs> jelly laugh, jelly laugh. Oh, I'll relax. Oh. I like KC. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, dude, let me just say something. No matter what the results, man. Yeah. You could always have a job with me. I don't care if you're gay. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate it. All right. Oh, Here we go. Don't discriminate against yeah. gay people. Uh, look, can I ask one more question? Gays are better workers. Right. Casey, right. Right. can you dance for me at scores? <laughs> uh, hey, Jack, let me ask you a question. How long will it be until I put my foot right in your face? <laughs> <laughs> you bet, KC, Howard, like if he loses and got to walk the phone. Do you think all that aggression is to hide your uh, love of men? <laughs> yeah, yeah Robert. Can you test me out? I'll take you out tonight. How about that? Wow. Very well. What's that, Ed? Yeah, we're on the air. Yeah, put your headphones on. You don't think I talk about dialing mattress off the air, do you? I mean, be honest. <laughs> what kind of guy do you think he is? Yeah, what do you think, I'm nuts? I mean, I love him, but I don't talk about him. 1-800-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S. Uh, -S. Take off the last S for savings, and you'll be in touch with dial mattress. And they have a showroom, too. But you really don't need it. They deliver a mattress within two hours, 60% cheaper than department store or bedding store prices. Have you ever called them? You should. I will. You're married or single? Married. You're married. Your wife would love a new mattress. From what I understand, you have sex five, six times a day. You're probably... That's quite a man. Yeah. He's pretty healthy. No trouble there. 1-800-MATTRESS. Quick, quality, hassle-free bedding. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to eat a lot of carrot and change the color of our... Duty! Yeah! The great Michael Buffer. Let me say, Ed's no homo. No. The married man sitting over there. Hey, get close to that microphone just so I can talk to you. Okay. All right, you have the results. I'm going to bring Casey in then. Okay. And let's find out what's happening here. Casey, come on in and let's find out whether you're a homosexual. And by the way, uh, some penthouse chick's going to come in next. She's also one of those chicks who's into hemp. Oh, yeah. 
You know, it's illegal legalizing yeah. marijuana. You should get a cause. <laughs> Casey, are you nervous about the result? No, I, I, cause I know in my heart, I don't care what Why that thing says. Why can't you be I know. honest with us? Wait, well, no, what are you talking about, Robin? I know in my heart what I am. I don't care what that piece of paper says. You or are what you nervous. People think. I'm not nervous. You I, are. I know. He I know. said you were scared, learn. and you said you weren't scared. I'm, well, I'm not scared. You know, maybe I was a little nervous. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. What you, you guys think? I like you guys, but what you think about this doesn't matter to me. All right, let's turn to Ed Torian, the polygraph expert. The truth doesn't okay. matter. All right, let's hear the truth. Go ahead. Wait, 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 I can't get close. I don't know what I'm looking at. Bile. He's what? He's bile. He's a bi guy? Yeah, he's he bisexual. Is. Right, likes girls and guys. Oh! Really? Oh. Now, how did you cut long? <laughs> what did it say to you? <laughs> I see the interpretation when I asked him, uh, when you said, uh, All right, go ahead. like kissing men. Right. Oh, he, he was, um... Uh-oh. He was lying. Got right. It. Right. Lying I've never kissed a man in my life. You like you like the idea of it? No, I don't. You don't know. Then we asked about kissing women. Right. And he said, uh, yes, but he's lying. He was, he, he he was truthful like about that, too. He likes kissing women. Yeah. He likes kissing men. Really? Wow. How, how, can I like, how can I like kissing men if I've never kissed a man? Imagine. Want to do it. Has he ever? Remember I asked him all those questions about whether or not he's been with a man or thought about a man? I mean, give me give me some info right. here. Okay. okay, go ahead. Well, he, he loves this guy. What's his name? Rollins? Rollins. Henry Rollins. <laughs> he loves Henry Rollins. I don't know who he is, but he loves him. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Henry he Rollins likes, is a bodybuilder. Right. He likes go. He likes going clothes shopping with Rollins. Right. Henry Rollins. He, he likes that fantasy. <laughs> that, 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 no, that's that's not true. Like I, I like the guy's music. Right. But I, I don't want to. Have sex with him. Well, never been in the room. Who knows? Oh, but, uh, <laughs> what else is it there? He pleasured himself in front of Rollins. Right. <laughs> what? Wait a second. Ed, what <laughs> test are you on? These questions coming from, Ed. He's making up questions. No, these are the pleasure yourself. Yeah, they, but we asked him if he ever pleasured himself. Thinking about a thinking man. Thinking about a man. He told me nobody was lying. He was lying. Ooh. Right. Wow. Oh. So, wait, I, so I pleasured myself in front of a man? No, no thinking, about thinking about a man. Thinking about a man. Yeah. 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 Come on. You've thought about men. No, I haven't. No. <laughs> it's, it's right there on the piece of paper. I can what, is that, what is that proof? The, the, the needle went off the sheet. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I think your new name is Daisy. Oh, no. what, are, what, what are some of the other questions there? That, uh, the, the other questions there. Uh, they're all over the place. I don't know. Right. Is he honest when he said, you know, he sometimes can't uh, perform? Yeah, he was honest. No. Right? Yeah. He can't perform all the time. Wow. Was he was right. truthful, yeah. Right. Truthful what else he got on there? And then there was something about arousal with men. Right. He gets arousal around men. He does in the shower or he gets yeah. excited looking at So you think that would be obvious if I were to get aroused? No, he's shower. saying you look and you get you, you, you get, get turned on. on. Yeah, no, you don't. You can't. You would see that. No, you can get you can control that. But no, you can't. Yes, you if can. If you're aroused, no. people are going to see it. So you're bi. Big deal. No, I'm not. I'm not. You, you guys are crazy. Down. What? I, you, you're okay. Take it. Take it like a man. I am taking it like a man. You might even not even know you're bi. No, I know. I know what I like. He doesn't know? How do you know that, Ed? Well, you can see by his actions. Right. So this is totally yeah, unconscious. Get close to that microphone. You're a very interesting man. Yeah, go ahead, bud. Wave, wave at him again. Ooh. Wave to me. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's a gay me. wave. <laughs> yeah, right, very gay. So now he's, now he's making, uh, he's making yeah. observations about me, but yeah. it's not about, it's not what's on the paper. Well, no. The paper he, says you're gay. The paper says you're bi. You're gay. And then, uh, you're saying you're bi. <laughs> At least he says you like both. <laughs> so it, so it's not as bad as we thought. So it's, it's Ed's opinion that I'm bi. Oh, yeah. He yeah. says you like men and women. Right. It's, it's not his opinion. It's what's on the lie detector. Well, but he was just talking about the way I waved to you. Well, he's making he's a joke. He's trying to be funny. He's trying to he's trying to ease your pain. Huh? <laughs> it's, it's all right. I know. Hey, hey. hey. you know, that's Ed. I, I'm not mad at you. Oh, I'm not mad at you. You know, I... He'll be, Right. Casey, we can go shopping. You can be one of my girlfriends. Oh, Rob. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really believe this, do you? So, Ed, does it, it leads me to believe that like, when he looks at a guy, right. he's looking and thinking. Well, he turned on. He could never get in service with that. What? Really? Oh! <laughs> you can't get aroused in a... So he's bi. That means he likes men and boys. Yeah, well, right. I don't, I don't. <laughs> so, so if, Howard, if I were to get aroused in the shower, don't you think any of my teammates no, he say that? No, what, what, no, no, you don't get aroused, but you, you enjoy seeing them. Get titillated. We asked you, do you ever think about men and you think about them? You like hanging around guys, That's don't absurd. you? Yeah, I like hanging around guys, but not mm -hmm. hanging naked. You should guys. pay a cover charge to go into the locker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ed, I've learned a lot. What else is he saying there? Anything you well, can... Bob Bowie, he'd love to kiss his lips. Really? Oh, is that true? That Wait, is he attracted to me or not? Uh, oh, he's definitely Bob attracted Bowie. to you. There's no doubt about it. He I... loves you. Really? Oh, 
Look at so this here. Look at this. So now, look, look, look at this. When, I, when they said, are you attracted to Howard? Look what hey, it looks like. Hey, I can't even see it. Look at this. Let me see. So now you know the test has no validity then. Ed, Ed. What are you saying? Wow. Oh, my God. Robin. <laughs> Robin, look what happened. What? What? Did it go? It, goes off, it literally goes off the page. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, Ed. When, when, when you ask me the question about kissing my lips, is there any factor for nervousness, maybe? Or, or, is, or is he way off the scale? Oh, no. Get on the microphone, then, please. I beg you. Right. He right. was, uh, he was calm in the, uh, he, took he that, shot right up. Right. right. He took that Look, question this, this very is, serious. This is insane. <laughs> you want to kiss Baba Boy? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I love you like a brother, man, but I don't want to kiss you. I don't think Casey wants to kiss you. Know so wait a second. I wouldn't get drunk around him. You're telling me Casey's attracted to me? Is he attracted to Jackie? He's only attracted to his lips. No, is he attracted to Jackie? Oh, this Jackie, is Jackie Martin. Jackie. I didn't answer. Did I answer? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. It was after Howard. Oh, no, he's not attracted to Jackie. Well, he's no. a pain. Oh, he's a pain. He's a pain. Yeah, he's a homo. <laughs> I didn't say he was a pervert. <laughs> what is it, Dominic? Yeah, well, no, I think, I think I'm insulted. interpreted wrong. I think he's not conflicted right now. It's just that his homosexuality hasn't developed. So you, you have to find out what happened in his childhood. Oh, you didn't ask that. Put him back on the machine. Something happened when he was a kid. That well, was this. I don't know. I mean... Let's put him back in on that. Well, I'm not going to put him back in. Yeah, I mean, uh, clearly he's a bisexual, so who cares? Who cares if you're bi? Clearly. Yeah, clearly. You're a non-practicing hey, bisexual. What do you say? It's no big deal? No, it's no big deal. No, non-practicing yeah, bisexual. Yeah, you don't sleep with guys, but you want to. That's why you can't get aroused. What's a horse crap? <laughs> you know when you have trouble with... When you're in bed with women and you have trouble? Yeah. Probably because you want to be with a guy. I think, I, think, I think you should bring a guy in there with you. <laughs> but let me ask one question. Go ahead. Is this why he became... An intern to an associate producer, something like Monica and uh, Clinton Howard? Oh, get out of here. No, you know what I want to ask, Casey? There's one question I want to ask, Casey. Yeah. Has he ever fantasized about three-way sex, and was there a guy there? No, not not a guy. No, two broads? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, no, that's what he says here. Yeah. But then you get him on the lie detector, and it says the opposite. Oh, you guys, you guys, He's you guys are weak. He's just being reason. honest. Uh, Tom, you're I'm on the air. Honest. Why would I lie? Hey, Tom. Out. Yeah. Out. Yeah. This is uh, Tom Williams. I coach Casey at Port Jeff High School. Yeah. Yeah, he knows who I am. Is he there? Yeah. Uh, he was always the last one out of the shower. This, is, this, is, this isn't my coach. And he was always it's not. Broken before Wayne's, but he didn't have to. He clearly made weight, but he never, he never. Uh, kept so this is not on. your coach. Coach uh, Williams was my true. coach, but this isn't him. All right. Yeah. See now, people are busting your balls. What is it, Gay Rich? Howard, if he's half gay, I want the good half right now. Right. <laughs> Would you like to go out with Gay Rich? Uh, Would you like to explore your feminine side? He's a nice guy, but he, he's, he's not, not my kind. He's not That's your type. For sure. Yeah, he's got a great body. Yeah, well, Gay that, Rich is very handsome. That may be true, Howard, but wow. it, it, does, it doesn't do anything for me. All right, so look, this report seems to indicate that you're bisexual. It may be something you want to think about. Might be something you suppress. And That's fine. Let me just ask you. Right, Gay Rich? A lot of guys don't know they're gay. Absolutely, absolutely. You've been with um, you've been with so-called straight men, and then all of a sudden they realize they're gay. Totally, totally. That's your favorite thing to do. Casey is my dream man. Absolutely. Oh. The last time I the last time I was there, he told me never to call in and talk about him being gay again. Right. I I had to call in today. I'm sorry, Casey. You are way hot, and if you ever want to experiment, I am the man for you. Right. Thank you. Why don't you guys just get together for a drink? <laughs> and you can touch each other. I'm available. All right. Would you touch him? Would I touch him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Was his I pants off? The, I could show him the finer points of being gay, definitely. I guarantee you, Casey, this might be your thing. I think I'd rather be your psychiatrist than go out with him. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. Can, can I ask you some, some gay term? Right. Do you think? <laughs> Let's see some gay signal. Do you believe yeah. in your mind that you're bi? That I would like to kiss Gary. Yes. That is hard you to believe. You believe that. But wow. It's hard to believe, but I believe it. Well, Ed, you believe what you I believe Ed's test is accurate. I know Ed is one of the top guys in the country. I got terrible Ed, we questions. don't tell Ed what to say. I mean, Ed, Ed would tell you. Ed has come in here and said a lot of times, you know, look, it did, it, it, the bit didn't work. Oh, oh, you know, I don't, you know, I'm I, not knocking your credentials. I'm sure you're the best at what you do. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, I don't, I don't believe in this type of thing. Oh, of course you don't. It doesn't work out for you. Wait a minute, it didn't work out. It, it, it's not true. <laughs> How you, what is it? You think uh, Casey would be a pitcher or a catcher? Believe personally, yeah. catcher. Yeah. Ah. What? Oh. You think he's a girl? I think he's a girl. So I think he needs that. Yeah. Don't you, if you're a bisexual, don't you have to be with a man to be a bisexual? What is it, Ralph? 
if Casey wants to go shopping with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can join Ralph and I. <laughs> hey, Ralph accepts that he's gay. Ralph didn't even show up as bi. He showed up as gay. You only showed up bi. You like girls. Yeah. yeah. Right? Well, everybody knows that. No, right. he, he, he didn't even give me that distinction. Right. Listen, you I didn't have it. Listen, I don't think that I don't think that guy does those things right because. <laughs> but, but, just, just, just hear me out on this. Right. Every everything that everything that Casey went off the charts with is something he was laughing about, and the Ed's laughing. No, no. no. Guys, Casey didn't laugh. When these guys deliver you laugh. Vector test, they're not. It's supposed to be serious. It's supposed to be quick questions. No. Just, well, whatever. Well, you know, he's now studying lie detector. Ed, Ed didn't have any problem with the way we conducted the lie detector, and he's done millions of them. Well, well wait a second. This is Ralph, who you who you who you dragged out of the closet, kicking and screaming. Listen, listen, Howard. Do you think yeah. Ralph's just mad that Casey's only half a fan? Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, this guy hey, Howard. Was all this guy was all gay. All hey, all hey, right. Howard. Right. Yeah. Hey, Howard. Listen to me. Yeah. Do you really think if Casey is gay? Yep. Yeah. First of all, he's into his body and all that kind of that's stuff. Right, that's, that's gay. gay. He'd be attracted to another guy who's into his body. And right. Stuff. You think he'd be attracted to you? Yes. But he's the power. 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 What? You are. Dude, have you ever seen get? You're attracted to me. No, I'm not. You are so into me. Oh. <laughs> if I if I asked you to just like do use your hand on me, you would do it. Uh, Why are you begging to cut well, his hand on body hair? Well, that's just you know helping out a friend. Right. That's yeah. not gay. That's Which not gay. You like to use? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get it. Go home. I mean, you are home. Ralph would fall in love with you. If you I know. Him. You know. <laughs> and you think Casey's gay because he just doesn't want to have sex with every girl who comes around? Uh, okay, thank you. I've had this conversation. All right. <laughs> Thanks, dude. The test shows you bi. Maybe you're not. No. You know, what can I tell you? No. I, I, and I'm telling you now. I thought before this. I think the test is right. No, I thought. You know, why don't they use these things in court? They why do. is that? They, they do. do. They, no, they, no, they don't. And do they, they use don't. them in court? Yes, they do. How come they couldn't use OJ's? What do you mean? O.J. took the test and he failed it. So, they so why would he use it? Yeah, why would so he how use it? So how come, how come the, uh, the uh, what do you call them? The military uses it. The government uses it. In fact, uh, I'm here playing games with you. I could be in Los Alamos giving uh, 300 uh, scientists a polygraph test for uh, giving out secrets. If you were going to prosecute O.J., why wouldn't you use the, no, the right? No, I didn't know that. Is that what they use you for? Well, they're going to give out, they're going to give 600 polygraph tests to uh, nuclear scientists in Los Alamos <clears> to find <throat> out if they get <laughs> Ask them if they're gay. No, they're giving out secrets. Oh, really? Right, so they think yeah. there might be a security risk, a leak. So, lots of people yeah. use lie detectors. Oh, right. Of course. Right. So you buy, man. I'm not. Go with it. I'm not, though. Embrace it. Calm I'm not. down. Well, I'm not. I'm not Why are you so I am Tom. Why are you so yeah. upset about I'm your own sexuality? I'm I'm just telling you what I, I'm telling you. I had another guy you dragged kicking and screaming out of the closet. I always complain. Yeah. You I'm look great. I'm just telling you how it is. Just don't act on it if, you, if you're uptight about it. It means more partners, that's all. If Personally, I, think, I think you'll be happier if you guy. experiment with men because that's probably why you're having trouble getting around with women. No, that's not true. It's a whole other world mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, Whatever. He's a, good, he's a good kid. He's not bad. Well, thank you. No. I good appreciate it. Yeah, he's a good bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you know, you know, I'll never hear the end of it. Right? You're right. No, you won't. <laughs> what happened to Ralph? Joe <laughs> told I'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, you know, you, you prove to these women that you're straight. Right. No, I don't want to do that. All right, do what you want. Then be bi. I'm okay. not bi. <laughs> if you're bisexual, you're right. you have to have a, a gay experience. No, right. You don't. Yes, you do. A gay man who's never slept with a woman. Let him think that. Let him think that. Just because he doesn't act on it. Let me ask you something. If you never slept with a woman, you'd still be a heterosexual. No. Sure you would. No, you would be undecided. No, you would be heterosexual, but you just chose not to sleep no, with somebody. No, no, you're not. All right, whatever. Then you know he really is bi. Yeah. What is he it? He doesn't even know that. What is it, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? The more he denies it, uh, the more it demonstrates the uh, latent kind of uh, personality. Right. Not to mention he's going to the gym and, come on, I mean... The gym is full of, especially in New York, mostly uh, men. working out, looking at each other. Uh, come on. I mean, of course. Working out is gay. Well, I guess, yeah. All right, yeah. man, if someone calls you a criminal, are you going to sit there and say, yeah, I'm a criminal? Look at my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> That's not much of a parallel. I have to work on my abs today. I have to get a tan. <laughs> not that yeah, I'm saying anything wrong with gay people. Dude, you tan in a tanning booth. Yeah, that makes me go. No, come on, that makes you buy at least. <laughs> Dude, you're in a tanning booth because you want to look better. For yeah, for, for who? What? For men? No. No, for, for everyone. Yeah. Stop me before I tan again. <laughs> Dude, how many straight guys do you know tan? I know plenty. Really? Oh. Yeah. yeah, they all buy like you. Right. You're so you friends. It's just gay guys that go to the tanning place. Yeah. yeah. 
Of course, Mike, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, what's up? Yeah. Uh, you definitely don't need a lie detector to find out that Casey's gay. Right. The guy's a homo. Square. He's, he's more gay than Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you say that, sir? Oh, just look at him, you know, with the, the whole uh, New Orleans thing and the hot tub. <laughs> you know. uh, Listen, you know what I think? I think you're into women, as Ed says. Right. He's not saying you're not. I think that if there's some sort of bisexual tendency there, you've suppressed it. But, Ed, do you fine. like men and women equally? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he likes them both the same. They're both the same. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're very special. Yeah. You're a rare kind of bisexual. Right. You're wrong with that, right? Wow. Nothing wrong with that. Right. Oh. Who cares about your sexuality? Yeah, oh. you, you're as valuable to me. Straight as you are gay. Right. Yeah, but Howard, if, right. if this, if <laughs> if this, this happened to you, I think you're open, that's all. No, if this happened to you, that's would fine. you deny it or would you say, oh, okay, I guess I'm bisexual? I would deny it because it's not true. Right. Right. So that's what I'm doing. I know I know in my heart what I am. Okay. There you go. But you wouldn't know if you didn't exercise it. Wait, no, Robin. <laughs> I, just because I, I haven't banged a guy. Were you gay as a child? Was I gay as a child? No, of course not. You weren't having sex. See, but we asked him all those questions, and it turns out he was. <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't. Hey, see, every they time you walk molested, into this though. room and Were you molested? Happened. What? Were you molested as a child? No. Uh, 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 what? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, no. What happened to you? What happened? Why, why, no, why Did you why, hesitate? Why, why, no, you Some happened. guy touch you. Did somebody oh, touch you? Uh, I, I, no, the poor kid's got a problem. Did a priest come on to you? <laughs> yeah, it was a priest. It was a priest. I knew it. An older man. Oh, a man you trusted. Sounds like he was coached in a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen, Casey, who cares? Right. Put it behind you. No, I care because all you guys, you know, you gang up with me and tell me this. But I know. It's, it's just like I'm trying to tell you a secret. Do you want to? Be retested? I don't. It's fine. You want to be retested? Yeah. You know why? And I won't laugh this time when you ask those stupid questions. All right. Why fine. don't you go in there? And this time, Anne Marie will write down every question that I ask you so that we can get the specific answers to each one. Right. That's what happened. I laughed mm. when you said that thing about Henry Rollins. Go back. Right. Then. You want to go get Bo hooked up again? Ed, can we hook up again? Yes. Yeah, All right. You want to retest? Try to pass. Do it. All right. Just you want to try your best? Fine. I'm not going to laugh. I'll sit there and say yes or no, and yeah. I'll pass. All like right. A guy who takes the SATs and Listen, we got Ed here. We might as well Ed. Let's get this over with. Okay. Suppose and then, he comes up gigging, then he's going to be really uh, upset. Well, where's Kathy? Kathy yeah. takes short hands. Do it another time. Why? You don't have time. You're out of time. No, I'll do it. Do it now. The poor kid is. You can see he's upset. No, I don't care. I'm not upset. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm not upset. Are you too upset? I'm not upset. You know what part of isn't upset? The gay part of I, I am. I am not upset. Let me answer something. That every time if it comes out again. the same way again, uh -huh. will, will you accept it? Will I accept it? I won't make a fuss over it. I'll All right, good. All right. All right, fine. I will do it again if you want. Okay, fine. <laughs> Why don't you hook him up, and I'll have Kathy tell me write down each question that we ask, so that you can tell me question one, question two, question okay. three. Okay. All right? The same questions? Let me tell, same, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat them to you. We'll do it the same exact way. Okay. Just a few. Just a few. Oh, no. Ten questions. All right, okay. Five. Ten questions All to right. find out if you're, if you're getting right. Okay. Look at him. He's okay. in his right. Get in the other room. Get in the other room. Yeah, the let's, let's, let's get this over with that. I don't, I don't want to drag this on. Drag it out. Oh, Casey is ready to go again. Oh. All right, hold, hold on. You know, Just sit right there. You know, we got a guy there. here who can't figure out what he is. This is Jasmine, by the way. Jasmine, what are you plugging? I don't even know. Oh, well, I wanted to plug the uh, High Times 25th anniversary. It's their 25th year. And, yeah. Um, oh, I wanted to show you the, uh, the, ish, the little, you know. Yeah, I don't care about that. that. Wait, right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> right, too? No, usually people have a plug. Uh, let me go to Ed. Ed, you there? Where is he? There he is. All right, All right. Let's, let's be very specific. And he says he's going to take it right. And guys, have Kathy or, or Anne-Marie write down each, song, each, each question. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Robin, let's be very specific. Help me out here. All right. All right. Because some of the there questions is. weren't written down. All right. Sorry. That was Jasmine who just belched. Just this guy. Are you ready? Okay, oh. you guys ready? He's still putting yeah, on his headphones. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Here's the questions. You ready? Hold on for a second. Okay. He's got to start the machine, and he's got to ask his test questions. Why didn't he ask the test questions already? Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, we're there. Some <laughs> Excuse me, you got it. Just looks bad. Try not to move. All right. 
All right, go ahead, Howard. All right, did you have to ask him any other questions? Well, I'm going to ask him the control question. Go ahead, do it, all right. Okay. Go ahead. Are you, uh, is today Wednesday? Yes. No. <laughs> today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Okay. So say no. No, say no. Okay. <laughs> you can say that. He's an idiot. <laughs> he can't even answer the first question. Okay. <laughs> Spell Casey. I'm looking at Jasmine's hemp panties. In New York City. No. <laughs> okay. It's tomorrow Friday. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's doing good, huh? All right. Got both yeah. dates right. <laughs> <laughs> One. What, any more control questions? That's it. Go Ask ahead. him if his name is Casey. Is your name Casey? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. All right. Ask me if you have a funny voice. Do I have a funny voice? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm sorry about that. You haven't thought of making me laugh. All right, here we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Are you homosexual? Are you homosexual? No. Are you... Hold on. All right, I'm just giving you the next one. All right. Are you bisexual? Are you bisexual? No. Have you ever had a gay thought? Have you ever had a gay thought? Consciously, no. No, yes or no. Oh. You gotta say yes or no. Go no. We'll repeat the next question. We'll Have you ever had a gay thought? Have you ever had a gay thought? No. <laughs> All right, have you ever had a gay dream? Have you ever had a gay dream? All right. Have you ever had a gay dream? Yes. Now ask him, is he attracted to Howard? Are you attracted to Howard? Are you attracted to Howard? No. Are you attracted to Gary's gargantuan lips? <laughs> Do you want to kiss Gary's gargantuan lips? Do you want to kiss Gary's gargantuan lips? No. <laughs> Do you want to blow up this machine? <laughs> I do. Yeah. Hey, Robin, what else can I ask that would be very specific? I know we don't want to go too, too far with this. Has he ever pleasured himself while thinking about a man? Has he ever pleasured himself while thinking of a man? Have you ever pleasured yourself thinking about a man? No. Has he ever been aroused when looking at a man in the locker room? Has he ever been aroused by looking at a man in the locker room? Have you ever been aroused by looking at a man in the locker room? No. Have you ever thought about having sex with a man while staring at men in the shower? Can you say that again, Howard? No, because I don't know what I said. Have you ever thought about having sex with a man while looking at men in the shower? Have you ever had gay thoughts while looking at men in the shower? Have you ever had gay thoughts while looking at men in the shower? No. Has he ever had gay thoughts while working out with a man? Have you ever had gay thoughts while working out with a man? Have you ever had gay thoughts while working out with a man? No. Do you cry during the Wizard of Oz? No, never mind that. Does Stress he like Barbara Streisand? you like Barbara Streisand? No. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Gary, show him the pictures of the naked men and see if he uh, is attracted. Show him three pictures of naked men. Hold on. Where's Gary? He's coming in. Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? What's this? Ask him this. One second. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Show him that. First ask him, has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? Has being with had you ever thought about being with a man crossed your mind? Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? No. Have, no. Right, let's ask me again. Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? Has the thought okay. Has the thought of ever being the man <laughs> being with the man ever crossed your mind? I I never thought. No, wait, 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 answer no. no hey, ask him again. Has the thought of being Look with a man ever... Weird thoughts. Wait, wait, wait. That's Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? 
He's still talking. Ask him again. Has the thought of being with a man ever crossed your mind? Has ever the thought crossed your mind about being with a man? Not intentionally. No. No. Yes, yes or no? Yes or no? Then no. No? Okay. All right. Show him one picture of one of these naked men and ask him if, he's, if he is attracted to, to the man. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, show him the oh, picture. That Does that excite you? Ask him. It's two young boys. Go ahead. Does that excite you? Ask him. No. Do you like those pictures? No. Ask him if it excites him. Does it excite you? No. Does that excite you? Does that excite you? Ask him. Let me show you the picture. Show it again. I left. All right, go ahead. Does that excite Show him one picture and say, Does that excite you? Let me see the other one, Gary. Right. A nice one. <laughs> All right. Come on, just show him one. Look at it, Casey. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do it again. Make him look at it. He won't look at it. He has to look at it. Do it again. Tell him to look at the picture. No. Does that picture excite you? No. No. Oh, he won't even look at it. He's so gay. <laughs> He's so gay. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. That's wait, enough questions. Wait, I want to ask him this one. What? What? Is this the picture of you when you were a little boy? No. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh. Now we'll find out once and for all if you're gay. One okay. Picture. we got to take a break anyway. Well, Gary wants to ask him one more. No. What is it, Gary? That picture. Gary wants to talk to you. Oh. No, please. Tell Gary to no. shut up. All right. What? All right. Guys, go interpret what we just said and give me the copy of the questions that we just asked. Okay. Thank you. Crazy up there. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling him when he was here, I grew up on Chef Boyardi. I love it. My mother used to make these big Italian dishes, and I'd say to her, forget it. Just get me Chef Boyardi in the can. You ever mix eggs with it? What? Eggs with Chef Boyardi. Really? You mix you eggs with... Eggs. You get close to that microphone. I love what you're saying. I just never can hear it. <laughs> you, uh, you put uh, scrambled eggs and mix in with the Chef Boyardi. It's good. I never heard of that. Oh, it's great. Really? Yeah. Spaghetti and eggs. Spaghetti and eggs. No kidding. You eat Chef Boyardi? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, me too. I really do. No, you love it. Yeah, I do. Hey, was Chef Boyardi a real guy? Yeah. He was bisexual, wasn't he? Oh, no. He gave him a lie detector test, didn't he? Oh, yeah. No, he was, he was 100% all man. <laughs> Chef Boyardi was. Anyway, they um, did you see the new commercial with the Cactus Jack, our old wrestling friend? Yes. Yeah. Chef Boyardi is the new WWF commercial. On the USA Network all the time. Uh, listen, Chef Boyardee is real food. It's real fast to prepare. It's it's just great. It's, uh, according to Ed Torian, it's good with eggs. Oh, definitely. Chef, eggs. Nearly. Chef Boyardee. You never tried that? No. I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> I do. It makes some white bread in with it. Really? Yeah. Right. He's not giving you the whole rest. <laughs> Don't 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 you give it to me. Not. Don't give it to me in drips and drabs. Let oh, me know. All right. Uh, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? All right. Let's put this bit to rest. Casey's back now. And Torian did a second polygraph test to see if Very Casey. Very seldom do you get to take a test twice in life. Right. 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 Only the SATs let you take it twice. <laughs> And we uh, went through a bunch of questions. You asked the first, you asked control questions. Okay. Overall, now that you look at the results of Casey's test, try and get on that mic. I beg of you. Okay. All right. Ed Torian, who, of course, uh, does polygraph testing, you can call him at 1 800 934 3241. But tell me, was the first test accurate? It was. It was. Again, uh, again it shows he's bisexual. Bisexual. Wow. You know, I mean, I hate, you know, I hate to say this, but, you know, we just come up, we come up with the same conclusion. Wait, wait, say, say again. We come up with the same conclusion. Okay, let me right. ask you something. Uh, right. We asked him, are you a homosexual? He said no. Was he lying? He was lying. He was. I mean, homosexual. So I'm a homosexual. What does he say? What happens with the bisexual? Then we say, are you bisexual? He says no. Was he lying? He was lying. Okay. He's bi. All right. Have you ever had a gay thought consciously? He said oh. no. He, he was he lying. Does, he does have gay thoughts. Okay. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I asked him if he ever had a gay thought, and he said no, but he does. He does. All right. I said, have you ever had a gay dream? He said yes. He was telling the truth, right? Right. He, okay. He does have gay dreams. When we asked him, are you attracted to Howard? He said no. But he is attracted. He loves you. He doesn't know how to try. He loves you. Really? Yeah. Why do you say love? What does it indicate well, on the... on the first test, we asked him, 
Do you love Howard Stern? Right, are you attracted to Howard Stern? Well, I thought we said no. We asked him also, do you love Howard right. Stern? Right. And he, he said no, but he, he was lying. He loved okay. him. Okay, because here we asked him, are you attracted? And, yeah. and he says, do you want to kiss Gary's lips? Does he said no? He does want to. Yeah, he wants to kiss his lips. He wants to chew on him. All right. <laughs> we asked him, have you ever pleasured yourself while thinking about a man? And he said no. And what, do you, and what does it say there? Oh, pleasure yourself? Well, other men in a man. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the bathroom? No, he says, no. have you ever pleasured yourself while thinking about a man? And he said no. Did he tell the truth? No, he didn't tell the truth. He did not. Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. When we asked him, have you ever been aroused when looking at a man in the locker room? He said no. no he said he admitted he, he gets aroused. He does get aroused. Right. It says, have you ever thought about having sex with a man while staring at men in the shower? He said, uh, no. Is he lying? No, he's lying. He is lying. Yeah. We asked him the following question. Have you ever had gay thoughts while working out with a man? He said, no. Was he lying? He's lying. Good Lord, Casey. You flunked. He, we asked him, do you like Barbara Streisand? He said, no. Was he lying? No, he likes Barbara Streisand. No, he likes it. Come on yeah, now. now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just a little, it's a little weird. <laughs> now, we showed him pictures of naked men, and we oh, said, wow. well, tell me what. Jeez. What happened there? Yeah, I know the pictures. We so, said, so what happened? We showed him pictures of two young boys, and he said it did not excite him. Did it excite him? Definitely excited him. Definitely oh, excited him. Oh. Get right on that microphone. I cannot right. miss a word. Definitely. Of it. And then we showed him a picture of a young man, nude, with a very large uh, apparatus. Right. And, and what he, he got excited on that one. He <laughs> did. He <laughs> liked that. Reaction to it. This is insane. I couldn't get a reaction to it. Too much for the machine. It was just too much. Wow. It, you know, well, wow. It's, 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 it's insane. I, I told you I wouldn't get up Two that. times. Two times. And you said you wouldn't belly. Come on. Come on. You can't possibly you believe it. And you swear this is accurate. Oh, definitely. definitely. So I'm turned yeah. on by, by young boys. Right. I'm turned on by older men. By older men, uh, I am in love with you. Right. I want to kiss want, Gary. Right. Gary I've learned a lot about myself. All right. So then you learn. Leave it at that. What is it, Ian? Yes. Go ahead, Ian. No, Ian. All right, Ian. You're gone. You sure you don't want that date with Gay Rich? No. No, I don't. And you know, you guys can say what you want. I'm not going to get okay, upset. Calm down. All right. No need to deny it. So you're bisexual. Big deal. But I'm not. Yeah. Not right. today. Not today. You'll come to this realization. That's ridiculous. There's no way. Dude, there's a lot of activity in your I future. I think, you know, he's going to be by for a little while, then he'll go totally gay. And, Tori, and I want to thank you for oh, coming in once life. again. You've taken my staff and re revealed out of them. Who they are. We now know who they really are. Okay. Wow. Casey, that's the dark side you don't want to explore. No. no. <laughs> you said you had a dark side, right? Do I have a dark side? Yeah. I would say so. Right. Not in this, and not guess what's in there? <laughs> you know what your problem is? Your dad was a really tough guy, right? Okay, yeah. And you love your mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can't face the fact, probably your dad didn't want you to be gay. <laughs> It'd be very hard for you to admit. Right. So you're even in denial to yourself. You're crazy, man. Right, Ed? Right. You're so right on it. So now you're right. a psychiatrist. I'm ready. Hey. Don't take a psychiatrist to figure this out. Oh, Where's come on, Helen. Where's he from? Long Island. Oh, it's from Long Island. Yeah, oh. of course. So, all right, so, you guys make no sense. Now, yeah. now at the beginning, you made a little sense, but now you just mm. you're way off the top. You fell over the cliff. You make no sense. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, don't take it personal. No, seriously, I'm you're not here. taking it personal. He's a 23-year-old kid. Sometimes he has trouble getting excited over a woman. Oh, he says oh, that himself. That's tough. That's tough. You've never heard at of that. 23. Oh, have you ever heard 23? of this? 23. 23. Oh, when you were 23, did you ever have trouble? Oh, Jeez, it's real. I was thinking. <laughs> right. Victorian's <laughs> all man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's ridiculous, and I think you know that. But I think you. Just I bet you, if I took this test, you'd see right away. I'm I'm 100 percent all man. Take the test. I'll take it. Take the test. I'll take it right now. Take we it. can't test all. If I if I'm gay, right, it's got to go. But I'll do it the next time. Right. If I'm gay, you're wearing you're wearing a pink bathroom. Nope. You, I'm not gay. What is it, Ian? Stop talking about other people. Shut up. You're you come down here and be tested. What? Why didn't you get tested? I'm a normal guy, okay? Normal guy like yourself. Or, you know, something. I'll get out of here. <laughs> I'm a hundred. I'll tell you one thing. Ed Torian won't find out that I'm bisexual. No way. Guarantee. If, if I'm gay, it, dude, off the map. Dude. I, let me tell you something. I'm now 45 years old. I never once had a problem getting aroused over a woman. Ever. Ever. And I never will. Right, to the day right I on, die. Right. It has nothing... It has, <laughs> nothing, has everything. It has nothing to do with being bisexual. It has to do with a lot of 
What is it, Dave? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering if uh, Casey ever got aroused looking at himself in the mirror. Or if you ever Have you ever pleasured yourself while staring at yourself naked in the mirror? And be that's honest. Truth. No. no I, that's a lie. Yeah. What, Steven, what, I've what done that. It, what is there to get it? You've done that? I've been in front yeah. of a mirror while pleasuring myself. No, that's that's ridiculous. You don't. That's not ridiculous. I've done it. You think it's you, well, You've done that. Yeah. That's really I'll admit it. Why couldn't really you look true. at that picture oh, of a nude cool. guy? Why, why couldn't you look at the picture of a naked guy? What do you mean, why couldn't I look at it? I didn't you look didn't at it. Look you couldn't. At it. You, you looked away. I looked, he shoved it right in my face. Uh, you saw? So I'm supposed to look, look at, at the guy with this big unit right in my face. <laughs> yeah. You can't do it, can you? With I would, I, there, I would I think there are other things I'd like to look at. No. I'm not going to sit there and study that. No. <laughs> you're gay. You want me to sit there and stare at it? I won't. No. I, I, I looked at you it. you stared at it, you would have gotten excited. Yeah, that's, that's what you think. That's what we know. Mm -hmm. You're gay, according uh, to the test. What is it, Chris? Yeah. What is it? Uh, yeah, I'm Chris from Brooklyn. I was wondering the validity of this test. The validity? Ed Torian's, how many of these have you given? Thousands. Thousands. Because I, uh, I don't know. The guy might be just nervous. You ever think of that? Twice he's nervous? He no. No, he's... It, 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 it sounds like I failed the worst the second time. You think he failed the worst the second time? No, the first time was worse. Worse. Yeah. Yeah. The second time... He was just... Yeah. He was just, scared. He was scared the first time. I don't and know. he lied and said he wasn't. See? Yeah. He lies all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he can't. He's lying about a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let me tell you why you're biased. You know why I believe the test seriously? New Orleans, you were with a hot chick, and you didn't get in the hot tub with her? That's my at least. No, that's just that's possibly gay. Yeah. That's your that that's using, the other day. That's you didn't want to touch a woman's breast the other day. It's using the big head and not the little one. Well, let me tell you, when you're a hundred percent old man, you don't. There's no, oh, such, there's no such thing as using your big head. No, right? Why don't you? See, why it don't work that way. Then why don't you cheat on your wife then? Because I well because I have a higher rules. And I got married. You you just said you said that the little head is. Controls the bigger one. My wife has to keep taking care of me in order to do that. Or else I'll be out of control. You know what? I have to pleasure myself seven times a week. My wife's got to take care of me three, four times a week in order for me not to go off the deep end. You're some man. Yeah. Jeez. But give me the test. You'll see I'm 100% old man. You have to take the test. You really do. It would make me feel better. It doesn't sound like he needs a test. Dude, I'm married. I'm thinking I'm thinking with my checkbook. If I took that test, let me tell you something. God. There'd be no doubt. In yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. Ed would say, you're too heterosexual. <laughs> you have a problem that way. Hey, poor no, wife. You're, no, you're, no, yeah, your poor wife. Her you legs must be, be, be like, like be wrapped around really. Yeah, She's bow -legged. Legged. <laughs> She can't even walk. <laughs> All right, listen. Ed Torian, thank you for coming in. <laughs> Great seeing you. Call Ed if you need a polygraph expert. What? What, oh, Jack? I didn't say anything. Oh. I didn't give you my web page. You've got a web page? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it says um, Casey's buy on it. <laughs> oh. What is uh, what is the web page? www.com OJ Lie Detection Service. OJ? Oh. Lie Detection Service. Wait, wait. <laughs> www. <laughs> dot com. Oh, he's contender. No. You're, you're giving me OJLieDetectionService.com. Oh. Right, that's right. Because uh. I just got it. OJ Lie Detection Service. Right. What, what, like, is it OJ Simpson? No, I didn't name it after him, but Good. it's uh, O.J. Live Detection Service. You'd be really? surprised how many people pick up on that one. You really? <laughs> you are a marketing genius, Ed. Hey, listen, we got to get one way. Yeah, right. Ed Torrey, just, you know, here's an easier way to get in touch with him. 1-800-934-3241. O.J. Live Detection Service. It's like O.J. Really? come to your house again and lie to You just got it. I just got it. And then, then the other one underneath that is NYC light detection. So people will hit, you know, they'll see the uh, OJ. Yeah. Say, uh, I don't know if that's. And then they'll go to the second one, NYC light detection. All right. That's good enough. Ed. Right. Whatever you do is good with me. Believe me. Okay. Who cares? Casey, go out with Ed. Maybe you get lucky. <laughs> oh. hey, take off your headphones so you don't hurt yourself. All right. Yeah, I'll make that up. All right. Oh, Here's some music for Casey. <laughs> yeah. Dude, two times you flunked. Thank you. Uh, two times. I'm not confused about everything. I know exactly. I don't get turned on by men. You know, this I'll tell you something, Casey. In a couple of years when you want to come out, we won't even rib you about it. No. I guarantee you we won't. <laughs> no. I, It'll I won't be okay. Even though you've adamantly denied it, we'll just say, okay, we knew all along. I know, I know what's happening, and, and you people can say what you want. You people. <laughs>
you can, what do you mean you people? Want? You can bring this guy in who's who to, to me w was very confused. Right. <laughs> you can bring in anybody, you, anybody else you want. Yeah, you're right about that. And I can tell you, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, He's a pisser. <laughs> right. I can tell you that that I like women. Right. Well, it, it said you like women, and that's it. It said you like women. It okay. said you like men too. No, but you guys think what you want. <laughs> think what you want. I don't care. Do you like this song? <laughs> In the world. Maybe you'll be able to get aroused if you keep this on. <laughs> Has that test really convinced you? Are, yeah. are you convinced? Yeah. Wait, Gary. Gary, you have a... You have a no, I'll, be, I'll be very honest with you. I, I think there's a reason why polygraphs aren't in court. Right. I don't think Casey is gay, but I, I think he's got some issues that don't necessarily deal with men, but do deal with the whole sexual thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay, he's got a lot. Come on. He's got some sexual hang Dude, the 23, would you? Yeah. All right. No, I think he's got sexual hang I'll buy that. I'd be in a hot tub with a woman in a minute. 23, that's all I dreamt about. I'm 45, that's all I dream about. Just give me a hot tub. You know, it's funny, me and Brian from the E-Crew were having a discussion. You know that girl that came in the other day? Mm -hmm. You know, that wanted Casey to touch her? Yeah. And and one of the guys in the E-Crew was saying, you know, she wasn't that good looking. And Brian and I were trying to explain. Yeah, she was a five, and she took off her clothes. She was an eight. Right. And touching him, what? Who cares? You knew she was going to have sex with you. Yeah. That's, that's a nine. But what does that do for you, though? Twenty. That's your problem. In, in terms that you can understand. Right, who is this guy? Everything before, everyone before you marry is a scrimmage. Hey, uh, yeah, by the way, start that lie detector test, guys. They're what waiting for me. Oh, no. Yeah, just do it. I want more results. Now? I say every day we test Jack. <laughs> Until we get a good one. Please, that's yeah. truthful. Let's ask him if, um, let's ask him if he ever had sex with a toy. I want to. All right. I can't picture that. With the truth. Hey, Ed. Did I ask her to come forward with you? Yeah, just yes or no, like you told me. You asked her to come. Yeah. No, yes. Yes, uh, yes I did. Uh, Jack looks like he's on you. Jack's really trying this time. He's got his eyes closed. Uh, we'll just listen in for a while. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, we went over this. You just answer me yes and no, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Is this on? <laughs> yeah, just go ahead. And he's <laughs> all... <laughs> like a wacky professor. <laughs> and go ahead. These headphones are throwing okay. him off. All right. Do you intend to answer all questions true for regarding your conversation with Paula Jones? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did Paula Jones tell you what happened in the room in the year of 1999? Yes. It seems like he's contacted the uh, other five. Thanks for the truth. <laughs> Maybe he can tell the future. I'm waiting to start playing a flute and a snake comes up out of a box. It's funny how everyone always thinks they're going to beat the lie detector. They're just trying to relax themselves. <laughs> Did Paula Jones tell you that nothing happened in the room? Yes. Yes. Yes, master. You are beginning to feel very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why, Howard, but Ed says you have to wait between 25 and 30 seconds. That's fine. Let, let Ed keep doing his yeah, thing. That's why they check in. You know, you don't want reactions colliding over each other. Yeah. Yeah, Ed, if you want to take off those headphones, go ahead, Bob. I don't want to confuse you. <laughs> that's very disturbing looking at Jack that way. <laughs> really is. <laughs> poor Jack. Well, he started this. What are you poor Jacking about? <laughs> Couldn't pass the damn line to you test. He's in there trying, though. He's trying. Well, wait, we got any more experts? Get them all in here. There were a lot of experts who would have nothing to do with this, Rob. All got yelled at me and hung up. <laughs> Did Paula tell you she would be truthful? Yes. Yes. Yes, Master. Did Paula Jones tell you she was afraid to tell the truth what happened in the room? Yes. <laughs> Here, open his eyes for a second. Oh, Jack. It's all ghost. It's today, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. No, just yes, yes, no. yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm trying very hard. 
Yeah, yeah. trying to lie about the day. <laughs> you know what Jack said to me? Was it really funny? Uh, and he's laughing. He says, I don't know what these results are making. <laughs> Is this the month of June? Yes. I'm just more planet do you speak. Does it matter if you speak softly or? <laughs> Ask Jack if he's from the planet Earth. You like my voice. He's from the planet Earth. Yeah, you yes. think if he talks light. Yes. Yeah. Talks to Neil. Neil we'll a couple questions. We're going to be all through, okay? Jack. All right. Now. Shuffle the paper more, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you intend to answer all questions truthfully regarding your conversation with Paula Jones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jack. Jack said to me, uh, he grabbed my hand when we were in there, and he goes, don't believe all that stuff you read about me. And I said, I don't. Right. You believe every word. <laughs> Did you ask Paula Jones to come forward with the truth? Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, Dad, ask him if you can bang Latoya. <laughs> me or him? You. <laughs> ask, oh, no. Come on. Okay. Uh, you know, keep going. Yeah, did, we want the, did Paula Jones tell you she was afraid to tell the truth what happened in the room? Yes. Yes. Yes, Master. Yes. Yeah. 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 I got to turn this off because I, I get completely wrapped up in it. <laughs> anyway, let me take a break. When we come back, we'll get the results. All right. All right. Time for a fa fa phony phone call. Hey, Hi, Gary, please. This is Paula Jim Stevens. What's this a reference to, Jim? Um, from the New York Post. <laughs> Hi, Gary, how are you doing? Good, what can I do for you? I just wanted a quick quote from you. Um, what would you consider the three essential characteristics that make up good radio? Yeah, you know what? I, I can't really get into this right now because we're on the air. Check okay. back after the show. Okay, uh, who should I ask for? Ask for Gary. You know what? Let me give you my extension here. Okay. Just when you ask for me, yeah. uh, just tell the secretary that you're a horse-toothed jackass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Howard. <laughs> Down, boy. It's the Howard Stern Show. All right, here we are. Okay, so if anybody wants the uh, lie detector results, the second set of lie detector results for uh, Jack Gordon. Let's see what happened. Here comes Ed Torian, who's been on the show a million times. All right, let's see what happens this time. He still doesn't know the results, Jack? The plot sickens. No, Jack doesn't know the results. Okay. Although, Jack, we were watching you take this lie detector test. He looked like you were on death row. Oh, I thought it was. Yeah, you were very... <laughs> I thought it was cool. Well, anyway, uh, Ed Torian, um, if you want information on Torian investigations, call 914-634-6377. Ed Torian, you've been with us a million times giving lie detectors on this show. Yes, uh, so we saw you giving the test to Jack. It looked very official. Right. And what did you well, find? First of all, he's a good candidate for polygraph. Why is he? Get close to that microphone. I always tell you that. Uh -huh. Why is he a good candidate for polygraph? Because he wants to get the truth out. He does. He's he very does. sincere. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you can see. I mean, this guy went through two of them, and he sat there, and he, he answered each question precisely. Right. And... Uh, why don't you ask him how he thinks he did it? How do you think you did, uh, Jack? I think I must have did better on this one. Right. And the reason for it is because he asked more precise questions about what really happened without adding stuff to it that the other guy did. All right. Let's find out now what uh, Ed Torian thinks is going on. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. The first thing is, uh, Jack, I went over everything that he said to Paula Jones. Right. He's on his cell phone and on the phone. And the, the conversation between the both of them, and I formulated the test questions towards that conversation. Okay. Now, and... Uh -oh. this is, Did I see you got a big sheet of paper? <laughs> All right, yeah. And this is Jack's results. Those are Jack's results. All right. And what does that say? That tells me Jack is telling the truth. Telling the wow. truth. Whoa! I want this my money is, back. This guy's telling the truth. I'm telling well, you. Look at that. It's a straight line. Can you see that, Robin? Look, Robin. Yeah! It's better than yours. Wow. wow. Is that wow. something? Now, I'm going to go over the question. Did you ask him to lie just to see what that was like? <laughs> <laughs> what did you, uh, what, right. what, what, are you going to go over the questions? Right, I'm going to go over the questions with you, see, this, okay. you see, this is my problem with lie detector test. The other guy who's a, 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 a yeah. noted guy, and he's, right. convinced. he's convinced Jack is being deceptive as all hell. What questions did the other guy ask? He well, mentioned, the other guy mentioned things that he did not. And, 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 and I said, look, you get, you got to ask me exactly what happened. Exactly. In other words, Jack has a story to tell, the, and the other guy was, like, assuming some things. Like, in other words, he would use the word hotel, even though... Jack never said hotel, even though we know it was a hotel. 
I see. So you think that maybe, uh, see, now here it is. Jackson, the lie detector says he's telling the truth. All right, now what do we do? We got one. Well, let me go over some. Go over. Go over. Go over. Go over what you want to say there, Ed. Ed Tory and everybody. Now this is the specific uh, conversation that Jack had with Paula. Right. Now, the, the specific. Uh, are you over, Jack? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Jack, hold it. Yeah. Okay. Dominic, you just lost ten pounds. <laughs> now let me just go over some of the questions. All right, talk into that microphone, please. Thank right. you. All right. All right. All right. Now. All right. Now, I'm going to go over some of the, the conversation. I asked him questions relating to the conversation. Right. Did you ask Paula Jones what happened in the hotel room during the year of 1999? Right. And he told me yes. Yes. Did Paula Jones tell you she would be truthful regarding what happened in the hotel room right. during 1999? Right. And he told me yes. Did Paula Jones tell you that nothing happened in the hotel room that day and he was truthful yes she actually told him nothing happened right Jack that's right. correct yeah right now did Paula Jones said she would deny telling any telling you anything happened away. in other words if Jack told anybody about right she would, she would deny it deny. she would deny it she would deny and it and he said yes yes and then we're telling the truth you guys tell the truth then we went into a uh, well, there you go. You know, really. And you don't have no. any doubt in your mind. No, I don't. Well, listen, when I finish it, did Paula Jones? Oh, I can read it to Paula. <laughs> did Did you ask Paula Jones to come forward with the truth? And he told me yes. Yes. He asked her to come forward with the truth. Yes. Did Paula Jones tell you she was afraid to tell the truth? What happened in that room during the year nineteen ninety nine? Right. The guy's telling the truth. He was telling the truth. I see the test. It's flat as can be. Can see. It's a straight line. Look at that, Jack. See that yourself. Yes. No, no, it is. It is. He yeah. passed the test with flying colors. Is, you know what you say this guy is telling the truth. Whatever the conversation he had with Paula Jones. He is telling the truth. Was the truth. Right. He was telling the truth. Dominic. Howard. Yes. Was the machine plugged in? <laughs> plugged in? It was plugged in. Honest to God, you know what? Hey. Maybe, maybe I should bring Judd back. To do another test because the wording right, maybe the question. maybe the wording wasn't yeah. specific Should enough. Should ask him the same exact questions that right. they did. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Why right. go through all these lie detector tests? We got one guy that said yes. We got one. Guy I was saying bring back the guy who said no, but maybe right. you, maybe as you say the wording wasn't right on the first yeah. test. Well, also, uh, let me say something too. He right. made me cross my legs. The other guy. And yeah. He told me don't cross your legs. It's a bad thing. Really? He said put your legs two legs together in the front of you. He made you cross your legs. Well, I did. He didn't tell me not to. He didn't make me. No. Right, right. Ah. That's I am I am absolutely amazed. And I have to tell you, bring the other guy back, please. Now, hang on, hang on. Another thing you said. Okay, he said... He, 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 I am amazed, too. And I'll tell you something. I really felt that maybe Jack was telling the truth. Because I can't figure out what his motive is. There is no motive, Paul. Right, I know. There is no motive. But other than other than telling the truth. Right. Other than, what is she afraid of? I'll tell you who she's afraid of. McMillan. That, that spokeswoman who calls up. is running for state senate based on a castration. Well, whatever. whatever she, I mean, that that's whatever. I'm just telling you that you passed the test. Yes, but again, you flunked the other one, but maybe the wording was a little wishy-washy because you, you know, now you're more accurate because you're comfortable with the word hotel yes, room or whatever. Story. You don't want right. people right. adding to it. That right. it didn't happen. Like, like you say the word right. President Clinton, that didn't happen. You never brought up the no, word President Clinton. No, it didn't. Right. right. No. So, Dominic, Dominic, what do you think? Dominic's been around these things. Dominic, can a few words like that make a difference? I, I, no. I don't, I don't think so, but I will well, tell you. Well, if you said to somebody, yes, they could. did you say that President Clinton was with Paula Jones, and he didn't say that. Right. He, he has a specific say, story. And yes. in other words, the questions have to be geared around that specific right. story. Right. Absolutely. He's hopeful. Right. The conversation. Right. right. So there could be some confusion there. Well, maybe, hey, Gary, maybe you'll have Judd Bank do it again. Seriously, I think Judd would probably be interested in that, too. At the same time, yeah. well, well, Judd right said it didn't make any difference. Well, we know that, Gary. Now, Judd said it didn't make any difference if you open your eyes or close your eyes. All right. He told me to close my eyes. All right. Here's the, here, so here is what we know. Well, Ed has his technique. Here's what we know. No, 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 no. To close your eyes, you're more relaxed. Can I say something? Here's what we know. Oh, my God. Two lie detectors were given, and two, the different results were completely different. I mean, one guy saying he was so truthful, and the other guy saying he was so dishonest. 180 degrees. That's right. He was either so lying or so truthful. Now, I say we choose the results we like. There we go. <laughs> and go with that. Yeah, it is. Go ahead. That is doing it. <laughs> I mean, the truth will prevail. Yeah. The truth will prevail, Dominic, no matter what. Now, what do you owe, 5000 or $10,000? i got to know. Okay, but let me say this. 
Browns might be straight. That's right, and KC could be straight. Oh. And Jack, Jack could be Republican. Listen, there could be a thousand things here. All right, so what we've learned is nothing. I we've want learned... Judd back. <laughs> Wait, so do why? Why don't we take another guy other than Judd? And the All reason right. for that is because we just had Judd. Because I bet you if you if you explain your story very accurately and Judd fashion the questions properly, you could pass that one too. But at the same time, maybe Judd had, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I think you could. I think that you could pass Judd's test. Oh, I think I can too. I know I can. Yeah. You are saying you're telling the absolute truth. One hundred percent, Robert. No, I, have to, I have to There's apologize. There's no reason for that. What? Jack, I have to apologize to you. Thank you very I much. I just have to come here with you? your checkbook. Listen, listen. First of all, I, I accept your apology. I like you very much. I right. like you too. Okay, and, 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 and he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. Yeah, he's a yeah. real guy. Just don't get on the wrong side of him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is Crazy. unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, she really did it. Right. I mean, she really told me this. I would just come. I, be I listen, yeah. I'm trying to believe you. I wish Paula would call in, but I guess I she doesn't she want to. Yeah, you know, right now Paula should call in. She got an attorney there by the name of Phil Lyon. He can pick the phone up. Right. She's got an spokeswoman by the name of McMillan who can pick the phone up, mm -hmm. and Paula can certainly pick the phone up. All right. Well, listen, Jack. Thank oh, you for coming in. What? You told Howard about Holland. You set her up in Holland, and uh, the whole thing. Was... I don't know if I want any more. <laughs> <laughs> you want a little more? You bonded. Back I mean, there was a thing that led into this. There was what? There was something that made me lead into this. Yeah. Because what had happened is I had Holland booked for her to go there and talk. Right. I had London booked for her to go in there and talk. Right. And she had canceled both of them. Yes. So I said to her, "Look, if we're going to work together, you've got to be very honest with me." Right. So I want to ask you a question. Right. What really happened that day in the hotel? And right. That's when she came out. And, and that's what she told. Absolutely. And that's what brought it up, and that's why I said that. Mm. And by the way, I asked. I bet, you, I bet you Dominic's going to have Jack Gordon posing nude in Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. And you'll get the money. I have two <laughs> things to say. I have two things to say. Number one, Jack, work on your facial hair and get, and get the dye out of it. <laughs> number two, cut your nails like a man. Yeah, stop pointing um, them and round them. And uh, number three, uh, thank you for coming in. I know that this is an inconvenience. Inconvenience? No, I love being with you. Yes, but I'm saying that uh, what thank you. What you have to do? What else? <laughs> I, I used to have your client. I want to thank Ed Torian, uh, Ed Torian Investigations. Please call 914-634-6377. And okay. I just say one thing? The entire country is now on Jack's shoulders? Yes, Jack. The entire country is on your shoulders. Yes. The president yeah, what is innocent. The president is innocent, yes. The president is innocent. Yes, oh, my God. Wow. Wow. He, wow. he really is. Dominic seems to be the only one who thinks this is a big news. I, can't, I, I don't know. Somebody else is called. Right. Yeah. But thank you, Jack. Thank you. Thank All you, right. guys. All right, bye-bye. Okay. All right, there goes the guys. There goes Ed Torian, the lie detector to the stars. <laughs> there goes Jack Gordon. Good Up job, track. Jack. Good job, Jack. You passed your test. Good you, Jack. Go shake your <laughs> I hope something comes watch, of that. Watch Jack. Yeah. That's it. All right. Careful. <laughs> Bye, Ed. So proud of this. Oh, my guys. Well, Robin, what have you learned from this? Uh, that lie detectors go both ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. It's unbelievable. I don't know what to make of it. Bye-bye, hmm. guys. Tie. You have a tie. We need a tiebreaker. Weren't you sure that he failed the second time? No. Yeah, well, that would have been helpful. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> then we could have thrown Jack out of here. Now we don't know anything more than we knew on Friday. <laughs> There, we still wonder. <laughs> That's a big story. Well, now somebody else has to step in and take this over. Some news organization that has what they call credibility. I say we tie Jack down and torture him for four days. Uh, you should have. I mean, you had the suggestion, the truth, truth serum. serum. Tr Jack is willing to take truth serum. Let's do, do it. <laughs> Jack wants to be on truth serum. I'll do it. Well, I believe the guy. But, you know, what do I know? I'll believe anybody who walks in here. <laughs> We've proven that, though. Bro. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty obvious. I'm pretty gullible. Uh, so, anyway, uh, that was exciting. Robin. No, I'm just saying, she's saying, you know, like, you guys get us every day. What are you carrying on about two supermodels for? That's right, Robin. <laughs> That's true. 
You're right. <laughs> Our interns are much better looking. All right, the beautiful Kylie Bax and Carmen Electra are in a movie together. Now, that's a smart movie. Now, who was the genius? Who's the genius? That, oh, my God. Look at oh They're almost God. naked. Beautiful. We can't interview them this way. Yes, I can. <laughs> Girls, can you put a robe on so I can interview them with nothing distracted? You girls are hot chicks, and you know how to dress like hot chicks, and that's important. <laughs> Carmen Electra, of course, is beautiful, and everybody knows it. I know it. Carmen knows it. <laughs> even Robin knows it. I've always said. Yeah. Oh, hello. Thank you. You girls are wearing, I, I can't wait to show this on TV because you're wearing tight shirts. Both of you are wearing tight shirts. Mm -hmm. Kylie's in a bra, a jogging bra. It's like, like a sports bra kind of thing. Yeah. Kylie's in a jogging bra? It's my cut-off tank top. Cut-off tank top? Yeah, my who cut it? You know, me. You cut it yourself? You cut it yourself? Yeah. Because it was cut off, but it didn't show enough belly. Exactly. It wasn't short enough. You wanted it to show... Not, it wasn't tight enough, and it wasn't short enough. You wanted to show more belly. And let me tell you that. It's a, that is a belly and a half. I tell you, I love it. I love my sparkles on the game for you today. I love that. I'm very, very impressed <laughs> with that. And uh, I tell you, Carmen, you look like you have two erasers in your shirt. It's freezing. It's cold here. Yes, it is cold. I keep it cold. <laughs> Carmen, you're wearing okay. low hip hugger jeans. Yes. You, you're showing she up. really likes the hip huggers. I do. All Frankie girls B do. makes the best hip hugger jeans. Who does? Frankie B. Frankie B. Frankie B. are both wearing Frankie B. Both of you are wearing Frankie and B. And he makes the best. She does. Who else? What am I? Robin, you should know that. You're a chick. You're a hot chick. You should know this stuff. Frankie B. And where do you get Frankie B? You have to go to a special place? Um, they send them to us. Oh, yeah, my God. Really? They don't even have to go out and shop. Yeah. Both of you girls have people who send you clothes because the people want you to wear their clothes? Yes. yes. So Frankie B... It, 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 not, how does Frankie B know your size? Yeah. How does, how does this all come you about? You give her the size and stuff. Oh, she yeah. calls and yeah, says, yeah, I yeah. want to send you something. Yeah. Okay. Really? And that's how you got turned on to Frankie B. And are both of you wearing Frankie B today? Yes, we are. Wow. Just by coincidence? Yeah. No, I rang her up in the morning and I said, you got to wear your Frankie B's comment. See, I don't even know about this. But I'm not a hot chick. If you had called her to get your Frankie B's, you would have been completely out of it. And the jeans, I'm just describing this to the guys at home. You know, not, not that I would necessarily care. But the jeans are so tight that even the when you sit down, your ass crack almost sits. Almost Is that right? Yeah, you know, crack and Howard. I have, but, like, my panties coming out. Yeah. yeah. And the zip goes right around an And I don't wear any, so I have to be really careful. <laughs> Two of you look great. <laughs> Bellies, uh, all the girls are showing their bellies now, and I love it. To me, the sexiest part of a woman is her stomach. Really? It really is. I, I mean, I love it. I love it. I do. I love it. <laughs> they all don't right. know what to say to them. All right. Now, how come... Now, now, the two of you are in a movie together, and I'll talk about the movie in a minute. But first, yeah. I'm going uh, uh, to talk to Kylie for a second and ask you a question. Okay, Helen. All right. You keep telling me you want to go out with me. Right? You keep saying that uh, you're attracted to me and you want to go out with me, but then I even got a call from Chauncey the other day who said he doesn't think she's joking around. She really wants to go out with you. Yeah, right. Now, even Chauncey, who is a journalist, says you want to go out with me, but I believe that you're just saying that for the publicity. Oh, How do you respond? Um, well, um, I could go out with quite a few people for publicity. You, you could you go out with anyone. one of the, the top scorers. I would be. Um... No, I do want to go out with you, but you know what? You go to bed so early. So you know I know you go. you're always at Nobu. I know you're always at Spa, but there's only one night there that you can really go out with Howard, and it's usually a Saturday night. That's right. Ah. That's right. And you have to go with a group of people right. to Spa because they're always no good fun. You know, got to dance and everything. I mean, you can't be alone with me and have fun? Uh, I, I'm sure I can, but you know, I I'm see. the sort of girl who needs to go out with a group of I'm shy. All right. So, in other words, uh, so it's ridiculous. Now, talk to us about what I've been reading. You are now dating Tommy Lee. Now, Carmen, didn't you once go out with Tommy Lee? No. You never went out with Tommy Lee. Yeah. Actually, my best friend is really good friends with him. Uh huh. So if I'd go somewhere with her, sometimes he would be there. And oh, that's why I'm dating you together. Right. And you, and also Carmen, you want to go out with someone a little more stable, like Dennis Rodman or something like that. Right? <laughs> no, that's over. That's over. <laughs> that is so over. Yes, yeah, it's over. <laughs> All right, listen, Kylie. Yeah. So what is this? Are you dating Tommy Lee, or is this? I have been connected. You know how you know how it is. I breathe on you at a party, and I'm going out with you. That's true. We are so, linked. Yes. You know, I've been out with Tommy Lee in a group of people. You know, like I met him with um, some of my managers and everything, and he's such a great guy. He's so charming. I actually would really like it if you asked me out. Can I say oh, something? He hasn't done yet. No, we've been out for a couple of times with a group of friends, but, you know, it's like... Can I ask you something? You're a hot chick, and, I, and I've gone over this with Carmen, because I, I didn't understand her choice of men with uh, Dennis Rodman. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, I just didn't get it. going on 
on with you two. No, I didn't. Let me, let me understand something. All these, I didn't all even girls, understand it, Howard. All you hot chicks talk about, you want a nice guy, you want a stable guy, you want a guy who's got it together. Now, listen, I mean, no offense to Tommy. Tommy's a handsome guy. I understand that. If it's all about looks, then that's one thing. He's really charming. But, but let me ask you something. You've read now that he was in an abusive relationship with Heather Locklear. Yeah. He was in an abusive relationship with Pamela Anderson. I mean, he went to jail. Yeah. It's not like a rumor. The, the, court, won't even, the court won't let him drink. Absolutely. I totally agree. With you. Right, now, why would you assume that you're going to be different? Just saying. I would like I'm him to ask me out. I'm, I'm not assuming. I would like him to ask me out. He's, you know what? When we've been out, he's been so charming, so, like, sweet, caring. So is OJ. Anybody I've ever had before. <laughs> at <Yeah>. first. <laughs> was Dennis Rodman charming at first? Of course. Of course. Well, Guys are charming at first. They want to get into your pants. I, I can be charming at first. I'm telling you something about Dennis and his charm. He was charming two of them on the same date. Yeah. <laughs> He's a very charming guy. I don't say right, no. Right, right. I know Dennis I and I know Tommy. I mean, I think he's great. You do. So you want to go out with him despite the fact that you've heard that all these other chicks. I would love her. her. You would love to go out with him. He's now, great. He's a really nice guy. Is it also true, I know, that you used to date Marcus Schenkenberg? Uh huh. Right. Or whatever his name uh -huh. is. Schenkenberger. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, then he went off to Pam, right? And now they've broken up, right? right. Did you get a call? Did I get a call? Huh. No, I I actually seen him a couple of times in the gym, and we're friends. And Hold it, that's not what I heard. Here's what I heard. <laughs> I feel so amazing. You were friends. dating the soup, the male supermodel Marcus Schenkenberg, yeah, who uh, has a very high IQ. And you It's been clocked at You've been clocked at over seventy. <laughs> and and you went out with Marcus Schenkenberg for years. He dumped you for Pamela Anderson. When Pamela I dumped him. I told you that before. That remains to we'll hook you up to the lie detector and find out in a minute. Find out That's it. Let me write that down. Were you who dumped who? who, dumped who? <laughs> All right. But let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And then I'm going to put you right in the lie detector room because I want to know if you're attracted to me or not for real. I don't want to hear what you have to say unless you're under lie detector. And then, Carmen, you'll go in and take the lie okay. detector. Test. I got my suspicions about you, too. Uh, and I got to ask her about who she's dating, too. Who? Yeah. Then do you know what it was yeah, gonna... uh, No, I'm, no. I, I thought I was your boyfriend. No, you I, I'm me. dating someone, but it's not Vince. Oh, why don't you put no, a knife through my heart? true. Put a knife through my heart. <laughs> How dare you date anyone but me? You know I'm the only guy in the world. Both of you are going to get so severely spanked when I have sex with you. You don't even know. I'm going to be like with Carmen and go, you dated who? All right, let me, let me ask you something. Um, why, if you know a man has a history of not being so good to women, let's put it that way. You could have either one of them. Yeah. Yes. Let's go to Kylie first. Why would you date him? Well, you think that hopefully it wasn't true, or maybe it's not going to happen to you. I guess that's the only thing I can okay. say. When Marcus Schenkenberg, when you dumped, allegedly, Marcus Schenkenberg, and he went to Pamela Anderson, right. and then Pamela Anderson dumped Marcus Schenkenberg, right. isn't it true he tried to get back together no, with you? No, 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 no. That's not true. No. You're, you're, no, we oh, did. Oh, we, that's another friends, question. That's about it, but... I gotta tell you, you girls look great. I don't, I don't hear a thing you're saying. I don't hear anybody either. What either one of you is saying? It just makes very little difference. But Carmen, why is that? Why is it um, a, a guy who comes with Dennis Rodman's reputation and you marry him? You know, Explain. that's just where I was at during that time of my life. You know, I was in a lot of pain and a lot of things had happened that year. And so, who are you dating now? Where are you at now? If you were, you at better tell us because well, we'll tell you whether you should go along. Or <laughs> Yeah, because you don't have the ability to pick guys. No offense. Really? Well, I think I do now. No, I mean, you don't. No, you no don't. I've been single. Let me tell you something. I've been right. single for a year. You know, I've just been spending and time by myself. You and I did that purposely. You think after your whole history? What changed? Well, in I hope year? I learned something after you know after that experience. All right. Oh my God. Who are you dating now? I want to know the name. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? I don't want to jinx it. What does he do for a living? I bet he's a rich, famous guy. What does is he, he do? Is he famous? No. Maybe. Yeah, of course he is. What does he do? What kind of I don't of work? meet normal guys. I, I don't know. ever meet anyone. No, you normal. never met me. I'm as normal they as they come. Am I not, Kylie? Like normal guys don't ask me out. I'll ask you. Know? you. Let's go right now, honey. Right to my bedroom. I think there'll be a ton of normal guys in a second on the phone. Carmen, who have you met? <laughs> Who's your friend? You don't have to, yes. I don't want to jinx it. Uh, what does he do? It's new. What does he do? Is he a musician? <laughs> Why do you say that? Because that's your thing. <laughs> that's my thing. Yeah. Well, 
Rodman because, wasn't a musician. Well, Rodman had... He, he must have played something. He played... <laughs> He plays. Yeah, yeah, he should. Yeah. Are you dating? Say that again. Are you dating Jeff Schick from IBM? Uh, who's that? Who is the head of IBM, one of the top guys? I know he is. I'm just guessing. That's all. Everybody wants him. No, but but in all seriousness, what does the guy do? Is he in the music industry? Mm, maybe. Yeah. He might be. Because I remember reading that you, when you were 16, you mm -hmm. were thrown out of your house. Thrown out of my house? Are you kidding? Right. You were living my on the mom, street. Let me, wait, wait, you were wait, living wait. on the street and no. Prince took you in. No, 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 no. My mom didn't even want me to go to L.A. Really? No, she was really worried. And so you went to Minneapolis? I left when I was... No, I went to, I went to Los Angeles yeah. when I was 18. I saved up my money, bought my own plane ticket. My mom didn't want me to go. She begged me to stay. Right. I went against her will, and then I met Prince. He signed me to a record deal, and then oh, I, I bet he did. Huh? I bet he did. And then he... Signed your record deal and began having sex with you in no. exchange for money. No. <laughs> That's right. Prince? <laughs> no. And Prince? I heard she say something about living with them. I never lived with them. You never lived with them. No. Oh, but you did have a relationship. A friendship. You never had sex with them. No. Are you dating an owner of a nightclub? No. Named Sean Lewis? Ooh. Who's that? Is that the guy you're dating? No. Yeah. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> I don't know. Right, well, you never that. slept with Prince. No. But we heard that then you went back to Los Angeles, and Prince was paying all the bills, and you started dating other people, and Prince stopped paying the bills because you were dating. No, actually, I moved. <laughs> this was on the e, uh, what is this? What? What? The E True Hollywood story. It said that that you and Prince slept together, and you both you know went yeah, make up. Yeah, believe. Oh, you did not sleep with Prince. No. And, oh, thank God. And, and that he, <laughs> thank God. And it said that he put you up, and then when you started dating. Well, yeah, when I lived in Minneapolis. Yes, I mean, you know, I had a record deal with Casey Park Records. It was his record company. So, yeah, they yeah, paid right. for everything. You no, know? But when you were in L. A., he was paying for your hotel room. No, I and, never even stayed in a hotel. Well, he should have. He's the record company. And then when you started no, dating, actually, this is what it all said. I mean, so. No, okay. Um, actually, I started working for him at his nightclub, Glam Slam. I was a dancer in his show called Erotic City, and so I made like hundred dollars a week. And I got a, an apartment. Well, here's the relevant myself, question. You know? Kylie, are your breasts real? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Howard, you know that. Are they really? Yeah. That is amazing. They look so good at the, um, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the at I had to play my mansion, Howard. Right, yeah. and, 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 you know, Kylie came up to me and said, find me Howard. I want to sing a bar to Howard. Well, yeah. I was busy. <laughs> you had two girls there in the back room, and smash mouth. I was really jealous. Yeah, real jealous. How come I say to you, listen to this. We're at the Playboy. Yeah, Carmen, you tell us. Okay. Yeah, you, you, tell, you, you know, guys. <laughs> I'm at the Playboy mansion. And Kylie says, I want to go out with you. I want to, you know, I want to, you know, I want to go out with you. <laughs> so I go, hey, that's pretty good. She looks real nice and seems like a nice girl. Well, Why not? Well, let's see if something's happening, right? Why not? I'm saying, oh. <laughs> so as soon as the lights go off and the camera goes off, I said, hey, uh, you know, hey, Kylie, you want to hang out? Oh, we have to go to a party. We're going to a party. We're going to take pictures. <laughs> I mean, you just had your picture taken all night. What pictures do you have to go take? Now, I'm not a dumb guy. When a girl says that to me, it means listen. What does it mean? Listen, loser. <laughs> Stay away from me. You know, don't really bother me. I'm not that way with you. You're a nice guy and everything, but calm down. I know how to take a hint. So what I did was I went off. Four of these playmates follow me into a room. I'm drunk and passed out on the floor. <laughs> You saw me on the floor. I was laid out on the floor. He was out. Did yes, they, they roofies in your. Tree? They slipped me something, and I ended, I, mean, I didn't get home till ten in the morning. I didn't know where I was. What was going on? I didn't know what happened to me. And uh, so, so Kylie says I have to leave. So I said, okay, you yeah, let's go. Around eleven thirty, I open up my eyes. I take a look, and Kylie's standing there. I just came back to say goodbye. I go, well, if you were here the whole time, why didn't you hang out? I had to find you. It took me so long well, to find you. Well, because you, you gave me the blow-off. Little itty-bitty rune stuck way back, you know. And, and, and All right, it's time to hook you up to a lie detector. All right, bring him. No, you go in the other oh, room. Oh, he has to go I away. Go you're going to go out there. You're going to be on camera. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh, thank the girl. Right. Jerry, <laughs> take Kylie into the other room, and I'll find out once and for all if she's really attracted to me at all. Okay. I like her outfit. <laughs> Would you have sex with uh, Kylie Carmen? Absolutely. You would, right? No, you would go I've with other girls. Woman. Really? You want to do lesbian stuff even with her? She's hot. Yeah. She really is. Are you attracted to her in any way? She's very beautiful. In the new movie, do you have scenes with her? No. What is this movie? It's called Get Over It. And it's basically about a relationship that's gone bad and a guy that's trying to get over his girlfriend. And so his friends are trying to cheer him up and basically... Um, 
they take him to the strip bar, and that's where my scene comes in, and I play. Do you strip? No, but I play Mistress Myra Dominatrix. Really? Yeah. And are you in sexy attire? I'm wearing a sexy black patent leather tight outfit. Oh. I have a whip. And this is in theaters uh, Friday? Yes. You And what does Kylie play? Like this hot chick. There's like a lot of comedy. <laughs> I don't know. You have to ask her. Did you see this like, movie? I did. I saw a quick screening. You did? <laughs> you, what, did you walk out on your own screen? <laughs> if you can't sit through it, how are we supposed to sit through it? <laughs> What did you do? You just watched yourself and then you left, right? Admit it. <laughs> Is that true? Did you? No, she plays like this, you know, girl on the beach and like she gets hit by a car. Like, I want you to be honest with me. Yes. Did you read the script? I read the script. Not Tell the truth. You're not on with it. You know what? You know when I shot this? This was during Scary Movie. I was right. just here. Right. Remember when I yeah. left? And my, my flights were canceled. So you didn't have and time. I talked to Canada. And well, I, didn't just, have time. I just have a cameo in the movie. Right. So you did the cameo. You I left. I did my little cameo. I see. I see. <laughs> Go ahead, Gary. All right, Kylie's ready to go. She is. Now, if she's sitting in the chair, yeah. before you go through the questions you want to know, Ed has to go through you know, several questions like, what's your name, how old are you, just to establish it. All right, so let him do that. And, uh, he's waiting for you to tell him what to do. Oh, he is? What? Is he got headphones on? No. Ed, you don't know what to do? Ed, you got your headphones on? Hey, sorry. Okay. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Sometimes he acts like he can't hear me. All right, <laughs> go ahead. Now, but do you have to do anything to Kylie to prep her? Yeah, I want to ask her first name. I'll let prep her, yeah. Yeah, I'll prep her. That's first a hot fraud. I want to get cheese. Yeah, he's, 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 he's used to giving lie detectors to criminals. <laughs> no, the book is not. <laughs> right. <laughs> Kylie's a model, and Kylie, Ed, what I'm after, I'm going to, uh, I have a series of questions like this, but what I'm mostly after is to find out whether or not she's really attracted to me. I have a series right. of questions. I'll feed them to you through the headphones. Oh, okay. Did you know you can see right through that shirt yep. she's wearing? Of course she can. Kylie's not uptight about it. Always, always. Carmen, you should be wearing a shirt I can see through oh as well. Oh, like you can. <laughs> Next time. Um... You can see everything. Ed, so what do you have to do? You're gonna, you're gonna, do you need to, can we get right into this? Yeah, definitely. All right, so start doing it. Okay. Ed, Ed, ask her the first part, the first question. Well, let me hook her up to the polygraph. Oh, you haven't done that Well, Ed, we'll come back to you after you hook her up. Okay, good. Don't you want to watch me? No. Somebody okay. should. He, he could get in trouble over there. All right, you know, let's, let's, Ed's out of it. Nutty professor. <laughs> I didn't think he'd be ready that. He doesn't even know how to do a polygraph. That's right. Oh, this is going to be good. And believe me, honey, I want to hook you up to one, too. Really? I want to know. Hey, what are you doing dating some guy? Who is this guy? He's some guy. Where did you meet this guy? Where <laughs> did you meet him? He's going to get into trouble. Yeah, where did you meet him? Um, actually, someone sort of set us up on a blind date. A blind date? Yeah, it was interesting. Someone. Imagine this guy. Oh, man, Carmen Electra said going to be gay. Yeah, how blind is that? Yeah, some blind date. You were blind. <laughs> and this is a famous guy. You knew who he was. I did know who he was, yeah. Yeah. And you met him before? No. 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 Come on, you got to tell me. Who is it? You got to no. tell me. I want to know. I want to know if you're doing the right thing. No, I don't. Come on, you got to tell me. Come on, Howard. Please, I'm begging you. Oh. I'm begging you. Come on. I got to know who this is. I got to know what my competition is like. I don't want to jinx it. Look what happened last time. Yeah. Jinx it's, it. It's not going to. Give me a nickel. Right, you can't do anything wrong. Is it Tom I'm just really happy. Is it Tom Cruise? That's all that matters. I'm happy. You're in love with the guy already? Well, I'm happy. Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you know. Have you done it yet? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, she has. <laughs> Is it Steve Gutenberg? <laughs> I'll kill myself. Is it uh, the guy who played Horshack? <laughs> is it Ron Zimmerman? Oh, are you jealous? Yeah, I am. I am a little jealous. Are you? Tell me the initials. What, tell me what field that leaves. I'm glad you're jealous. Tell me who I'm competing with. What field is he in? <laughs> no. Is he an author? No. Is he a, is an he actor? a musician? Mm, maybe. Oh, that's impossible. <laughs> that's impossible to compete yeah, with. Yeah. Is he in a band? Or a solo act. Yeah, solo act or... Come on, look at this. Come on, don't, don't make me beg. This is not like no, you. You're I, always an open book. I know, I know, but see, I'm nervous after what happened last well, time. Well, look, I mean, people are going to spot you out with the guy unless you're going to just stay in your house and have sex with him all the time. I mean, you're going to have to <laughs> well, go out. That's good. So, well, I like that it? idea. Who is it? Oh, God. You have to tell me. Why? Hey, what kind of band is he in? A rock band? <laughs> Is no, it that, no. that, that for Cocta, uh, uh, what's his name, Lenny Kravitz? No. I'll kill myself. No. It's got to be a black guy, I'm sure. No. No, he's not. He's, he's white? Like Fred Durst. Latin. 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 Oh, Julio Iglesias? <laughs> who is Julio it? Julio Iglesias Jr.? Julio Iglesias Jr.? <laughs> yeah. That's who it is. Is it really? <laughs> A Latin. A Latin. It ain't Ricky Martin. I no. Because I ain't going to break the news to you about him. 
<laughs> who is he? Who do, is he very famous or is he guy in the upper? Is he Santana? No. Carlos Santana? <laughs> no. Who is it? Lo Lobo? No. I should go out with a regular white guy. You know, it always used to be a Latin or a... Is it a regular white guy? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she did barely... I mean... That was nothing. It was... It was like, be Real was like a Latin. Yeah. Rodman was a black guy. It's always got to be something exotic. Prince, he was a short guy. Yeah, Prince was a black guy. <laughs> you ever think of black guys? I do. Yes. Who is this Latin? <laughs> Tell me the name of the Latin. Not how we would not. I want to know. I am upset. Wait a minute. We would right. know his tell name, it. right? If we guess it, you'll tell us. Yeah. If you can guess it, I'll tell you. You will. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. But I mean, is it a, is it a name I could never? I mean, is he like a third guy in on a band, or is he like a major player? We have to guess. Is he a major guy? Major guy. So, Howard. So she's saying that he's Latin. Yes. Yeah. Is it is, is, is Cisco? No. Cisco. Cisco's black. Get out Mark of Anthony. No. Mark Anthony. Married. Enrique Iglesias. No. Junior. No. <laughs> Enrique Iglesias Junior. <laughs> Help me out here. Who's a Latin? Well, I don't know any Latins. I mean, uh, come on, give us the give us the initials. <laughs> give me an initial at least. Come on, come on. First initial. This is fun. This is everyone. It is fun. Come, come on. Is he in a band or is he the band? Was in a band. Was in a band. And now he's solo. Mm -hmm. Zorro. Zorro. Ricky Ricardo Jr. <laughs> he was in a band and now he's solo. This is probably a low level guy. Oh, wait a minute. Was that the. Uh, no. Uh, exactly. You wouldn't consider him Latin. Who? The Rage Against the Machine guy. No. No. Dave Navarro? No. Ah, <laughs> is, it, is it Dave Navarro? Yeah. It is. Oh. oh, no. Why is that bad? Of course it's bad. Why? Robin, why is it bad? You have to even remind me. I know the name, but what band? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm -hmm. That guy. Is he solo now? He he yeah. He He's is. out of the band. Yeah, I think for a while. Oh, yeah, come been. on, come on. Well, he was in Jane's Addiction. I mean, that's his band. What do you think? What do you think? He's really sweet. What do you? Think? Really so nice. So is Dennis. No, it's different. It is? He's really yeah. I mean, it's new. Well, oh, then I'm happy for you. Then I'm happy for you. I'm happy. I wish you luck. All right, all right. I'll find out. <laughs> All right, now after that letdown, exactly. let's go to let's. <laughs> this guy's well ruined. Uh, Kylie's hooked up to the lie detector. All right, she's ready. Dave Navarro. Yes, Howard. Wow. You know, I'm impressed. Some things on Dave Navarro. Let's find out what's going on. Let me just. Kylie. Oh, they're ready. They're no. ready. She's hooked up. He's already asked her the I'm preliminary questions. I'm going to ask you questions. He's already asked okay. the preliminary question. Good. Answer me yes All no. right, here we go. Kylie Bax. What he's going to ask you. Remember, yes All or right. no questions. All right, yes or no questions. I have to think. I think he's scaring her. Okay, go ahead. He scares me, never mind her. <laughs> okay. All right, is this Ed Torium? Yes, sir. The most trusted name <clears throat> in lie detector? Uh, blah, blah, blah? Thanks a lot. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go, Ed. Okay, go ahead. First question, are you attracted to Howard Stern? Are you attracted to Howard Stern? Yes. Do you want to kiss Howard Stern? They <laughs> do have to ask the question. Yeah, I gotta give it time. To oh. All right, all right, easy, all right. man. Don't bust my balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to kiss Howard Stern? Oh, um, yes. Bang it out of the question. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait till I ask the next one. Do you want to have sex with Howard Stern? Do you want to have sex with Howard Stern? Um, no. See, there's the truth. Ah, uh, so no need to even go any further, right? Well, as long as we got her hooked up. No, I meant, you know, in terms of dating, you. Don't... No, I'm not going to date her. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been attracted to another woman? Have you ever been attracted to another woman? Mm. No, you got to say yes or no. I know. Mm. Yes. Wow. Have you ever had sex with another woman? <laughs> Have you ever had sex with another woman? No. Probably lying about that. <laughs> I will be. Mm -hmm. We got the lie detector going. Did you have sex with Tommy Lee? <clears throat> Did you have sex with Tommy Lee? <laughs> no. No. Have you ever had sex with a family member? My God, he's oh, a family, family oh, member. God. Oh, I know. Well, you <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Have you ever had sex with a family member? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's start asking a good question. Right. Damn. Do you enjoy smelling your own farts? <laughs> Did you hear him? No, what do you say? Do you enjoy smelling your own farts? <laughs> No, I don't. No. That's a lie. That's a guy thing. I keep telling you. Have you ever cupped in your hand and farted and smelled your hand? I am miserably here. Oh, wow. Why don't you ask it out? Right, okay, put the headphones on. Have you ever cupped your hands over your ass, farted into your hands, and smelled your hands? No. Okay. <laughs> Give me the headphones back to Ed. That's <laughs> right. gross. You're embarrassing her. Do you yeah, think, totally. Do you think Pam Anderson is a big, dumb, bleach blonde with fake boobies? <laughs> do you think Pamela Anderson is a dumb blonde with fake boobs? No. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> do you ever dream of being Mrs. Howard Stern? Obviously not. Well, let's just see how she says it. She could be lying. <laughs> Do you ever dream of being Miss Howard Stern? Do you ever dream of being? No. No. Mm -hmm. Dream, no. I can talk about a thought of war. Do you think Howard Stern is handsome? Do you think Howard Stern is handsome? Yes. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay. What is it? I'm not done yet. I like his hair. You like? She likes your hair. We like Samson. Right. I know what I know what she likes. <laughs> okay, it's my money. What? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you really enjoy anal? Do you really enjoy anal sex? Do you really enjoy anal sex? Yes, I do. Ask her if she uses it. You how it had to put that one in there. I mean, she's been very open about that. Ask her if we want to know if it's real. Oh. Ask her if she does she uh, use a vibrator. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> Do you use a vibrator? No, I don't. No, just yes or no. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Mm. Have you ever? Sorry, you're not. Have you ever? <laughs> you're missing out, girl. <laughs> have you ever accepted money for sex? Have you ever accepted money for sex? Have I ever what? Accepted money for sex? No. God. <laughs> have you ever thought about making love to a farm animal? I'm really scraping the gutter. Have you ever thought about having sex with a farm animal? No, I haven't. No. I just like watching Ed repeat the question. <laughs> have you ever stared at a horse's member? Oh my goodness! <laughs> have you ever have you ever stared at a horse's member? Have a what? <laughs> yeah, you ask her. All right, yeah, you ask. I'll ask you. I was going to ask you. Have you, hi. Have you ever looked at a horse's member and thought about sex? And thought about with with the horse? Have you ever looked at a horse's member and thought about sex with the horse? No. No. Have uh, you ever, wait a second. Have you ever looked at a horse's member and thought about sex with, with someone else? else? <laughs> yes. Oh. And that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever? Ed, you ready? Ed, you there? Okay, yeah. go, ahead. go ahead. Have you ever woken up from a sex dream with your sheets as sticky as taffy? No. Oh. <laughs> have you ever woken up with your sheets as sticky as taffy? No. <laughs> no? No. no. Right. no. Have you ever had sex <laughs> with a black man? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, easy, Ed. Oh, wow. Ed, said, yeah. Ed, you think that's the worst question? <laughs> that's the worst one. All right. All right. Ask it to her. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Okay. Oh, this is a bad question. <laughs> Go ahead, Ed. You can ask it. Have you ever had sex with a color guy? A color guy? <laughs> <laughs> they like to be called blacks now, Ed. Oh, I'm sorry. With a what? With a black guy. Have you had sex with a black guy? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Does size matter? Does size matter? Size. Yes. Ah! Uh, Mm. <laughs> All right, then I'm done. Now, Ed, how long is it going to take you to give us the results? Um, give me two minutes. All right, we'll give you two minutes. I'm going to take a break. Carmen Electra is here. Kylie Bax is here. They're in a brand new movie. You can see these two hot broads together. Get Over It is the movie. Get Over It. It opens at theaters everywhere this Friday. 
and Kylie and Carmen are in it, and Carmen is almost wearing nothing. And Kylie's in it, too. <laughs> well, that lie detector test was interesting. Oh, yes. I would like to know the results. Yes. We'll be back right after these words. All right, what is this? Oh, I'm back, and look who I'm back with. Did you see me rapping to these two hot I chicks? I saw you in there having your own little party. Sir. Well, I didn't you want to break it up. I stayed away. Uh, yeah, I was having a little party. Thanks for not coming in, by the way. You would have, you really, I would have put a damper on the woman. You would have ruined my rap. You know, it's, I would have laughed. I love it when he raps to the women. I don't know. Oh, you should have heard my sensitive rap. I'm telling the girls how you girls have to meet a guy. Oh, really? Who, nice. I said, let me tell you something. When I, you know, after the pain of getting out of my marriage and the separation, I was, was you know, I just was confused. And, yeah, I it's not a, yeah, a I fooled around for a while, but now I'm ready to hook up with somebody in a real sensitive way. Mm -hmm. Oh, did they see right through that? Oh, they, they, have, they are, are very polite. They didn't yeah. laugh out loud. They were, laugh, they were giggling. You, you, you would have think that someone was using a French tickler on them. Oh. You know what a French tickler is? Yes, I do. Do you really? I do. We always talk about masturbation every time I come on the show. See, I don't know it's what a the big issue. What I heard when I was a kid growing up, a French tickler mm -hmm. was a condom that had a feather at the end of it. A that's feather. what. Yeah, that's what I heard a French tickler was. And uh, I was always looking for these because I could use any help I could get. You, have you ever heard that a French tickler I have heard was that. a condom with a feather at the end? Not a feather, but it. I, I, I don't know. Some something to tickle. Something on the end. Yeah. Well, so you have heard of that. Yeah, you see, I, I thought that that was just a myth. So there is such a thing. There yet. is such a thing, yes. Has anyone ever used a condom on you with a French tickler? No. Uh, oh, excuse me, girls. I'm just wondering. You were doing so well. <laughs> right. Now, Ed Torian, before we went to commercial break, gave a lie detector test to Kylie Bax. And I said to Kylie during the course, I go, what do you mean you don't want to sleep with me? And she says, no, you don't understand. Oh, uh, I don't know you well gonna... enough. I don't know you well enough to sleep with you. you. There's no guy you ever just looked at and said, I got to sleep with him. Yeah, every guy. Of course you have. <laughs> yeah, How dare you? <laughs> right, Carmen, you look at me and you know you want to sleep oh, with yeah. me. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you want. <laughs> By the way, Ed Torrey in the lie detector test uh, confessed to me during the commercial he wanted to test Carmen Electra instead. <laughs> Did he oh, think really? That? Well, I have, to get, I have to get back at Kylie for thank you. <laughs> Let's find out the results of this. The girls are in a new movie called uh, Get Over It. Get Over It. it. Mm -hmm. get, get Over It. Yeah, and, and this is about hot chicks. <laughs> That's all I need to know. I mean, is it just about hot chicks, Kylie? Basically. Yeah. Are you the star of this, Kylie? Because Carmen says she has a cameo. I, I don't have a, 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 a large role, but I do have a dominant, you know, one of the main roles. Do you play uh, someone with an accent? Uh, I have oh, an accent. Can you, yeah. can you lose the accent if you I've need to? I've been taking lessons. You have? Let me hear you speak without an accent. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I can at the moment. No, all right. Well, you got to record that. All right. Here comes Ed Torian. Ed Torian, of course, is considered the top lie detector guy in the country. And hey, hey, the official lie detector guy of the Howard Stern. Take a seat and don't uh, orgasm on anyone. No, no, no. Sit right over here. Don't give me a pain in here. Stop here. You're a married man, aren't you, Ed? <laughs> you're a married man, aren't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. So calm down. What's the matter with you? Kylie would go out with you, but you're married. She's looking for a regular guy. It's scary how they hook you up. They, like, strap you into this machine. Well, he doesn't have to strap you up. Did he strap did you he up? Do something like that? Oh, you devil, Ed. You did the old strap up thing. You smart guy. Ed, are you putting your arm around Kylie? Yeah. Did he move that away? <laughs> are you crazy? Hey, hey, Ed, what's the matter with you? Hey, Ed. What's the matter with you? All right, Ed, tell me what you. I'm going to tell you something, Howard. I can't believe all the Howard Stern wannabe radio stations around the country. I yes. can't believe Everywhere you go, everybody's a Howard Stern wannabe. Yes, that's true. I have spawned a race of Howard Stern imposters. I'm telling you, I can't get over it. I know. Right, Robin? Oh, yeah. Imitators everywhere. I know. Well, listen, you know, someone said to me I started a new wave of radio. And uh, you know something? I started a new wave of bad radio. Yeah. No, they, all want to be, they all want to be like you. I know. Fighting. Well, I'm very successful, and these guys, uh, want to. they want to be like the most successful guy. They can't guy. do it. They can't do it. Well, let's hope well, they not. they haven't figured it out. They haven't figured it out. And no offense, uh, everyone wants to be a lie detector guy, but you are considered the top. There's a lot of Ed Torian wannabes out there as well. <laughs> hookers or something like that. Yeah, a lot of times he has to do hookers. That's true. Sports services, you know, they... Uh... 
girls. They want to know if they can trust the girls? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You mean you, mean you prime... Get the microphone oh, close to your mouth. Hey, guys, this microphone setup is not working. The, the, the microphones are hitting into one another. How you doing, man? <laughs> How are you? Hey. You look good. Thank you. You know, Ed, you're quite a lady, aren't you? Oh. You really are. <laughs> Ed, uh, do me a favor and tell me what the results of the lie detector were. Well, if you can interpret what you have there on the sheet of paper yeah. for us, I would appreciate it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, hold the paper, Casey. What's the matter with you? I probably got my name wrong. Okay. <laughs> well, you were truthful about your name. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Was Kylie truthful about her name? Right. All right, get the mic close to your face. Let, let KC hold it for you. There you go. Okay. Okay. When I asked you the first question, are you attracted to Howard Stern? She told me yes, but she was lying. Oh, she is lying. Oh, she is, I'm, she is, I'm sorry to say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Am I that gross, Kylie, that you couldn't be? I'm sorry to say that. Oh, oh that's <laughs> lying. You don't you know. Ed Torian knows whether you're lying or not. Oh, what else? Uh, would you kiss Howard Stern? You told me yes, but you lied. You don't want to kiss him. You don't want to kiss me. Oh, I'm terrible. You know, I believe it because I'm telling you, she always told me she, she runs away from me. <laughs> Go ahead, yes. <laughs> Carmen likes this. <laughs> Carmen, you like to see a man suffer? Let me just say something for the record. There are plenty of girls who want to kiss me. I don't know any, but I, I'm going to meet them. Oh, out there. All right. Next one is, would you have sex with Howard? Definitely not. Definitely not. Well, she said no. She said no. She told me she told me she doesn't know me well enough to Yeah, we need to get to know him. Great. We haven't even been on one date, so. You hardly know Tommy Lee, and you're ready to hop in the sack. Right. Right. Look at Ed looking at Kylie. He's gonna eat a whole bunch. Keep your mind easy, Ed. She's a good. He was making me nervous too. She's a good candidate for polygraph one. Because she just sits there. Because she's almost naked. <laughs> he makes he's me just, nervous. The contacts, the contacts on the lie detector are easy to hook up. Right, right. Definitely. Right, go ahead with the... Uh, now, the next one is, uh, is, are you attracted to other women? And she told me, yes, she is attracted to other women. Right. That was she likes other women. Kylie, are you attracted to Carmen Electra? Seriously. Yes, she's beautiful. Would you have sex with her? Uh, yes, I probably would. You would? She's great. Why don't you kiss um, her right now? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Come and kiss Kylie. See, you've never tried. Go ahead, look. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. Carmen, is that the first time you ever kissed a woman in a sexual way? No. It is not? No. Oh, really? I thought you said you never had sex with a woman. I didn't have sex with a woman, but I kissed a woman before. Who? My friend. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm Should I say her name and embarrass her? <laughs> what was the circumstance? Um, we were out on the dance floor. We had a couple of drinks, and she kissed me. She did? Yeah. And it didn't go any oh. further? No, it didn't. Did you like it? Did you get excited? I liked it. You did? And when you were wearing sexy outfits? Yeah. And did you go home afterwards and did she try to kiss you again? No, she didn't. Did she it's interesting. Bring it up? She never brought it up again. She never brought it up again. Jackie Kylie might be lesbian. Whoa! Because she doesn't want you? Because she doesn't want me. I think you're lesbian. Yeah. Right? Am I right, Ed? <laughs> I hit the nail on the head. That's what it is. That's <laughs> what it is. Anybody straight would want me. <laughs> right, Ed? You too. <laughs> Are you a, are you a, I should have said, are you a lesbian? No, I'm not a lesbian. Well, you make love to other girls. Hey, you didn't ask the question while she was hooked up. <laughs> How many girls have you made love to, baby? Me? Yeah. No, I haven't made love to any girls. You haven't? No. Well, let's see. That was Let's see. Question. That is a question. Keep going. Keep going. I think Ed wants me the way he's looking at me. Ed Torian. Ed, hook I'm yourself up. He's scary. I, I swear. Oh, he is scary. Yeah. yeah of course. He go ahead. My, my, my. Cross the cop. You would be too. All right. Go ahead, Ed. All right. Listen, uh, Tommy Lee. Go ahead. What did I do? She wants to have sex with Tommy. Lee. And they haven't had a date. I told you yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, why yeah. do you want to have sex with him but and not me? Had a date. You don't know him well enough. No, I have been out with him a few times. Oh. I've never been out with you. Please, Holly, you know so. me. You've been out with me on the radio show a few times. <laughs> but, uh, I'm a much better guy. Okay. Than I'm better looking. Right, Robin? Mm -hmm. And I don't you think you've ever gone to jail for beating anybody. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. What's the next question? What's the next one? Yeah, what does that say? Truth. You can't read your own handwriting? Ed, I'm um, so excited. <laughs> that, that, that's the family question. Oh, oh have you ever had sex with a family member? She was true. No, she's never, no, never had, had it. No, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. She's telling the truth there. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Every and the next one is... Do you like the smell of your farts? She told me no, but she does. <laughs> 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 I 
what? I was laughing so much. That's probably what it was about. Yeah, right. Sure. Well, everybody loves to smell well. Yeah. Yeah. That is so foul. Right, right. foul. The next I one was, so you clap your hands over you. Right. What? said no, but she lied about it. Right. Really yeah. yeah. Everybody's done that. Carmen, you've done that. You clap your hand up. <laughs> Carmen, have you ever put your, <laughs> Carmen, have you ever put your hand up to never your butt? Done never. Oh, well, oh, oh, I'm really oh, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. All right. You right. <laughs> you've oh. never put your hand over your butt when you fart and smelled your hand? No, I've never done that. It says you, you no, lie. It says it on the screen. You have. <laughs> Whatever, yeah. I'll try it next time it happens. Go ahead, Ed. Keep your mind on your work, not on your phone. Yeah, yeah. just, just read your own notes. Okay, now the next one is, uh, where do we go from that time? Go ahead. Does she enjoy anal sex? Good. And she said, yes, yeah, she was truthful about that. She was truthful. You were honest. All right. <laughs> Way to go. No. Way to go. She said... Carmen, you've had anal, right? No, I haven't. Really? You would enjoy it. I'm not into it. Kylie, you're into it and you love it. Yeah. Yeah, Kylie's nice and relaxed with it. She relaxes with it. Yeah. Go ahead, Ed. And then something about... Is Howard handsome? Is Howard handsome? She told me... Didn't we ask him in the beginning? No, no, no. no. Howard That's Howard handsome. She said yes, but she was lying. Oh, she was lying. Oh, <laughs> that, that hurts. That hurts. Hey, that is so not true. That hurts. That now, is that hurts, That is so not true. Oh, that hurts. No, that you qualified it in terms of your hair, but you I apparently don't find him attractive. Okay, listen, I know I'm not. I know I'm not. Shameful. We all can't be Tommy Lee or Marcus Schankenberg, but you know what? Beauty is a fading thing, my dear. <laughs> In 20 years, you all look like Kylie Beck. I know. I'm That's right. That's too. right. Don't worry. That's right. I would have loved it for you. I'll have my boots around my, my waist. And you Damn right. I'm going to tie them and... around your waist. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Ed. Stop looking at her and oh, concentrate. Geez. He's just staring at her. I know. Easy. Easy, Ed. I knew I was nervous in there. Let me tell you something, Elizabeth Taylor. Let me just say something, Kylie, because you pull yourself right now. But Elizabeth Taylor. It's not Elizabeth Taylor. Now anymore. looks like Ed Torian. That's right. And I'm telling you. I swear, I am scared of that. Of I course. Really am. I'm being honest. Put me on the light of kids. Uh, I believe that. I believe that. In five years, it's over. What do you mean, Mr. Carmen? You'll be standing behind me holding my breasts up. I sure will. <laughs> not if you look like Ed Torian. <laughs> Go ahead, Ed. Continue. Okay, the next one is, uh, you dream about being Howard Stern's wife. And she said no. And she was truthful about that. <laughs> <laughs> See, she wasn't lying. <laughs> wow, I love oh it. Oh, my God. Boy, <laughs> very really How much humiliation can you Oh, say? this is the worst. Oh, oh, it's really bad. <laughs> this is awful. Go ahead, Ed. Now, the next one is, um, would you have sex with any other males for money? And she told me no. She was truthful about she that. She was true. Never had she never had sex for money. No, she's not a hooker. Doesn't want to be a hooker. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, Ed. You're not the lover. Go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, All right, she's a good the, girl. Yeah. The next one is: uh, Have you ever? Excuse me. Have you ever used the vibrator? She said no. Yes, yeah, she knows. She was truthful about it. She that. was truthful. Okay. Yeah. Why not, Kylie? Why not enjoy I've it? I've never had to have one. I've always had a guy around. Really. Not in between, though. Like, not in between. You know, in between. Like, like, like a few, you know, like Has a few. guy never used a vibrator in the sex play with you? No, never. Oh, but who are you with? Marcus Shank? What the heck is that an original? <laughs> I, I just think. I He's so know. busy looking at himself in the mirror, he doesn't think about your pleasure. <laughs> oh, my God. Carmen, you, I know, have been through Our a battery. <laughs> You've been through a gun rack for a Oh, yeah. Power shortage in California. I think Carson. <laughs> I panicked. For a whole year. In mid orgasm. For a whole the year. The vibrator went off. For a whole year you used uh, vibrators, right? Well, not for longer than that. I mean, right. you for love years. It. You love oh, yeah. yeah. It's fun. Do you ever think of a Torian one? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead, please, and get your arm off, Carmen. All right, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's in love. Oh, oh he is. I'm telling you. <laughs> What's the next one? Oh, about the horse. Um, has she ever made love to a horse? No. She, no nothing no. to animals. Nothing kinky. All right, I was, I was searching on that one. You were searching. Right. Then the other one was, did you ever wake up with your sheets? Uh, sticky. That was sticky. funny. She yeah. told me no, but she was lying about that. Yeah, right. I knew that. No wonder you're attracted to her. What else was on there? Anything? That was funny. That was funny. Yeah. And then the next one is uh, <clears throat> sex with black males. Yes. She said no, and she never had sex with black males. She all right, huh? That's man? right. Well, wow. Wow. Ed Torian. I haven't wanted to. You're right. Okay, yeah. Hey, Howard, what, sure about, what about colored guys as he says it? Well, what about that? 
no color guys either. No color guys either. <laughs> Ed, I have to thank you. Give a plug. Uh, do you want to give a plug for your yeah. business? You don't even care. You're a great he's, guy. He's Isn't he a great guy? Yeah, yeah, we learned a lot. She's not attracted to me. And I got news for you. I am not hey, asking well, out I Kylie Bax anymore. Yeah. Ed is honestly attracted to Kylie. Yeah, I don't need a lie detector for that. Say, it's so wrong, this thing, because it says about the fighting thing, and, you know, I've never done oh, that before. I'm going to be right up in Howard. Honey, I know. Listen, the I'm reading. The I'm reading. I'm, I'm going with Ed Torrey on this thing. <laughs> Not every woman can be attracted to you, Carmen. That's the way it works. I know that. Listen, I don't have the right chemicals. I'm not a Marcus Schenkenberg. I'm not a Tommy Lee. I'm not a Dennis Rodman. <laughs> bad enough for these girls. Yeah, what can I tell you? Well, a few more piercings and, you know. A few more piercings. Yeah, yeah I think ready. you're hot. Thank you, Carmen. And Look, you know what? I, I really believe, do. I believe yeah. that. Hey, she's not hooked up to a light. That's right. Yeah, but I really do, Howard. You want to hook her up? Carmen, go in there. I don't think we have time. <laughs> Carmen, get in there. We have time. There, there's, no, there's no time. I don't think you're out right now. Get in there with that story. No way. No. No. There's not enough time. Yeah, she don't want. She don't want the truth coming out either. Uh, let's go to line 24. Go ahead. Hey, Howard, what's up? What's up? Hey, man. Um, the one time Marilyn Manson was on the air, uh, he said that Dave Navarro offered him oral. That is true. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Have you looked into all this? I've never Marilyn heard that before in my life. Claim. Are you sure he claimed that? Yeah. Was I remember Dave? him I'm positive. About it, yeah. Wow. He said that Dave Navarro's favorite food was turkey neck and dumplings. Well, uh, actually, I, I don't know. If, I don't remember him saying that, so I don't want to badmouth Dave. But uh, I remember Dennis Rodman, though, also said that he had received oral from a man. Didn't he? Yeah, really? But no. Not that I know. He didn't? No. Oh. I thought he had. <laughs> I, I guess he didn't. Or maybe Dave didn't. I don't really remember Marilyn. I know Marilyn I said that somebody. Say that. I know he said somebody offered a moral. I don't remember. Mm. I'm not for sure 100 percent, but you know. Mm. Hey Howard. I don't remember. I don't know. So I'll let you go. It was great talking to you. All right, man. Thank you. Take care. Uh, let's he said go to. From the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> let's go to Jim. Hey yeah, Jim, what's up? I have a question coming back. Yeah. Uh, why did she leave Deep Space Nine? Were you on Deep Space Nine? Deep Space Nine. You weren't on that show. On. She wasn't on it. What is it? Why? Why are you that was a Star Trek thing. Uh, why are you asking that? Did you think she was on it? I just want to know if Tuvok was bigger than pants. Bigger than the pants, so. Huh? All right. <laughs> guy's a funny guy. What is it, Johnny? Are you just talking about Dave Navarro? Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, you know. <laughs> one of the E guys? Yeah. Has, uh, you know, tape of Dave, you know, uh, this is what he says. Uh, I don't know if it's true, but he has tape of him, like, you're kissing other band members. Really? Uh, you know, other guys. I don't well, know. Well, I think there was a video. Yeah. A music video that was out. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think <laughs> that could be... the video. Yeah. Oh, he was just kissing... I mean, I don't know. Another, he's probably just kissing another guy for the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does that bother you, Carl? No. no she's open fun. to that. Is it a turn-on? No, I saw that video. I know I know exactly which one it is. It's it, a Red Hot Chili Pepper video. I think, I think it was Jane's Addiction, he said. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. It, it, that, but... Is that a turn-on? It, it actually looks kind of hot. I'm not going to really? lie. I mean, really? I, like the whole idea of like two guys full on together doesn't isn't hot to me. But the two guys kissing is in the video for some reason. I don't know. If that's it's what I got to do. Bad. I'll go kiss John. <laughs> <laughs> got to be kidding me. Well, hey, listen, to each his own. I, uh, I don't know what's in there. You might. Hey, Howard, did these girls just tongue kiss before? Did they... I think was Kylie was trying to, but Carmen backed off. Yeah, I really? saw that. Yeah, did you guys yeah. do it again? Because I didn't get a chance. To see it. <laughs> Kylie, you, uh, Kylie, you opened your mouth when you were kissing Carmen. But Carmen, yeah, you did. I watched. Then Carmen, you kept no. it closed, right? <laughs> but that's very exciting. Because that's such a hot thing, Howard. Yeah, it is. It, it's so hot. Especially, I consider myself lucky to have seen that. Dan, you're on the air. Dan, you know, Howard, you have a lot of hot chicks on that show. Yes. But none of them have as good of a butt as Carmen Electra. Let me tell Thank you. Carmen Electra has a beautiful Number ass. one in butt. Thank you. Why don't, why don't, you do why have a great ass. that for you? What is that? Why does she show that for you? Well, I don't know. I don't know that she wants to. He doesn't even feel right I don't feel right asking. I'm not really shy about it, but you well, do have a great ass, Carmen. Thank you, Howard. And Kylie, your ass is great, too. <laughs> you have a liar. Wanna... <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but Carmen has an hour. Now, I spent time with Carmen in Malibu, and I got news for you. That ass can talk to you. It says things. 
<laughs> it really does. It was talking to me that day. I know that. Yes, well, it's a real, it's a real shame that you're not into anal because uh, some man could be enjoying that. Well, I may get into that someday. Yeah, you'll get into it. You'll yeah, work yeah. it out. He has a, a real relationship. Yeah, maybe you and Dave will get into that. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to go see the movie, Get Over It, because uh, you two are in it, and uh, I'm a fan of you two, that's for sure. Who else is in it? Who cares? Cisco, Kirsten Dunst. Oh, that one. Okay. Colin Haig. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is in there? Mm -hmm. It's a really cool, funky, like, cast. Never heard of them, Vitamin C. No! <laughs> You're hip. Oh, Kylie Bax and Carmen Electra in Get Over It. They play hot chicks in the movie. <laughs> now, there's something that takes a lot of surprise. <laughs> And I'm a fan of you. I'm a fan of your breasts, your ass, everything. Thank you, Howard. I detect you on. Thank you, Howard. That's right. Be truthful. And uh, Kylie and Carmen, and get over it. Opens at theaters everywhere this Friday, and we'll be back. At Gilbert, what is, what is it, stuttering John? How dare you interrupt? Did you have any desire to uh, you see the tape that I'm kissing? I'm yeah. oh, what, Dave Navarro? Yeah. Kissing? All right, I'll take a look. Too. It seems to excite Johnny. He can't even talk. All right. <laughs> oh, no, no, this is... Oh, oh, of Carl yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, oh, Kylie, yeah. look. Oh, there was a... Yeah, it was open. Ooh, you. I'm guilty. <laughs> Kylie, you're about... See, let me see that again in slow-mo. <laughs> let me see that. Oh, here we go. Now, Carmen's moving in. The mouth is shut. But look, Kylie's mouth is open and... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now. Kylie is going for it, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kylie's a player. Well, let's face it. <laughs> Who you look hot kissing me today? That's a tape I'm going to have to play a few times. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, take a break. Your personal collection. Yeah, I, so many people wanted to talk to you. What is it, Mike? Go ahead. Hey, Howard, how come these six don't show no camel toe in Playboy? Hey, uh, yeah, why? Uh, well, uh, not camel toe. You mean why didn't they show their uh, their uh, cooch? Yeah. That's it's like not too good. I thought Kylie showed it. Kylie, no? you showed your, uh, your beef, right? I think you mean full, uh, fully open legs. And yeah, but you're not going to do that. No, because we're celebrities. Like, Isn't camel toe well, when your pants yeah, are camel too toe. high? Oh, Dude, it's Mike, camel oh, toe. Is, I was nervous. Yeah, well, camel toe is when a girl wears pants and you can see through the pants. Right. What you're talking about is the Playboy shoot. And uh, both girls have done Playboy. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do show, uh, you know. Just a little hair. Well, yeah, because why? Well, Kylie, you're explaining. Well, you're celebrities. We're celebrities, so we don't, you know, go as so far as that. You're better than the other girls. No, we're not better. We just don't go that. When you do a celebrity pictorial, they you want to have a choice. Us, you know what I mean? Right. You don't yeah. have to show everything. And if you have that choice, you're not going to show it. Exactly. Well, wow. Jamie Burbington, she's just a thought you guys. I think she was a playmate, but now she's yeah, gone she on. Was. Yeah. Now she doesn't she's have to show it. Now she's an actress. Her. Now she doesn't have to. Now she's an actress. She doesn't have to show Everything it. Everything is closed now. And dude, right. you'll soon, <laughs> dude, you'll soon realize there's all kinds of rules in this world. I'm good. All right. We just don't know about it. All right. Thanks to uh, Kylie and Carmen, and we'll be back right after these words. Go see Get Over It this uh, Friday theater. So, okay.